Yeah. Yeah, it should be good to go. And then you can scroll down there a little bit and scroll down on the page. Yeah, there we go. And then that's the public view, so you can hit play on that just to see what people are actually seeing. Um, yeah, yeah. He's going to be wearing uh, his um, that big jacket. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. It, it should be. make sense to monitor through the actual stream because it looks like I'm not that loud. For some reason, the monitoring on that thing is, uh, yeah, we're live. Yeah. Hey, everyone, we're live on Flurn. <laughs> we're still getting ready. <laughs> we're getting ready for our shoot today. Wave hi to the camera. Hello, everybody. <laughs> All right. Ian. Yeah? yeah? Cool. Um, so you'll just be in front of to, to start with. We're still getting our like lighting stuff set up. We started the stream. Yeah, we're live. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, we're already live. Huh? Yeah, I know. Right now it's just like broadcasting through the webcam and whatnot, but okay, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Prime people for what they're going to see. Everybody keep your shirts on. No. no. That's my signature move. <laughs> I know I'm get a good shot. <laughs> All right. A beret? Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, for sure. But it can work. I don't know if it'll work for someone from the south. I'm not sure, but do you want the hood up now? No, let's leave it down for now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We do have shotgun mics for those too. We're just doing it for reference. Or you, you have a lot on. I'm a, yeah, I've got the lot on, so we're, we should be good there. guys an echo yeah on my voice hello yeah there's definitely an echo going on um, hey Taylor real quick there's was there an echo last time with my audio? Yeah, so it was actually pretty impossible to like make out like, what you were saying between the soundboard and catching you on the mic um, and then listening to the beat sound. So um, I only listened to make sure that the sound was like steady. Are people who were listening to this, are they hearing an echo? No, they were fine. Yeah. They're I fine? I was actually talking to them and they were saying that. Okay. Oh, so so I'll, I'll so the echo I'm just, I'm going to yeah. yeah 
Okay. Are you, and you guys are on the feed too. I'm doing. I'm getting into YouTube right now. Okay. Okay. Cool. If right. if you go to the um, live control room, I think. Oh no, that's that's not it. Maybe you can find on the name there. I don't know. Somewhere you can actually watch the stream. All right. The public view down here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there's a chat up as well. Yeah, the chat come in, which is Aaron's gonna be on the chat. Yeah. Cool. All right. Hey guys. Hey, welcome to Flurn Live. Hey, we're still getting set up. Everyone who's coming in, it's so awesome to see you coming in. We've got people from all over the world: Israel, Queens, New York. You guys are awesome. Uh, we're doing a live broadcast. Uh, it's it's gonna be all day today, so uh, you know, stay tuned in. We've got a ton of awesome content coming in. Um, we're working on our uh, we're working on our sound right now. Uh, let us know if you guys can hear me, okay? And let us know if uh, uh, someone here said there was an echo. So uh, they're saying it's good now. The sound is God. <laughs> <laughs> That's God talking to you guys. Cool. Well, we've got a bunch of different camera setups today, so uh, we're going to be guiding you through our photo shoots. We've got six different photo shoots today, and uh, we're going to well, we're going to have a really good time. Um, okay. Cool. Well, I think we're ready for the for the actual stream. Let me just cut off the. Um, the air conditioning and stuff like that. It's all loud. Ian, if you want to hang out right over here, Mr. Mr. Model Time. Yeah, that's the name. That's your name today is Mr. Model Time. <laughs> Couple months, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. In a sense, it's almost the same exact thing. It, yeah, it's real similar. Fashion blogging and modeling doing the same exact thing. Yeah. It's just not as serious or close to It's like smaller, but it's not. I think we might mic Ian up real quick. Just makes it more dynamic. So, I mean, people can listen to my voice, and I'm sure they're super enjoying that. Do you mind being like mic'd up? All right. All right. And then, uh, Mike, this is channel. This will be channel two. Yeah. Oh, with the jacket on. Okay. Yeah, with the jacket on there. Actually, might be better with the jacket. Eh, yeah, let's leave the jacket on. Yeah, just like that, and then this can go and like uh, of I don't clip it to your. I want to switch sides, so I could put it. You can put it in here. Uh, well, that, you want to just clip it to your um yeah. to your belt there. Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Cool. And then. Do we cover this? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. How are the audio levels coming through for Ian? Oh, yes. <laughs> talking. Talking? Talking, talking, talking. Oh, you're... Yeah. Yeah, so where... You can, you can pull that out yeah. and monitor straight from here. Yeah. And there's the one on the tripod, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So three... Actually, just four, right? Cameras? Uh, we have four cameras, and we have... Five. Yeah, the screen capture as well. So... And this is just what on? Is it on Facebook? Um, YouTube? This is the YouTube Online? Live. I'm uh, monitoring the comments. You can just switch back like, on the feeds. Like, if you can't. He's got that. He does not. Yeah. Never seen a YouTube Live? Well, you're about to be in yeah, one. No, you actually no, are no, in no, one right no, now. This is a live event. Going, it's very impressive so far. <laughs> Getting set up. All right. Cool. Are we doing okay, Mike? Yeah. 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 Can you keep talking? Yep. Yeah. Good. 
Okay, cool. Well, let's just do like an intro shot with uh, me and Ian, if, if, if possible. Yeah. Um, we'll just do it on the, you know, one of these C100s, probably on. Uh, shot, right? Or video. Yeah, video. Yeah. Do we want to do a shot just to the to the folks at home? So. All right, cameras rolling. Are we good? Uh, what's up? Okay, cool. Um, Mike, are we on Taylor's camera? Okay, cool. Are we good for the broadcast, guys? Yeah. Maybe turn that volume down a little bit. The speakers. <coughs> yeah. No, just the I can hear my voice on someone's computer. Yeah. There's like 12. We're all watching this live stream. OK, good. Are we? <laughs> We're figuring this out, guys. This is, our, this is our first live broadcast of an actual photo shoot. We've got a huge, we've got a great photo shoot for you. It's going to be like 10 hours. We're shooting all day long. We've got six different concepts. We're here with Ian Elkins. Hi, everybody. Amazing <laughs> photographer, blogger, a lot of stuff. model, social influencer. Person. Pers just amazing person in amazing, general. Nah, I don't know about that one, but I try. <laughs> you know? uh, it's super cool to have Ian here because uh, this is like part of our like big push with Flurn. We're doing our best to involve folks in the community uh, as like and bring them to Chicago, bring them here to our studio, and do projects with people. So yeah, I think it's great, and I'm definitely honored to be the first person in here. And I'm a little new to the whole live thing, and but it's great to see everybody and. Hope everybody enjoys it as much as I am. So, yeah. So, Ian, we we um, were talking, and you've been watching Flurn for years. Since years you started, I'd say. All right. That's strange. I mean, before this, there was the Flickr days. There was yeah. the personal classes. I was there for everything, and it's great to actually be in the space and see the you know be a part of the BTS and also see everything behind the scenes as well. So. Yeah, great. man. We're excited to have you. Um, so, for those of you guys who are watching at home, we've got six different concepts we're going to be working through today. So our first is like an editorial uh, type concept, a little bit of like a Dan Winters style uh, photo shoot. We've got this really cool jacket and we're just going to set up and like create some moody lighting and things like that. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if the mic is probably oh. sounding like... Oh, wait a little. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, no worries. Well, we might like move it down while, or like I might have them cut your audio while we actually shoot, okay. you know? Yeah, but that's fine. Just like it's a little intro, it's nice. Um, so we're, we've got six different concepts that we're going to be working through today, and we're live broadcasting the entire thing. So again, this is our first live broadcast of an actual photo shoot that we've ever done. So um, you know, there's definitely going to be some like learning going on on our end. Um, but we've got some wonderful people here, and uh, I, I think we're going to have a fantastic day of shooting. So um, yeah, I'm super excited, man. Yeah. You ready to get into it? Get into it. Okay, Bye. cool. Um, so we're gonna move on to our first uh, look. Are we re are we good to go for our first first look? Uh, yeah. Testing audio. Okay, cool. Um, so yep. while we shoot, we'll probably cut his audio, so you can just hit hit mute on his audio. Yeah. Well, Aaron will be the point person. So if, if something needs to be communicated to me, communicate it to Aaron, and then Aaron, you can just talk to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you can have Slack open so people can message, message you. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. What's that? Yeah, they'll mute. You guys can take care of muting Ian on, on that end, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, so we'll just, while it's muted, we'll just probably. Away. Yeah, just put it in your pocket or whatever. This is just basically going to be a headshot. Okay. Cool. All right. Good to go. Cool. Good to go. So let's go ahead and start off. Um, we're going to start off this shoot. Now, uh, we I've got like rough lighting set up, but this is like really just it, it's super rough right now. So I don't even know what this is going to look yeah, like. Yeah. So. It's a joy for everyone at home. They get to watch the actual actual process of going from something that looks like crap to uh, good. yeah, hopefully something that's good. Exactly. All right, cool. 
Um, so we're a little bit overexposed here. And uh, for those of you guys at home, we are shooting tethered. Um, so everything that I shoot is being tethered into Lightroom. And uh, so you guys will be able to see what we're actually shooting live. Um, so you can see we're like super overexposed. We've got a black background and it's, it's really light right now. Um, so I'm just gonna change a couple settings, push to like F8 and our shutter speed, I wanna shoot at like one over 200th of a second. Is someone on the Sonos? Can, you, can someone be the music controller, the S Sonos app? You just open the Sonos app on the computer, just lower the volume. <laughs> like, can't even think. Um, okay, so just changing my shutter speed and, uh, and my aperture basically, and we'll try that again. All right, cool. So it's a little bit more uh, what we want. Uh, the goal for this, we're, I'm gonna actually lower the power on the actual, um, on the light here. Uh, our goal for this is to create like a, like a, um, a sliver of light uh, that's, that's hitting Ian's face. And then he's gonna be pointing, um, pointing towards that sliver of light. So um, yeah, where you are is good. We've got a, let me just pull this out so everyone can kind of see what we're, what we're working with here. Um, this is just an, uh, this is an Einstein in like a medium softbox here. And uh, basically the goal is, I'm gonna put this right behind, we've got two V flats set up, which are basically just pieces of like cardboard. Um, so we're gonna put this behind there and try to make it so the, the light that shines through is just like in a thin, beam of light. So this will actually be behind the two V flats. So we're going to set this up here and then, yeah, kind of push this up here. And then this is, these are going to be used to block the light. So the, the goal here is to just get like a thin beam of light on, on in, and then we should be able to adjust the, uh, adjust by moving these V flats in and out from one another. Um, and then your, uh, your goal here is just to make sure that it, yeah, that that light actually hits you there. All right, cool, so we'll do a test. Like centered on my, like my ear probably, or like about your ear? Yeah, about your face, so you're gonna be like, um, you're gonna be slightly facing this light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. yep, that's perfect right there. Staring at the camera at all times. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. Cool. Yeah. And you, you, you can, can see these as well as they come in, in, so you get an idea of kind of what we're, what we're going for. Um, yeah, that looks super cool. Oh, it's, yeah, it's already cool. Um, I think let's pull, let's bring the jacket in a little bit more. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind. And um, I'm going to, hey, Tori, would you mind closing the blinds? I think some of this light is kind of getting in our, uh, in the shots, so just like, chick, chick, chick. Screw the things. Yeah, perfect. Um, okay, cool. I'm going to just put this down a little bit because I don't want it to be in the shot there. And let me change the power on this light as well because it's a little bit too bright. All right, cool. Hey, guys. <laughs> I like that little study cam thing. That's fun. Yeah, I don't know. Our, How's the how's the feed, Mike? Are you able to switch to the like steady cam and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Cool. If you want me to like zip this too? Let me know. It, like zipped all the way. Or? Um. Let's let's zip it like halfway. Yeah. From from the bottom. Just testing our light out here. That looks good. We're gonna bring in uh, another reflector here just to make it a little bit more. My right side. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, that, let's do it like that for now. Nice. Yeah, that's really cool. So we're gonna bring in another reflector. Um, as you guys can see here, the shadows are just a little bit dark on, on this side of Ian, and uh, we wanna lighten those shadows up a little bit. So um, a lot of the time, people will just add another light source, uh, like another softbox to that side. Uh, but what I want to try doing is just bringing a reflector in to reflect some of that light in. So they can see all this, right? Yeah, they can see what's on the screen. They can see, they can see what what's here. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty fun, huh? All right, I think they can see all this, <laughs> provided we're doing our jobs. You know. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to grab this reflector here. 
Yeah. Cool. All right. Whoop. Cool. And I'm going to come in here. So, Taylor, I hope this doesn't block you too bad. No problem. All right. Cool. All right. Good. Yep, good to go, Ian, whenever you're ready. I'm going to make this gap a little bit smaller, too, because I, I just want, like, a really thin beam of light on you there. The V-flats? Yeah. They're so nice, right? I need some just, like, make my own shadows instead of, like, <laughs> on the bottom, it's such a pain. Yeah, that's super cool. All right, so the V-flat's not really doing a ton right now. I've got, I'll just bring it a little bit closer. Yep, yep, this is basically just reflection here. Sorry, I keep moving around, ruining your guys' shots. Yeah, you could probably come in right behind me here. Cool. Yeah, cool. So we can already see that it definitely does. You want to come check it out, Ian? It definitely does, like, okay, yeah, feel a little bit. Yeah. That one's good. <laughs> lighten up the shadows yeah. quite a bit there. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. Um, I think our, you know what, I'm going to have you stand on an apple box real quick. Uh, just because, yeah, that light is in the shot there. And I think it's just going to be easier to have you stand on a box than... All right. So, here we go. Nice apple box. For those of you guys who have not used one, just having some boxes and things like that for people to stand on, uh, it's really helpful to have around the studio. They're, they make them for photo and video. They're called apple boxes. Oh yeah, That's, I feel like now I need something. Well, th this will be actually kind of cool, like looking up at you a little bit. It'll be more like a hero type shot. Yeah, that's that's really cool. Um, cool. Let me point the light in the background up just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, this is already looking pretty damn good. So, <laughs> good. All right. Let me just move in here. Yeah, those are sick. I'm going to bring in the reflect reflector just a little bit more. Again, we've got such like a small sliver of light that's, you know, hitting, yeah, hitting Ian's face. So, um, you know, the more reflections we can get in there, the better with that. Yeah, that's really cool. You want to step down, you can kind of take a look at the shot. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's better. No more box, one more lit. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. All right, I'm going to increase the power of the background uh, light just a little bit. Um, and for those of you guys who are curious, the background light does have a, a CTO, an orange gel on it. So that's why the light in the background is a little bit warmer. Uh, than the light that's on Ian. And that's just kind of like a, a style choice there. Cool. I think that's good. Can you, let's try pushing back just a little bit. Just because the, the light that's on your face. What's up? Yeah, yeah. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, perfect. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll probably have you turn in a little bit towards the light a little bit more. Oh, cool. This is a 24 to 70 lens. Uh, it's a 2.8. Uh, it's the new one. 
Uh, and I actually just rented this lens. I, I don't own it. So um, yeah, for those of you guys who were, I've just, I've heard re great things about it. It's my first time using this lens actually, but um, I'm huge into rentals and guys, like <laughs> I've bought so, many, so much equipment like over the years and th nowadays I'm just like, I don't want to own anything. I just let me rent it. <laughs> Because I know in a couple of years it'll be like, you know, yeah, I don't want it anymore. Yeah. I'm going to get a box uh, so I can match you in height a little bit more. <laughs> cool. And uh, right now, you guys should be able to see the uh, the information. Let me just switch this over. So um, in Lightroom, you guys can see the, our camera settings. Right now, we're shooting at uh, 200th of a second at f8 at ISO 100. And the lens information and everything is in there, too. So um, being that we're shooting uh, at such a fast shutter speed and we're using strobes, um, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod. My close friend just like got a, a notification. What does it what's say? What's going on? Like, because he signs, he's with Flair. He's oh, that's so Flair. cool. <laughs> he goes watch live. He's like, you famous. You famous? <laughs> that's so cool. Um, so I'm going to take the camera off the tripod. Uh, and again, for those of you guys at home, because I'm shooting at 200th of a second and using strobes, I feel pretty confident that I'll be able to yeah. freeze motion. All right. Cool. You look badass, man. Trying my best. Trying your best in succeeding. Get a little closer here. Yeah. Yeah, those are sick. You know what I might do? I'm just seeing the. Um, let's get you just a little bit higher. That box is still in the frame. Okay. You're doing great. Yeah, but I have I have a couple. Um, let me get you these anyway. It's just like easier, probably. <laughs> yeah, we do have a uh, we do have a light stand that's just like basically on the ground. But they trying to stack these ones or just get rid of this one? All of them. All of them. Be up there. All right, good deal. <laughs> You're doing box jumps, by the way. Oh shit, yeah, that you are really. A how? I will get a letter. All right. <laughs> there we go. I'll be right back. Well, I have another stand. I just don't know where. I don't know where it is. <laughs> The ladder cam. <laughs> Always have a ladder handy when shooting, guys. All right. <laughs> yeah, these are. All right. Cool. Yeah, that that's. Why lower a light when you can just raise yeah. everyone in the show in the photo? Yeah, it's definitely cool. I'm gonna uh, raise the height of the uh, of the light that's on you as well. Yeah. All right, cool. So just raising the height of the soft box there. Yeah, those are sick. Yeah, I still want to, like, it's still too much light coming in. So I'm, I'm Here? yeah. It's just like, I feel like a little yeah, I guess bit. They're, they were like this, yeah. 
Maybe you can adjust it so you can just see like a really small slip. I mean, uh, physically right now they're overlapping. So. They're overlapping? All right, well, let's see what that looks like. Yeah. That's the beauty of strobes. It's like definitely not working. <laughs> is this, uh, what is it, like folded, right? Yeah, yeah, it's folded. So you can push it back in, in that direction for sure. Okay, so I have about a half inch slip. All right, cool. Let me just move this box. Like. Sure. Let's take one box out, if you don't mind. Okay. So we'll have, skinny one the yeah, we'll take one of the skinny ones out, if you don't mind. Putting in the work here. They made me move boxes? Forget those guys at Flurn. Also. Yeah, let's open it up just a little bit more. Perfect. Okay, cool. Yeah. Definitely better. Yeah. It's super, super moody, which is really, really cool. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I mean, it's... Uh, yeah. The... I might bring that light up in height just a little bit more, maybe just rotate. Well, you're getting a decent bit of light like on your clothing, and I'm like, I want it on your face. Yeah, of course, like, stuff's light, like, Yeah, that should do it, though. Just like. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, this will. Yeah, being that your jacket's got so much white in it, too. Yeah. We want all of them looking at you. Let's do, yes, we'll do some of each. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's, that's pretty cool, except for now we're getting light, like, shining up on the background, which is pretty interesting there. Yeah. You know what we're going to do? We're <laughs> I keep changing this setup. We block it out. Or is it just reflecting through yeah, let's have you step back down a little bit. I'm going to... I'm going to see if I can just lower that light in the background. That's kind of like what probably should have been what I should have just done this whole time. Yeah, there's a there's a thing that I have that will just turn like a C stand base into like a tiny little light stand, but I can't find it's just like a little pin. So I'm I'm just going to kind of rig it. Yeah, it's just like it. Yeah, it's a little. Yeah, actually, you know what? If you wouldn't mind just bringing me another C stand, I think I have it. It's. I think it's on the top of this light. So. Uh, no, I. I don't need an arm. Just. Uh, yeah. Cool. It's the wonderful part about a live broadcast. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Thank you so much. You guys get to see everything happening live. Watch me through every one of my mistakes, which is perfect. It's a great learning opportunity. All right, cool. So now I can take this pin out here. Yeah, we're good to go. It's like, it's here, yeah. No, what is this called? Well, it's a junior to baby adapter. Okay. But they call it a butt plug, too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> in, the, in the film world. In the film world. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, now, now we can do what I wanted to do, is just lower this light, because that was, for those of you guys watching, like, the actual softbox was in the shot the whole time, so... By using this little adapter, we can basically get rid of the softbox for the light stand base. And now, now we should be good to go. So that's what I should have done from the beginning. All right, cool. We good to go, Ian? All right, let's get back on him. Nice. You can also just put those on the ground for people, you know, watching. Yep. 
No, you're good. I was just going to say you can just put your light on the ground if. No, you're good. All right. Can you let's come down? Oh, we gotta come down now. Yep. Good. Yeah. So we'll just. Rem the original. Yeah, let's do just the original. <laughs> We spent the first 45 minutes playing with soft, with the uh, <laughs> apple boxes. Yeah, that's really cool. Can you go uh, back just a little bit? Yeah. Maybe about six inches there. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Okay, perfect. Um, let's have your feet. Face towards the light a little bit more. Cool. You can just kind of rotate around towards me. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, dude. Now we're better. Yeah, we're a lot better now. That's sick. I'm just gonna lower the power on the background light. You, you want to come take a look at it here on the on the computer? Yeah. I'm just gonna lower this power just a little bit. Oh, it's kind of bunching in the back a little bit. Yeah. Seems like just when your arms are up, huh? Yeah, maybe just the right arm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Cool. All right. Good to go. Let's do this. So our lighting is pretty much dialed in now, and now it's like a... It's time to, time to actually shoot. Yeah, maybe we can, is there a pocket on that? Uh, like for your right hand to go in the pocket oh, on the yeah. jacket? Yeah, it's kind of cool, huh? Kind of. Kinda. Yeah, of. There's a kind of pocket on there? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, those are sick. There's one more change that I want to make. Uh, Ian, you can kind of come down for a second. Tori, would you mind helping out for a minute? Um, OK. Uh, over there towards the wall, you'll see just like a round. Uh, uh, actually, can you grab a flag? It's like a rectangular, like the large rectangular piece of fabric. Um, so just kind of talk through what, you know, what I'm talking about here. Um, so the light on Ian looks really cool. Like his face looks great. The you know having the reflector in there, our shadows are looking nice. But there's a little bit too much light on the bottom of his like jacket area there. So um, I want to bring in a flag, which basically just like blocks the light um, to like make less light on the bottom of his jacket. Because just like as far as like focal point goes, like when I'm looking at this image, I want to like look at my subject and if I got like a really bright area on you know on the bottom of the frame where like his light jacket is um, you know then it, it's just kind of like drawing my eye down there a little bit more than I would like um, so we're just gonna bring in a flag to block the light there and that should help out with that um, cool yeah we've got yeah for sure for sure let's uh yeah a C stand okay nice a C stand and then a little like, con yeah, and then um, in that uh, knuckles box there, yeah. there's a bunch of yeah. Cool. Yeah, and then maybe another knuckle to we so we can attach the flag. Oh, I, yeah, I got, yep. There we go. Grip 101. All right, cool. So, yeah, we're just bringing this flag in, and um, we can actually, I'll put this in the front here so everyone can kind of see what we're doing here. Basically, this is just like to, to block the light that's coming in. Um, All right. And the bottom part of
part of the shoot, so. All right. Cool. Dude, I know. <laughs> it allows you to be hyper anal about everything, which is like, you know, both good and bad, right? What's that? Oh, <laughs> you've got nothing. All right, let's try that. Um, okay, cool. So you guys can uh, hopefully see just bringing that light in uh, should block that should block that light. So yeah, you're good to go. Everything that you were doing. <sighs> cool. Yeah. And uh, for the folks at home, just show you like the before and the after real quick. Um, so here's the before. All that light is, you know, really just a lot of lights on the bottom part of the end. And then the after, you can see it's just kind of feathers off a little bit, gets a little bit darker. Just towards the bottom though. We still want all that light on it, the top part of him. Cool. Yeah, let's zip it up. So tall though, so I don't know. My chin would be covered, I guess. Okay. So I don't know if I get a poke. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Let's try it. Uh, pull the collar up a little bit, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hand a little bit farther out. Yeah, and then your left hand up by your face. Yeah. I'm just going to pull this collar up real quick here. Yeah, it's tough because like yeah, it's sagging. But if it if it can stay, all right. I could try to hold it a little bit from the backside. Try to just get your face in like the place you want it, and then I'll do the collar, and then like, don't you freaking move. All right, cool. That's cool. All right, let's unbutton the collar. Yeah, collar's tough. Right? Yeah, it's kind of tough. We'll come down a little bit more with that. Right. Yeah, yeah, right there. I still want it like a little pop. Right? Like a pop. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to have you just kind of like uh, fidget with your collar a little bit. Like just kind of, you know. I want to get bunchy. Is it bunching if I just do this? No, not so bad. Not so bad. You can face me a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Yeah, that's nice. Um, oh, these are so nice. Good job, man. Uh, yeah, I'll just have you kind of like button it and, you know, zip it back up. And don't worry about looking at me okay. during this. This will be like, this guy was happening to get dressed in this beautiful lighting. <laughs> there was a guy. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, we'll just do a few of like, yep. Beautiful. Cool. You kind of like look at the jacket and like, you know, un unzip it and like, you know. You guys don't put your jackets on and like beautiful lighting every day. <laughs> jacket is the hottest thing ever, but yeah, it's cool as shit. Oh, it, it, like physically hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would never say that seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my jacket? Yeah, it's it's the, the hottest. It's the hottest thing right now. Yeah. Uh. My jacket's so hot right now. <laughs> yeah, let's unzip it like all the way and we'll just have the, um, yeah, that'll look cool. Do we want to try the hood to see what it looks like? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's do some like just totally unzipped and then, then we'll throw the hood in too. Yeah, that's cool. Beautiful. Yeah, you're doing great. Yeah, let's try some with a hood. Oh man, these are so sick. Yeah, the hood is definitely gonna take a next level. I'm just worried about the lighting situation. Yeah, you should be uh, good though. Should yeah, be. you should be good. Yeah, those are sick. You wanna come down, take a look at them real quick? Cool. 
yeah, still kind of coming in. They, they do take like a few minutes to, to kind of come in. Yeah, those are looking really cool. Then we can kind of flip through them and, you know, see whether we want to go with it or, mm -hmm. you know. I think I like without the hood. Yeah, the hood I think would only be so good if it was like almost completely sideways or straight on. Like I think the 45 the hood is Yeah, let's so do a, yeah, let's do a straight on and like really pull the yeah, hood yeah. in so like we can kind of Oh yeah, bring your hand. Oh yeah, that's sick. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, your hair looks real good. I yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. How we looking, guys? Yeah. Cool. Hey everyone. <laughs> okay. We've got about ten minutes left on the shot. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. And then, how long do we have between this shot and the next? A half hour. Okay. Perfect. All right, cool. How's the switching going, Mike? Good. Yeah? Okay, cool. Yeah. And we've got a 10 hour stream today, so <laughs> by the end of the day, we're all going to be pros. Um, have you been using the, the steady cam too? Yeah. It seems like that's actually been like really good for getting in and, you know, showing the details. Yeah. Yeah. You were on the ladder earlier? Yeah. I'm doing some over. Like Dope. Yeah. Cool. Okay, yeah, folks wanted to talk about, yeah, about lighting a little bit. So, um, you know, we're shooting, everything in this shot is all strobes, so the ambient light can kind of be just how it is, daylight, because a strobe will overpower it. So, um, oh, that's sick. Yeah, let's pull the hood a little bit more forward, just a tiny bit, yeah. Yeah, and then I'm going to just adjust this, yeah, like, kind of pull this out a little bit more. Stop those flaps. Right, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, super moody. Maybe let's open it up. I'd like to see your mouth, yeah. Yeah. Let's bring your hands down a little bit more. Yeah, maybe right about there. Yeah, and then uh, let me just <laughs> adjust, bring this hand up. Let's have your hands up. Yeah, there we go. This flap, just pull this down a little bit. There we go. Cool. Yeah. Story of the days, dealing with flaps. A little liquefy on the flap, probably. Yeah, right? <laughs> Nice. Can you pull this flap open a little bit more? Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, those are sick. I'm going to have you face the light a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, those are really nice. Yeah. Total badass. Have some more you're looking into the light. Yeah, maybe uh, turn your body towards me a little bit more. Yeah, and then just eyes like, yeah, there we go, nice. Very nice. Cool, let's take a look at those. Yeah, yeah. There are definitely a few of those with the hood on that were like pretty money. Oh yeah, dude. Psh, kidding me? What? What are you, a model? <laughs> 
Yeah, that, that's a really, really nice shot. Good job. And then as long as we got one that we really like with like the hood down, I think we're good too. Yeah, I think I like these, um, like these where it's, yeah, like, like those, this type of look too. So maybe let's do just a few more uh, with that type of look there. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, and then I think we'll be good with that first shot. All right, for those of you guys watching it at home, thanks so much. We are wrapping up our first shot. We're just, uh, basically, we're shooting tethered. So like everything that we're, we're doing, Ian can come see the shots as they come in. You guys can see the shots as they come in, which is nice. It's also nice to check like your exposure levels, you know, white balance, like focus, anything like that. And it really is just like, a USB cord, you know, coming in from the from the camera to the computer. So it, when you're shooting like in studio or you know anytime like you can shoot tethered, I'd highly recommend it. Just it makes seeing what you're doing a lot easier. Um, and then we're flipping through the shots and kind of seeing like, okay, like this is, you know, we we really like the jacket like a little bit more open, um, but we didn't get something that was like perfect for like. Uh, his face, so we're just gonna like go b back to that look real quick, uh, shoot a little bit more, and then we're gonna wrap it up with this. But um, yeah, it's an awesome first shot, and I think I mean it's it's coming out pretty much exactly like we wanted it to. So can't ask for anything better than that. All right, good to go, Ian. Right on. Oh, okay, cool. Oh yeah, perfect. And let's do some actually like with your hand in your back pocket. I, I think. Yeah, just kind of like, yeah, sure. Your iPad phone, yeah. Let me put my 19 inch phone away. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. All right, let's do some with it a little bit more closed. All right, and I'm refocusing on Ian's eyes every single shot, for those of you guys who are curious. So I'm doing like a one shot autofocus and you know focus is just not something you want to ruin your picture there's so many things that go into making a picture good so I just refocus before every single shot because I'm kind of anal I suppose <laughs> all right let's take a look at those yeah I know right yeah oh that's the one never mind yeah or the background you know <laughs> which has definitely happened I'm sure everyone watching at home is, you know, oh yeah, that happens to me too. Yeah, we are shooting at f8 at 70 millimeters, so it's, you know, it's not like we're shooting at f1.4 and we gotta like totally nail our focus, but yeah. Oh yeah, that's really nice. So again, we can just, you know, kind of zoom in. Man, it looks great. It really does. The the highlights aren't too bright, the shadows aren't too, too dark, and for straight out of the camera, I'm really happy with this, because we can, I mean, we can definitely yeah, go in there and, like, bring a lot more focus right to you, and, uh, yeah, I think this orange in the background is really, really nice. Cool. All right, man. Good. Looking good. Teamwork. Called it. All right. So uh, we're wrapping our first shot up, guys. Uh, so join us. We're uh, going to be setting up our next shot, uh, which uh, we're going to have Ian actually like holding a disco ball in his hands. And uh, we're going to be shining light uh, on the disco ball and try to have that light uh, shine back into his face. And I've never done this, so uh, it's a pretty good chance that it will uh, take a little while to make it look good. Uh, but the idea is to have like, the, the individual mirrors reflect the light back onto him uh, as he's holding it in his face. So uh, my idea is to uh, uh, have lights behind Ian shining at the disco ball and then have those bounce back at his face. So 
if you guys have any ideas or suggestions uh, while we're doing this, obviously I would super appreciate uh, your guys' help to get the best shot possible. So uh, we're gonna tear this down um, and then uh, basically we've got like 30 minutes in between each of our shots today and that's our time to kind of tear everything down and, uh, and start over again. So uh, I'm gonna go do that and uh, you guys can watch that process as well. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Cool. All right, we good? Tori, would you mind? I guess, sure. I guess now the other shot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I think, yeah, I think dark. Yeah, yeah, probably. It's gonna be one of those things where like, um, Oh yeah, let's just tear all this tear, tear this down. So um, these two these two white V flats, if you can just like lean them back up against that, and then this can just go back there again. Yeah, and then these can go back on the on the shelf as well. Thanks, Tori. Oh. Oh dang. Oh good. <laughs> That's glad that happened. That's not. That's not your fault, Tori. It's happened before, actually. It's, uh, Looks like you know. Oh, okay. That's probably what it is. All right, we'll just, um, yeah. I have an Allen wrench somewhere, or uh, whatever the heck that is. We may do shirt. I mean, we've got a bunch of shots and we're gonna do shirtless. We may do this one shirtless also, um, but we'll try it with the shirt first. Yeah. Why did I do that? All right. So is it um, is the streamer just on the webcam now? This guy here. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, it is my audio going as well. Okay. Cool. I'll make sure to keep it PG. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So. If you're going to be facing like this. What's up? You want me to, to what? To gab? Dab. I don't know what that is. I'm not. Is that drugs? It's a dance move? Tori, you know how to do that? Come fucking dab for everyone. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I don't know how to dab. I don't even know what that is. Here, dab with a ball. Oh, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, good deal. All right, good deal. I learned something new. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, is that drugs? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Am I not fun enough for you? Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Actually, uh, uh, I want to get two lights. Um, we can just use the same, like, uh, one that's on that softbox and, and, and one of these, too. Um, and then I'm going to grid these at, like, yeah, let's remove the beauty dish um, so I can, I can grid these lights at, like, 10 or 20 percent grids um, cool
Oh, perfect. Thank you. All right. Perfect. All right. Oh, yep. Yeah. Let's pop that in there if you don't mind. I have no idea how to light this. I mean, I'm just guessing. I know what I want it to look like. I don't know how to make that happen, so. Well, I want him to hold this disco ball and have the light, like, from the disco ball shining back on his face. Yeah, so like over his shoulder is what I was kind of thinking with like, you know, yeah, with grids on him, so. Um, um, I'll probably have, Ian, do you have a good side? <laughs> hey, Ian. Do you have a side you would prefer? Uh, uh, probably my right, just because like, my hair goes that way. My on, yeah, so you're, okay, so we'll, uh, so you'll hold the disco ball like this then? Okay, cool, so yeah, let's set the lights up uh, from this direction then. Cool. Are they both gonna be Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, and then there's a, you can plug in right there at that extension cord. All right, dude, good job on the first shot. Hustle, hustle, hustle. I'm like, I want to eat, but then everyone at home is just going to like hear me munching, you know? <laughs> Okay, sure. No, no, I, I don't think that's gonna be, that's gonna be on. Yeah, you can, yeah. And it has three, uh, th yeah. <laughs> this, dude, you have no idea. Check it out. This, like. Oh yeah. Yeah, just double tap it. Pull it back out and it'll turn on. We got another one in there coming from the roof, from the ceiling. Yeah, they're. Like a Yeah, yeah, they're they're the best, man. As far as overpriced extension cord robots, <laughs> it's one of my favorite. Oh, yeah, the gaff gun. Oh, you can, you can use a blow dryer. Yeah, for sure. I, I'm the only one who's a... Uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're good. If you need a blow dryer, you need a blow dryer. If you need a blow dryer, you need a blow dryer. Hey, Tori, would you mind uh, uh, grabbing a, a gel, an orange gel, and taping it onto this light as well? Yeah, it just you can just tape it, like, you know, over the front of it. It's cool. All right, cool. All right.
Hey, Ted. Do you mind if uh, we use you as a test subject real quick? Cool. I just want to, you know, see if this is going to work, like, at all. You know? <laughs> like, all right, cool. Yeah. So, if, yeah, if you can get it, like, just kind of, like, right at your face and all. Um, you do? Okay. Cool. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, uh, these are Manfrotto. This is a 055, this guy right here. Um, we have a, a video tripod over here with the video camera on it. Uh, it's also Manfrotto. I, don't, <laughs> I guess I'll go look at whatever this is. This is a five. It's a 504 HD head on the for the video here, and this is a 546B uh, tripod. So it's pretty much all Manfrotto. Uh, a bunch of the stands, light stands are Manfrotto, and then we have a bunch of these Kupo stands, which I really like. Uh, yeah, and some Avenger, uh, which I think is Manfrotto also, huh? Okay. Um, can you get it closer to your face? It's like working, but it, like a couple, but it's like disturbing. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not want. like pretty and cool like I thought I was going to be. Come look at that. It's like, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty uh, <clears throat> disturbing. It's like you almost have to like, snoot it so it just hits the. Yeah, yeah. I'm wondering. <laughs> oh, yeah, everyone's saying, use a snoot, everyone. Um, oh, that's a, so that's a really great idea. Uh, Seth, would you mind grabbing the fog machine <laughs> and plug it in here? We have an industrial fog machine. We rent it for this shoot, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it's a big one. I don't know how we get these beams of light, like, more well-defined. A harder light source, yeah. So like, not in the reflector. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't have a snoot. Is the only. <coughs> is that the foil? I don't have any. We have a ton of gaff tape. I don't have any cinefoil. Um, yeah. Maybe a snoot, yeah, maybe that would be. I think I have like barn doors. I don't know if that would, that would do anything. What's up? You got a couple of the Osmos? Yeah, we have a few like of the regular ones too. Oh, nice. Yeah, we just got this mobile one. Cause they, it wasn't like on the market when we got those others. Let's see what this looks like, just like bare bulb. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. Gloves. Oh, yeah, it looks dope. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll let you know. Uh, actually, why don't you come be your own stand-in, <laughs> if you don't mind. Yeah. And then, cool. Let's, uh, let's hook your uh, mic back up to your, uh, you can just clip it right there. It can be on the outside. Cool. And then Mike, we can we can go ahead and turn his lav back on when he gets that clipped up, just because we're going to be working through this. And no, it's good. It's good how it is. Yeah. All right. Cool. So you can kind of hold that. And the, again, the goal is to have it be, you know, have the light. Yeah, like kind of shine back on you. And I I have no idea how to do this lighting wise. Do you want to like tilt it straight? It doesn't really matter yet. I don't know. I, you know, I just, I don't even know. <laughs> We're dealing with a sphere with a bunch of mirrors on it. It's like <laughs> a know. photographer's I'm nightmare. Like, oh, I'm not even like in the frame. No, no, you are actually. Good? Yeah, good. Uh, actually, back up a little bit. Back up a little more. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I think if we can get this to kind of. Yeah, that's actually going to be pretty cool. All right, I like that. Come, uh, let's. We need to back this up quite a bit, just because okay. I, I think it probably should be bare bulb. Come back a little bit more. Cool. Uh, yeah, I think I think it should be bare bulb, but I don't want so much light on the actual background. So okay. what's going to happen is uh, you're going to have like a like a halo around yeah, your here. head, and then this will mirror. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, cool. you know. <laughs> I just looked directly into that light. It was a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I turned around. <laughs> While you're retouching, like, if you're close up, probably not. But you'll realize I have two different sized pupils. Oh, all right. Yeah. I almost lost my eye one time, so. Oh, shit. Yeah, one's like 25% bigger. Or smaller, actually, the other one. Well, that's fun. Yeah, it's weird. Can't really notice because I have you dark eyes. You can see OK? Yeah. So I'm grateful. Let's uh let's bring the disco ball closer to your face. Cool. Oh yeah. That's actually pretty damn good. I mean, pretty pretty close to what I wanted. Um, yeah. Besides the fact that you got weird cords hanging out the back of your head, but Whoa, we know how to like fix I'm that. In. You're crazy. plugged in. Um, let's get that cheek highlight. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, I'm gonna get another bare bulb light, just like Can right. Like mattify my cheekbone maybe a little bit more, or you want that like crazy? Oh, uh, I actually I didn't see it. Um, what did you What my, did you say? Che it's like, like I have like pretty prominent ch cheekbones. It's like white here. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's up to you. Just let me know. Was it the light that was doing that? Uh, yeah, I think it was just the light source. I don't know if it was the, from the ball or what, but okay, you can look at it. I don't know. Yeah. Did you mention you? You could put like makeup or something on it. Or? Yeah, I was just gonna see if I could make it a little bit more matte, but I don't know. All right. I'm not yeah, really oily. Yeah, we can so. try for it. Our giant boom here, which everyone's going to ask about in the next two minutes. Yeah, this that's is, amazing. Yeah, it's the best thing ever. It's a parallelogram, so this thing can like raise and lower, but the light, you know, stays level, which is super nice, and it's. it's counterbalanced as well. Um, this is from uh, Calumet makes this boom. Um, and I think Calumet's like not really in business anymore. So Matthews makes one like this. OK, cool. And also Red Wing, I know, makes one like this. So we're going to hold it in the spot, and then you tighten it, or you got it? Yeah, actually, yeah, if, we, if you wouldn't mind. Do you want it down more? Or? Yeah, I'm just going to take one of these sandbags off, because it's pulling it too much. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is amazing. Dude, yeah. Just dropping in like a hair light, it's so easy. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, this is gonna obviously have to be, you're probably gonna raise it after the fact, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, the nice thing is if you count, if you balance it right, you don't really, you, really need the like, you don't really it. lock it in place, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, you wanna let go? Yeah, it's all right, and then, all right. Four. 
and that's going to end. <laughs> There you go. Cool. All right, we're balanced now. Um, yeah. So once you're balanced, you just like do that, and you're done. Wow. Right? Yeah. <laughs> There's no like cranking anything. Yeah. yeah. yeah Obviously. I, mean, I don't know why I didn't like I didn't think it would balance like where yeah. you moved it it's to. Yeah. It's like yeah, balance down. That's you know great. up like yeah. This thing's nice. We got it on like I think we got it on sale. We got we got this from like a rental house, so you know. It's like a hundred bucks for that giant. Bought it from a rental place that's old, or are you still renting that? Uh, we bought it. Yeah, they were going like going out of business. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Pro tip for any folks at home: buy stuff from going. Buy stuff from companies business. that are going out of business. <laughs> yeah. Ian, can I put you to work a little mm -hmm. bit? Would you mind? If you want. <laughs> you just yeah. set this on the floor for now. Um, yeah, if you just want to plug that extension cord mm -hmm. into the wall over there. I think we might actually grid this, yeah. Um, all right. So it turns out this idea did not work. <laughs> not a problem. That's why we test things out. Oh, does it just go into this? Yeah, yep. Pl plug it in? Yep, perfect. And then... Make sure the sink is on here. Okay, yeah. So I'm just adjusting the power. Um, we're we're transmitting uh, wirelessly from the camera to our lights using pocket wizards. Uh, the nice thing, and these are all, these are Paul C. Buff Einstein lights. Uh, the nice thing is these have sl like what's known as like optical slaves or optical triggers on them. Uh, so. Really, I'm just using a pocket wizard on the camera, another pocket wizard here on my main light, and then this light, when it sees uh, the other light fire, it'll fire as well. So you don't, you don't need a pocket wizard on every one of your lights, which is kind of nice, because it'll save you money and reliability issues, you know, like the more things you have like that function off batteries during a shoot. Uh, He's you know, up a hair just, light right now to light the top of my hair. Yeah, so basically the idea there is this just like... It's going to be giving me a little rim light behind me. It's going to be far away from the backdrop to make sure it doesn't illuminate it. Yeah. So we're shooting from... Yeah, basically just drop in a hair light in here and then... And, you know, obviously we got to see what this looks like because I have no idea what this is going to look <laughs> like. Um, but let's give it a shot. Uh, would you mind, Ian? Yep. And then I'd like to reduce the amount of light on our backdrop, but I don't... I'm not... I don't have a great idea on how to do that just now. Oh, is that where you were? I don't know. I okay. Think so that that looks good to me. Let me just yeah, get I felt this. Like I was staring at the pole. Okay, cool. Let me just get the hair light like on you then. Yeah, because that that was definitely behind me. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Can you tell me when that's like right above you? A little bit more this way. That's good. Oh, perfect. Cool. All right. Cool. Yeah. So having a boom like that is just really really nice for dropping a hair light in. All right, cool. I'm going to come from behind a little bit with the light because it's, uh, I wanted to light your hair. Your hair was just going like a little bit dark, mm -hmm. but I want to make sure you that. You want to get it more on the little, like this side a teeny bit, right? Yeah, exactly. I, don't, I really don't want it like on your face yeah, so much, yeah, yeah. you know? Probably go, yeah, just push it. There you go. That's good. Right what do you there. think? Yeah. Try it there? Yeah. Should work. All right, cool. Might have to get it a teeny bit that way. Cool. All right, step back just uh, like two inches. Perfect. Yeah. 
All right, and can we get the uh, get the uh, ball like closer to your face? Yeah. And uh, would you mind just move the ball all around? Because I I can actually see it reflect the light. Like, so I move it forward and backward and closer and farther to your face and closer to the light, farther away. Okay, now back the other way. Yeah, that's actually better. Yeah. Here? Yeah, so I, I thought it was going to be better straight on, but it when it's like here, oh, sorry. If you can, like, just, just. <laughs> I'm staying. You're staying. Okay. This is just going that way. Yeah, and it's, it's lighting up your face quite a bit more. Okay. So, and you can look into it, too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, that's really cool, actually. All right. All right, bring the ball a little bit closer to me. There we go. A little bit closer to me with the ball. Yeah, it's a... Uh, do, do you want me to keep me, to like try to keep my body straight, or do you just want me to turn? Yeah. I guess turning is, is fine, yeah. Should be okay, a little bit. Yeah. I'll like, split the difference. Cool. Yeah, and then the, uh, the hair lights kind of like fall out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're at the back a little bit. We're going to pull it. Yeah. Go this way a little bit, probably. This way, the back. Go with like the, like here? Yeah, kind of, yeah. I would say like a teeny bit forward that one. Okay. Really? That? Yeah, you can adjust it too. All right. What time were we going to start this shoot? This shot? Like 10.30? Two minutes? Okay. Is this like kind of loose? Uh, no, that's fine though. It should be okay. Yeah, it's super cool though. I really like it. It's a cool ass shot. Um, I'm just gonna put this straight up and down. Hopefully so reduce. Get, like any like, like this rim. Yeah, yeah, we should do that Maybe stuff. A gif. More like a gif of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to figure out like. Let me test. Uh, the light close to you and the light far from you as well. That is so trippy. Uh, could you put the disco ball a little bit higher? Yeah. Cool. I'm just going to turn off the overhead real quick. Just to see what exactly it's like. Yeah, see what that light alone is doing, because it's like reflection city, man. Yeah, that looks, ugh. dude, check it out, my computer. Oh, that totally looks different from like the original, like the first one. Oh, one yeah. Guys, yeah, that's definitely a lot different. Yeah, it, I think it looks way better. Yeah, oh, that's so, so cool. Um, I can see the light coming through the hand is pretty cool. Yeah. Do you want the background darker, or is it that's? Like I do want the background darker. I'm. I guess I can flag or. What's up? Yeah, maybe you just like. Yeah. A so. small thing with some like gaff tape or something. Like a piece of cardboard or whatever. Uh, we have like black gaff tape against the wall there. We just want to like stick some up together. I think that would work. Yeah, because I. I would like the background a little darker. Yeah, these are going to be sick. Yeah, it probably does look better if I look up slightly. Mm hmm. But that does kind of look kind of cool, though. Yeah. Yeah. 
The beginning was like really crazy. That was the hair light back in there, huh? Oh, uh, the, the, oh. Yeah, the hair light, just kind of coming in from the. Yeah, getting my ear. Top there, yeah. Because right, the last one we shot, we turned it off, right? Yeah, I did. Which it's okay. like, it, it still looks cool. It, you would just have to push it like the back like here, right? You wanted it? Your yeah. Back, like, crown. I'd, I'd love like a little bit of a hair light on here. Let me try. I'm going to bring this from the other side just to see if that um, makes more sense. It's gonna be a cool ass shot. Oh, you missed it all the way over there, yeah. Or yeah, it's just like, I think coming kind of like from this way yeah, might make more sense. Yeah. Um, it's a lot easier. Yeah. We just saw the plug on that side though, went for it. Right. I had something stuck to my beard the entire time that was like hanging. Oh yeah, I saw it too. Yeah, I was like, oh cool, Photoshop. Uh, yeah, and then like my little it. baby hairs over here on the. Not really baby hairs, just like my hair doesn't. It's so my hair's so coarse it doesn't want to stay down on the very short hair. Yeah, I mean, dude, my hair. Clone stamp gone. Though. Would be like a frizzy ass mess. So I. Yeah, your hair's been long for a while, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, a couple years now, but it's still like I. Put a bunch of conditioner in it this morning. <laughs> just kind of like, did you leave it? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I have to. I gotta like load it up. Um, or it's like curly, curly. Curly is good. You, it'll get frizzy. And then it looks, I, I need to do my hair. I didn't have any time. I was yeah. like doing this live broadcast. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do my hair all nice for this broadcast. Uh, <laughs> nope. It's live. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. Um, yeah okay, let's try it like that. Super coarse and straight and thick. It's like insane. Um, so I was like, oh, here. yeah, dude. Yeah, good thinking. So that it's. So I was like here, though, so I don't know if we're going to move it because I was like here. I think I was staring like, right at it. So did we move this a little bit? Is it, I think it, was, it got closer to me. Well, let's have you step back just a little bit. I think that'll be OK. Yeah, perfect. Do you want me in front of this a little bit, right? Or do we want it like. Well, I, um, so I want your head to block the light. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like. On this axis, yeah, like, yeah, perfect. Block it more back. Yeah. That definitely helps. Can we see what it looks like without that flag? The the reason being is uh, just makes the background a lot cleaner. Yeah, I think we're good actually. Yeah, I, I, I think we're good. Yeah. And then I'm gonna see what it looks like getting this farther from you too, like. I'm just, I'm unsure what that's going to look like, the difference between. Yeah, I think closer was the better bet there. Yeah, it's definitely going to be stronger, like, thanks to reflections, right? Yeah, for sure. I can sure. see it, even staring into it, I can see. You can see more yeah. of a reflection there? Yeah, I can see exactly where it's, it's hitting, like right here. Yeah, that's sick. Cool, all right, I want to nail this hair light too. All right, so we're slated to start this shot pretty soon, I guess. Um, hey, listen. <laughs> Would you mind getting me like a bagel? 
with like a little cream cheese on it. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything today and I'm like, you know, <laughs> I'm like dying over here, but I also like, you know, really want to do a good job with the live broadcast, so yeah. I'm going to eat so much food today after shooting. Yeah, well, I think we're all going out. Um, yeah. It hasn't been uh, it hasn't been super planned yet, but um, if you if you'd like to join us, yeah, I'd be down. I'd be down. Definitely down. Uh, cool. All right, I'm gonna turn the modeling lamp on just so we can. Hear. Oh yes, please. Said the magic word. Man, I didn't know that was an option earlier. Oh yeah, there's a toaster uh, in the corner there for all your future bagel needs. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's learn. Yeah, that's sick. I like that hair light in there. It definitely makes a difference. Cool, and your cross earring is like pops. Blingin'. Yeah. yeah, it's blinging. You want to check it out? It looks super, well, I guess it'd be 80s, though. This is not really 80s, but. That's kind of, you know, yeah. 70s, really 80s. 80s. Yeah. But I guess we do lose that on my face, though. Well, it, it will, I, I think. I think we're going to be able to find the right balance. I, again, I, yeah. I think like the disco ball being like, if it's Turned. like directly to your it's face, not, yeah. it's not so much. But if it's like here, it I feel like, yeah. Yeah, as long as I keep my, maybe I could keep my face sideways and you wouldn't even tell perspective wise. Yeah, and just like move off. it. Yeah, yeah, I think that would be cool too. I'll try. Um, yeah, I think that'll be cool. Cool. Yeah, let's get a. Is my, is my mic back on? I, yeah, I think your mic's on. Hey, Mike, is his mic on? Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, Mike, are we mic'd? <laughs> um, okay. Step back just a little bit if you don't mind. Perfect. Yeah, that's dope, man. Uh, let's raise the disco ball up just a little bit. Yeah. And towards me with the disco ball a little bit. Yeah. I'm like not going to look at it and just tell me if it looks like I'm actually staring at it. Like uh, It kind of doesn't. Okay. Yeah. I'm just turn a little bit. Step I'm forward just, just a tiny bit. Yeah. There we go. Back just a tiny bit, yeah. And tor towards me just a tiny bit too. Like, yeah, walk, step towards me just a little bit, a little bit more. All right, sorry, a little bit less. I'm trying to balance the hair light also. All right, eyes back towards me. Do what? Eyes uh, like towards me. Badass. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You come check it out. Yeah, I think balancing that. Oh, yeah, where was it? It was. Yeah. That does look cool looking up, actually. Yeah, I think looking up is a winner. I'd, I want to make sure that the hair light isn't too much on your. Um, on your face, like, you know, you can yeah, see yeah, how it's, it's spilling on your face here a little bit. I, I really want it to be more. Just gotta push it back. Yeah, I think. Back and lower. Yeah, well, let's just move this a little bit forward and then. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, should I mark? Should we make a mark? Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's do that. We have just some so red gaff here. Maybe, maybe it might save some time. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. We might even just get one with each foot too, just so I can stay. Okay, out. yeah. Let's go ahead and see have you, that, all right, back just a little bit more. Cool. I think I was like, it's hard because I'm staring at a ball instead of my surroundings. Yeah, for sure. Uh, forward step, like, uh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, right, right there is cool. And I'll just, uh, is there a protocol in film for marking just like a T? Like True, yeah. Okay. So you can tell right. angle-wise, I guess you would have done it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, is that, is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. We can just do each foot. I'll know exactly which angle because right. he's not going to move either. I can tell where he is. Cool. Um, let me just... Left foot's fine. All right. Stand up. Yeah, that's cool there. And then... All right. Mark it right there. Cool. All right. Yeah, so we're, we're pretty well set up now. Um, okay, my... My when you're looking to, if you want me just to, um, maybe if I just tilt the ball, let me know if you get more light on my face. Oh, totally, right yeah. I mean, as you move it, and the, the dots of light are like moving around. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Too, like if, you, if one's like in, in my eye, and you want me to move it. Yeah, you know, okay. Now I can tilt it. All right, cool. It's like for right here, this is perpendicular, kind of my face, so. Yeah, 
No, it, it looks awesome. Let's take like a short, just like a two second break. I gotta change the battery in my camera. Okay. Did and, you eat a bagel? You gotta eat and a bagel. I need to eat a bagel. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Turn my mic level all the way up for when I eat the bagel. <laughs> <laughs> is he actually eating a bagel? Is this a green screen? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is it actually toasted? I'm actually, I mean, it, being like a blogger as well as like an ex-model, like I, I'm just surrounded by photographers in a yeah. sense, and there's like 10 people texting me. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> My friend Jeff is like, I'm watching it, it's so sick. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Um, let's actually work with... A friend actually, this is the one that texts me on yeah, the thing, and he yeah. goes, do a discreet dab. <laughs> <laughs> you should. Everyone. Come on, come on over with Mike, if, if you don't mind. Um, you know how we have a name card for me? Can we build one for Ian real quick? Um, just on the... Um, and then Ian can tell you like his Instagram stream and stuff like that. And by the way, this... You can turn off if you want to go to, um, uh, there's one that says uh, auto live. Here. Here. You can turn that off. Okay. And then I'll that way you can do whatever you want here. And, that one, and it yeah. won't be live. And then if you want to push that live, you can just push then that push and it'll go live. Yeah. Not that you wanted to do that. You know, put back to the wide cool. shot. But um, oh, yeah, would you, would you mind building yeah. like a, Maybe uh, duplicate that and then. Yeah. Put in yeah. Yeah. Cool. Bagel time. Bagel. All right. And then, um, Ian, if you want to tell Mike your details here, like Instagram. Oh yeah. That we can just flash that on the screen and people can follow Sounds you on Instagram. Good to me. You can always use Dude. more followers. <laughs> it's easy. Yeah. It's just my name. It's cool. All right. We can probably cut my audio because I'm about to eat this bagel. I know, right? Good, man. Good. It's going to be like the next thing for me to explore. It's pretty dang cool. Video. Did you see the first shot? Terrifying. Yeah, the first. pictures you've already taken. Yeah, this is our second concept. The shot, I mean, the photos are turning out really cool. My nails? My fingernails? Yeah. Mine? Mm -hmm. Being nice or not nice? No, they're like, what is he going to show his nails or something? Somebody's like, is there like a Hello Kitty uh, manicure or something? And I was like, it's like... Kind of Ian something. has, I think his yeah. nails are painted. Okay. Ian or something. Yeah. Well, we got AI. Here's one. No. <laughs> Hi. No. Nope. Now we're at or just be like, no just be like, <laughs> like someone else's hand. Be like, what were you going to see? Well, okay. Right. Okay. Yep. And then Elkins, E L K I. I mean, it's just weird. And then like seven black socks and like one weirdo, and then more people playing off the weirdo. Okay. Can you, can you can you like go and see who the original asker was and like kind of go back in yeah, history and see it? Off. So you can put him in time. It's just like it's just I didn't know if it was like a weird troll thing or random, which just sounds like yeah. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Nobody has any idea about anybody's nails. Are they saying they're bad? Or no, it's just like, why are they? They gotta be talking about his, because mine. there's nothing unique about my there's fingernails. Nothing exceptional, yeah. Yeah. Is the model that fingernails? Well, he has, he has tattoos on his fingers, I know. My audio? Oh. I asked Mike to cut that. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. That's fine. Um, okay. Yeah, maybe I should go over and hit the mute button next time. Yeah. 100% cut this. 
you know. We're about to talk about <laughs> I figured there was a chance that I, I was still on. Well, and I think that if they heard that. We just want to see the high end mannequin. Oh, they're figuring out the. Now they're talking about the nails. Okay, well. <laughs>
So we need to we need to jump back in. My audio is coming back. Okay. I am bageled up. <laughs> Explain more. Okay. Um, that was. Yeah, I don't even know how they got that location because nobody's allowed back there. Like, they must have paid so much money to get back there. Yeah, I'm changing yeah. my battery yeah. because the battery was not <laughs> charged. So I'm going to go over here to the corner of the room and get a new battery. <laughs> Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep, for sure. Cool. All right. So let me just replace the battery in the camera here. All right. We good to go for the broadcast? I sound further away? Oh, you bleeding? Just like a few ounces of blood, no big Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, I forgot you ride beam apps. You still ride, too, yeah. Yeah, I just found something I have in the morning. I have two, you know, ones. It's slightly different. I got another bike, and that one was stolen four months later. So I had to go back to the old one, which is nowhere near the same. Yeah. Now you're back. Is like your full time job. Yeah. yeah. And then now it's on the wall. Is Ian's, Ian's audio, audio back on? Like yeah, 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 for sure. Because we're. Okay, cool. Um, you used to ride 40 or 50 hours a week? 40 to 50 hours a week, yeah. I used to be able to eat whatever I wanted. That was the great thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> now I can't, but I only ride about four hours every two weeks now. Four hours? Four hours every two weeks. Oh, you know? yeah. So, so it's like... like session. That's all I do. Yeah, it's, it's enough to like remember how to ride, but yeah. Yeah, but not... I'm terrified to ride, honestly, half the time because it's just two weeks in between something. Yeah. I just keep falling off and yeah. plus when I ride, I'm so sore now. Oh, yeah. When I, I kept imagine. up with it, I could ride 10 hours every day and it'd be fine. But now it's, now it's rough. Yeah, it's brutal. I know. Anything like that, it's like... Even with photography, I like... Yeah. If I don't do it for a while, I'm like, what the yeah, hell am I doing? Yeah, retouching especially. Like, but you could do those things too much and just blow yourself out. Yeah. Like when I was retouching at the studio, that was 10 hours, 10 to 12 hours every day. And that yeah, that's not sucking. No one wants to do that. Yeah, that's why I quit. <laughs> My hands were killing me. My hands already hurt from BMX, too. Like, I have carpal tunnel. and ugh, Yeah, gross. staring at a computer for, like, 10 hours a day, that will... Shorten your lifespan. Yeah, and then back to my eye where it doesn't dilate really, so that that's great staying in this computer screen that long. All right, let's try that as our backlight. Okay, cool. Um, go. All right, so we'll do the steady cam as a talking cam. Okay. Does that work? All right, guys. Back on. We're good to go. Cool. Um, so we are all set up for our second shot. So we just did like a little brief intermission. I got some food, which is really nice. Um, for this shot, we are going to be doing everything. Uh, the idea was to use this uh, disco ball as kind of like a light source. Obviously, it's not a light source, but it's reflective. Um, and the idea was to get some light on, uh, on Ian's face with, with the light. So we played around with a bunch of different light setups. Uh, in the end, we wound up putting a light. Um, you can check it out behind here. Uh, we wound up putting a light behind Ian. This is just a uh, it's a Einstein, it's a Paul Seabuff Einstein, and this is what's known as bare bulb. Uh, in other words, there's no like reflectors or beauty dishes or anything like that on there. 
We've got some tape on the back, and that's keeping the light from spilling onto our backdrop. So we can still have like a really nice dark backdrop, which we want here. Um, so basically, this light is going to create a little bit of like a, a halo, like rim light effect around Ian, which is nice. Also, hit the disco ball and then shine the light directly back onto Ian's face as well. So that was the whole idea. We just wanted it to be like, you know, any anytime you're like coming up with a concept or anytime that I'm coming up with a concept for a shoot anyway, it's like I, I try for like something to be happening in the picture. It just tends to be a lot more interesting and props are like a really great way uh, to get like something going on during a shoot. So uh, in this case, you know, we just ordered this online. It really wasn't expensive, but the disco ball, it, it's a cool prop for a couple reasons. Uh, one is because it, you know, the, the mirrors like reflect the light, which, you know, it makes the photo a little more interesting. But two, it just gives your subject something to like actually interact with, which is so important because if you're taking a picture of someone and they're just like standing there, like looking at the camera, it's, they don't know what to do. Sometimes it can be really awkward, but like, you know, giving someone just like a prop to kind of play with, it, it, it adds a lot to a photo shoot and just, you know, it's easier for the person, you know. Staring at this thing. Yeah, exactly. A little cross side but aside from that. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> and it just gives you like a, a like something to actually work with. So um, I, that would be my recommendation. If you guys are photographing people in the studio, you know, uh, like little props and things like that, they, they can make a big difference. Just kind of makes things a little more interesting. So. Um, our light in the background is going to be lighting uh, the disco ball. And then we've got a little hair light uh, in here as well. Uh, and this is just on a, on a boom. But the, the purpose of this light, oops, is to knock Ian out. Yeah. <laughs> um, the purpose of this light is just to shine a little bit of light uh, on, on his hair there. So um, it's OK if it yeah, it's breaks. Yeah, like a, a little loose. But. <laughs> it's OK. Um, yeah, so that's basically the idea uh, behind the shot. Uh, uh, pretty much the entire day today, I'm going to shoot with a 70 to 200 lens here. Uh, we are shooting tethered. I, I just replaced my battery, so I've got to like restart my tether software. Um, oh, 24 to 70. What did I say? 70 to 200. Oh, I said 70 to 200. Never mind. Um, yeah, I'm shooting with the 24 to 70. Um, Cool. Looks like it's still connected. Um, yeah, so we should be we should be good to go. You want to start doing it? Mm -hmm. Start shooting. Cool. All right, and we've marked some places on the floor there for Ian to stand, just so because the lighting is so like um, dialed in. And you know what? I can already see that this hair light just needs to come. Yeah, I felt it on my face actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me know if you feel it on your face. Yeah, it, no, it's definitely not on. Okay. Somewhere. Cool. Oh, this is a Canon 5D Mark III. Um, uh, I started off with a Mark II, and uh, yeah, I, I really like the Mark III. I think it does a really good job. Um, yeah, good question. All right, and we're shooting at uh, two hundredth of a second at like f three point five uh, ISO one hundred. So, all right, let's uh, let's do it. Yeah, and already these are really cool. So because we're shooting at 200th of a second and we're using strobes, I feel pretty confident that I can take my camera off the tripod and still get perfectly sharp uh, shots without any uh, motion blur in them too. So that's, that's nice because I'd, I'd like some portrait shots too. All right. Yeah, those are cool shit. Oh yeah, it's definitely way better. Now it's perfect. Yeah, it's pretty not so bad. Mm -hmm. Good job, man. Dialed it in. I think the foot placement just kind of saves some time. And yeah, it totally. Allowed you to dial it in better. Yeah. Because we get it perfect, then I move, and it's done. Don't you freaking move. Yeah. I may wind up switching. I'm at 70 millimeters right now, and I'm like. Oh, maxed out. Yeah, I'm a little maxed out, so I'm going to just grab. Maybe that's why you said the uh, 70 That's why I said it. I'm no, just, just predicting the future. <laughs> um, so I'm going to grab a 70 to 200 just because I was at, I was at 70 millimeters 
already and it's just kind of like, you know what, I'd like to back up a little bit. For you guys. Yeah. Um, I dabbed for him, kind of. <laughs> Are you dabbing? I dabbed for him like one time. <laughs> just dabbed for him quick one time, you know? For dabs? Yeah. Is that like a new thing? Put a dab with the ball though and having it go flying. For, yeah. Am I just old? <laughs> okay, yeah, so obviously. Yeah, obviously I'm just like out of it. All right, so switch to the 70 to 200. Uh, this is a 2.8 IS. Uh, I'm in autofocus now with like one shot autofocus. Um, the reason I'm switching to the 70 to 200 here is because uh, I can back up a little farther and zoom in and get more compression. So uh, I'll be able to keep more of Ian in the frame and also the background as well. And it's going to give us a very different look as far as our images are concerned as well. Beautiful. All right. You can shut that off. <laughs> All right. Communications. All right. Just got a little message saying I need to put the lens back on. Oh, that's nice actually, like kind of looking down like that. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. You want me holding it up or actually? Oh, that's so it? cool. You want me on, like off of me? Or? Yeah, dude, just everything. Is, right. you're, in, you're in the right place, so from here on out, we'll just like move okay. everything around and like see, you know, see what we can do, but yeah. I don't even mind. We've got a little bit of light, like spilling, you know, spilling out and around Ian, and I don't mind it. I'm trying to keep most of the light behind Ian. Um, yeah, let's have it a little bit farther out. I don't think it's catching much light. There we go. All right. Beautiful. Yeah, can you bring the disco ball more towards me? There we go, yeah, perfect. Perfect. And let's rotate the ball a little bit. That's All right, right, and actually do it like super slow and I'll tell you when to stop. Uh, yep, towards me a little more with the, like rotating the ball. And a little bit more, a little bit more, a little more, a little more. Oh, can you move your thumb? There's like a place where the light like just shines right in the camera and it looks really cool. Rotate it a little bit more if you don't mind. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, right back a tiny bit. Cool. Yeah, that way we're, it's shining right like into the camera also. Yeah, that is so cool. <laughs> All right. Cool. And the disco ball, little. I liked it how it was up like that. That was really nice. Bring the, let's bring the disco ball towards me a little more. Did our tethered capture stop? Oh, huh. hey, there we go. Um, disco ball towards me a little bit more. There we go. It's not really hitting the light so much. I yeah, that's well, the thing. My hand is going to be... Oh, yeah. your hand. Can we bring... Yeah, your Can hand. switch hands? Uh, let's just... How you had it just right like a this. second ago was nice. Yeah, just bring your left hand like over top of your right hand almost. Bring my left hand over my right hand? Yeah, like that. There we go. Perfect. I just feel like I'm going to drop it. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Feel free it's like, to... It's like if it was just a teeny bit smaller, I could palm it, but I don't know. It's all right, I guess. <laughs> we could super glue your hand to the disco. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is so cool. Let's do your uh, hand, your left hand down, maybe. Off. Yeah, just off, and then, yeah, if you if you feel like you can, palm it. 
All right, I'm not seeing so much light on. Yeah, the there we go. Ball. Yeah. Put my face off the ball. I'm trying to actually see if I can see it, hit it. What's up? I'm just trying to see if I can actually see it, like, because I can kind of catch a glare, like, on a couple of these squares over here, and I think mm. that's when it's. That's when it's like the best. Yeah. yeah. I just saw it. Right there. Let me know, because I can see it right there. Well. I'll tell you, that's actually in your eye right now. I guess so that's actually like less preferable. <laughs> yeah, sorry, so. <laughs> that's cool. Let's look at the shots on the computer and okay. see see what we're looking at. Yeah, that was it, like right there. Like, yeah, that's yep, why. you yeah. nailed it. Mm -hmm. It's right in your eyeball there. Um, oops. So we can try to figure out. I think I like the two hands better. And I. Two hands. On the, on the ball. In general. On yeah. The, yeah, not over. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I like the hands like on each side, the original. Like yeah, the original one for sure. That's kind of that's really cool, actually, man. That that's such a nice the shot. Glare right there. Yeah, the glare coming through there, and then you're. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to just maybe turn my head down or. or just full screen that so people can see that. Yeah, let's do some more, some more. Oh, that's cool too. Yeah, we just gotta get, cause that looks better cause the light creeps over my face. I can see more of the actual squares. Yeah, and I think if we, again, that I think is so money, having yeah. that like little mm -hmm. glimmer in there too. Um, we'll shoot a few more of these and then would you mind, we'll do some with the shirt off as well. Mm -hmm. Cause I think that, you know, like the light, the patches of light like yeah. are on your shirt and it looks super cool so we can, that, even that's super cool. Yeah. I say we just keep going. Oh, uh, you saw that. That's what it was. See, that looks good on my, the lighting. Here. The like light, on yeah, my face. on your face is mm. totally nailed, but that the light from behind you. So these are all shot at 200, and then, yeah, so we can see the difference. That's with the, uh, this is with the 24 to 70. And so yeah. you can see, the folks at home can see how the, uh, the background is included because it's just a little bit wider. And when we back up and zoom in, we have a lot more compression happening. And oh, wow. so yeah, basically, it yeah, it, it's a great trick. Like if you've got someone far away from the like background. Equal, like distance from the size of the framing. Yeah. It's so, actually, yeah, it is like the same exact framing. Yeah, pretty much. It's we like, just back up. Just like content, and content aware scale just by like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> by changing your lens. lens. That's cool. Yeah, so that's, um, it, it's called compression and it's a really great way, like basically you're including less in the frame, but it, you yeah. know, <laughs> yeah, pretty awesome. cool. What was that shot at? One like one uh, that's percent. shot at like one, let me hit information up there. Really 100 to 115. Uh, yeah, that's shot at 100 millimeters there. Okay. Yeah, so. Interesting. Cool. All right, let's keep going with it. I, so we yeah. did, like you said, two hands. We wanted to do the looking down. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah, I and think that's perfect. And then we will, once I guess we nail that, we'll decide we'll get the same pose with shirtless. Yep, And yep. see which one obviously looks better. Yeah, and we, we can try some, you know, it's we just keep too. shooting until yeah. we get something we really like, basically. All right, hold it there. Oh, that's so cool. Can you bring your thumb, like your right, yeah, there we go. Just, yep. Oh, nothing happened. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is so nice. Can you rotate the disco ball just a little bit? Yeah. A little bit more? Just a tiny bit? Yeah, a little bit less. I'm trying to get it back to that place where it's like shining that glare in the camera, you know? I guess that's just pretty much luck. Yeah, I guess you could probably, oh, I mean, maybe take it from the other ones. Yeah, maybe. Possibly. Yeah. The only thing is the squares. Let's do some where you're like touching it. Like, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. All the way touching it? Yeah, yeah. Let's go all the way. Yeah. 
Yeah. Maybe touch it uh, further back. Yeah, there we go. Let's raise it up a little bit higher too. Yeah. Perfect. Is that hair light still on you? I feel like. Yeah. It's on. It's on, yeah. Um, can you stand just like as you would? I'm going to just bring it. It's hot. Yeah. All right, there we go. Let me just pull it a little bit more forward. Perfect. All right, so yeah, just readjusting the hair light here. I'm going to actually turn the modeling light off. It, it's really nice to have a modeling light, but it can be a little bit, um, you can actually burn out like a grid or something like that because these are just plastic. So it's nice to have it on to see what you're doing, but. Yeah, I mean, it felt like it was getting hot. So yeah, it was smoking actually, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> when I have yeah. like melting hot plastic drip on my face. Yeah, mm. it's part of the effect. It's, it's cool. fine, yeah. Just, you know. I'll go with it. Just deal with it. Nice. Nice. Cool. I'm going to have you just kind of like rotate like this Turn a little, little bit. bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Bring the ball out a little bit. I'm not seeing so much of the light from it now. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that's so cool. Let's take a look at that. I actually, someone online Still suggested, <laughs> someone online suggested a little bit of fog, which I think might be kind of cool. I think you have the machine right over there. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, oh yeah, I forgot we did pull that out. That was yeah, <laughs> yeah. And by a little bit of fog, I, I mean a lot of a fog, because yeah. it's a that's giant fog machine. Serious. So, um, all right, why don't you go ahead and, Fan, see what it does. yeah, and get in place and, uh, we are going to use our, this is a Roscoe uh, V Hazer. Um, it's a badass fog machine. Uh, this is just, we rented this in town from a company called Pro Gear, but um, all right, so I'm just gonna. Back it up a little bit actually, because it will like basically totally fill the room with fog. All right, let's see what that looks like. Now, it might be a strange question, but with the light and then the fog, does that kind of affect the, just kind of, I don't know, what do you say? Like basically the strength of the light, would that kind of flatten the light out a bit from almost act as like softening? You think? Probably, yeah. Depends I have no idea what this is, is gonna look like. That's what I'm thinking. Right? Yeah. It will reflect on the fog. Uh, I just want to make sure we're not getting the cracks on the couple. There we go. There. That's cool. It's really different. It's fog. really cool. Let me just turn the oh, fog wow. off. <laughs> it's And it seems that the fog, I mean, in general, saying it is far back, it's kind of. The density of the fog is all the same, but the light actually acts as, oh, yeah. makes it look more dense in that area. Let's shoot while it's kind of like dissipating. Oh, well, to whomever suggested we use fog, Thank you, because these are really cool shots. <laughs> <laughs> it did, but there's still like a decent bit of fog in the air, yeah. Oh, 
Oh man, these are so cool. Damn. All right, you want to come take a look? Yeah. You look like a magician. Yeah. Like a sexy magician. <laughs> Let's start a show on Netflix called Sexy Magician. Jeez. It'll just be this. Yeah, fog is way, way better. Wow. Yeah, that's so cool. Was it one forward or one back that we got more? Yeah, Here, you, you, control, you can control it. Yeah, I like that one with the more highlight on the cheek. Maybe. Yeah. But that one does look cool. Yeah, I do you just like the one, how it hit the cheek, because it almost just evens it out. The... Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. What is it? The white wall. Yeah. I kind of don't mind it so much. Add color. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So do we know? I guess I'm going to kind of actually like the eyes, though. Dude. Yeah. What's up? You OK. <laughs> You're like, I am off. Yeah. It's crazy we're picking up colors just from the room on the wall. Yeah. That's sick. Let's do some uh, shirtless, too, just to see. I, I really like this. I, I'm curious as yeah. how it would look uh, without a shirt on as well. Um, cool. Um, we're going to have to lose this. I oh, guess. yeah. Can we mute his mic real quick while he takes Sorry, it off? Just... Yep, you're muted. So you can go ahead and take it off. Yeah. All right. That was at fog level one out of nine. Uh, yeah. Out of nine? Yeah. That's an industrial history. Oh, yeah. 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 Like stages and things like that. Yeah. I've taken these things in the woods with generators and like you can fill like outdoors with one of these. They're fun, man. They're uh, so much fun. Yeah. Sure, take your time. Um, yeah, so for those of you guys watching, you know, at home, this is, uh, again, this is a, it's a Roscoe uh, V Hazer. Um, and we rented these. Honestly, I've purchased a few fog machines over the years. They seem to, like, work fine for a while, and they just kind of, like, break, um, especially if you buy, like, the inexpensive ones. So um, if you guys are on, like, a, you know, an actual photo shoot or whatever, I, I would recommend just renting one of these. Any, like, local rental house in town or whatever will we'll totally keep these in stock. Um, and I don't know what, you know, it's less than, you know, we're just rented it for the day. It's probably between 50 and 100 bucks, so really not too expensive and can give you a lot of nice, a lot of nice fog. So um, he just ran into the bathroom. He's going to, uh, you know, test his, uh, uh, well, he's just going to go to the bathroom, I guess. Uh, and when he gets back, we'll do a couple shots shirtless, and uh, we'll be good to go. Cool. Yeah. Um. Really quits. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have any recording in I think it would have a. <laughs> Pretty shot. Yeah. I'm trying to yeah. disentangle myself.
53 minutes? Okay. 48. Oh, 48 minutes. 48. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're lowest coming down there. All right, guys. Ian shirtless. Our fog. <laughs> easy down, easy there. Cool. All right. Uh, I'm going to turn the fog machine back on and uh, we'll be ready to shoot again. Cool. Yeah. All right. How do you feel? Good. All right. Cool. I'm going to turn the haze back, the fog back on and. I think we can really back this up. It seems like, yeah. All right, cool. Let's shoot, see what it looks like. Yeah, that's really sick. It's a little bit too much fog, so I'm just going to turn it off. It'll dissipate. Um, I think I turned it off. I'm not sure. <laughs> cool. Let's keep going. Nice. Nice. Can you uh, bring the ball a little closer to your? There we go. Yeah. That's cool. Let's check these out. I think I might like it better with the shirt on. Yeah, I like it because it just concentrates more on everything else. The ball. Yeah. What was the suggestion again? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So someone made the suggestion to hang the disco ball on a stand and then have uh, have Ian interact with it. I think that's a great idea. Let's go ahead and uh, if you want to throw your shirt back on, uh, we do have a stand and the disco ball has a thing. I just need a piece of like string or something. So I'm gonna go find a piece of string. Um, we can hang it up. Um, would you mind getting like a little little boom arm set up so we can hang the disco ball? You just want to see or do you want to yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, thank you. All right. So I am in the back room currently, just uh, looking for <laughs> looking for string so we can hang this disco ball. There we go, found some. All right, and um, yeah, cool. So we've got some string, and uh, for the folks at home, you know, I I really don't mind if there's a little bit of string in the photo because. Black one, but. We can always clone stamp it out. Mm. That is why having a good knowledge of Photoshop is so nice during a photo shoot because, you know, this sort of stuff you can be like, oh, well, it's not a big deal. We'll just Photoshop that out and actually know how to do it too. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people say things like, fix it in Photoshop, but they have. There's like harsh lines or soft lines with like, <laughs> like blurred edges. They have like no idea what goes in yeah. Photoshop. All right, would you mind holding that real quick? I'll just grab a pair of scissors. All right. Need one? No. I have a... 
Oh, yeah, okay. That works. Let's go. Perfect. Yep, and we can just kind of clamp that inside of the knuckle there. Dude, these shots are so cool. Cool. Yeah, we could probably just like wrap it in there and just clamp it down, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was it yeah, it was there. It's definitely I think what might be really cool is to have you like your hands around it, right? Like it's floating. Oh, it's yeah, right? I'll really look magician Yeah, you can. <laughs> like like Chris Blaine or what is yeah, it? David Blaine. Uh, David Blaine. Chris, Chris yeah, Chris Angel. <laughs> David Angel. Would you would you mind stepping yeah. in, in place so we can figure out where to hang this? So whoever had the idea of hanging the uh, disco ball, thank you for that idea. We are going to give it a shot. Uh, we just basically tied it up. We're going to have to make it taller. Well, it depends on how we want the pose, but... Why don't you get into the exact pose you want, and then we'll put the ball in to match it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we'll move it a little bit closer, maybe. Probably will have to go a teeny bit up. Yeah. Let's get like a tiny bit closer, I think. What do you think? Maybe just like a teeny bit up. Perfect. Do I want Ian mic? Yeah, let's mic Ian again. Uh, can we mute Ian's feed while we put... There you go. Cool. All right. Yeah, so you guys can see. I mean, for the folks at home, I mean, you guys are totally just, like, watching our entire production, which is super cool because you can see, like, yeah. this is not really that fancy. I mean, we've got, you know, like... <laughs> It's all rigged, you know, this is just on a piece of string and we've got gaffer tape on that thing and, you know, it's like very, this is totally something that you guys could do like at your house or in your garage, you know, there's nothing really that like magical going on here uh, and yet like the photos that we're getting out of it are, are absolutely beautiful and I, you it's know. It's not magical in the real sense, but, but the images are actually. Yeah, the images themselves really are kind of magical, so it's just cool to see what you can do with like, you know relatively like limited resources. Um, cool, I'm gonna turn the fog machine back on. And um, do, well, did we wanna turn it on and then for like a couple seconds not shoot and turn it back off again or we just wanna run it again? Yeah, I'm gonna turn it on you for like off, a right? minute and then yeah. turn it right back off, yeah. Okay. Cause it's like, it's a bit much. I think these even have like remotes that you can use mm. as well. Yeah, I mean, it seems like a serious fog machine, so I, I would, I would assume they probably have a little remote. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty serious deal. I'm gonna turn it on all the way up to see what that looks like. I'll probably disappear in here. I might actually be able to do a magician trick and just disappear. <laughs> What? Okay, you can, I'm back on, cool. All right, cool, we're back on. Thanks for, uh, thanks thanks for, for tuning me. in, guys. We're five more minutes on this, on this shot here. All right, cool. Resetting for the next shot, okay. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's nail it. We'll go over a little bit on this shot, I think. I feel like the other ones we could save time. This is more specific lighting angles fog yeah the other ones will be shorter timing for like time 
kind of was. Cool. Um, do we want to just maybe just push this out a little bit so I'm not leaning back? Yeah, for sure. So I'm like this more. Unless, I mean, unless it looks cool if I'm leaning, like, I don't know. I, did, I didn't mind it so much, okay. but um, good question. Do we want to have? Yeah, can you get your hands like closer to it? Like, yeah. yeah, like super close to it, like an inch. Yeah. Yeah, Do I think. Add it, saying it's more. I don't know. Let's, like, I'm gonna lower it just a little bit again. And then if you can kind of, there we go. Let's just pull the hair light. It was like a little bit strong there. All right, I think we, there's probably still some fog in the air. I think, I feel like the ball was here more. Oh, it? okay, yeah, let me move that. Because I think I was turned. I should have turned this way a little bit more. I didn't realize. This is no big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a little bit this way more. Good. Sure. Cool. All right. Yeah, that's better. So I think when it's this way more, that's when you were getting like a better lighting, so. Yeah, you're right. You're right for sure. Yeah, that's cool. Right hand up and like around a little more. Yeah. Yeah, I can't exactly. Tell where yeah. Is. Oh yeah, that's sick. Left hand down a little bit. Yeah. Actually, left hand up a little bit more. Perfect. Right hand in just a little, yeah, there we go. Back up there a little bit. Yeah, those are sick. And then, I don't know if you want them, try. Something. Yeah, let's try a few, yeah, let's try a few different <laughs> it's a workout. Uh, let me know where you want this hand. I don't want it too close to my face, but. Yeah, why don't you just try like moving around? I'll just take pictures right. as you move. Perfect. All right, a little closer to the ball with your hands. There we go. I think those are cool. I, I want to cut it off the string and I, I want to do a few more. I think that was, yeah, I think that was, it was definitely like a cool idea, but I, I want to go back to, um, that worked. There we go. <laughs> Get it done. We're on a time crunch. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to first pop a little more fog in here too. Yeah. A little bit. Oh, <laughs> string. Cool. All right. Yeah, we're good. So we'll just keep shooting until all the fog pretty much dissipates. a little bit more towards me so we can get yeah a little more perfect yeah that's sick oh that's cool can you like maybe look look up with it like put the ball like close to you and like yeah just kind of like look yeah 
Oh, what? Let's do a couple more like that. We're looking like straight up. Like you're praying almost, you know? Like, mm. this is your hour of desperation. <laughs> For the disco gods? <laughs> For the disco gods. <laughs> It almost looks like you're starting like bowling, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. Ross Kitchen. Cosmic bowling. That'd be fun as hell to bowl with a disco ball. Disco That'd bowling. Cool actually, make a bowling ball like this. Just you could probably just clear coat this. A thing. Clear coat like, that. Yeah. When you bowl it, it'd be like this on the ceiling. All right. Well, um, we when go. this all goes to shit, we'll, we'll start a flirt bowling team. Yeah, flirt bowling, bowling team. We're, we're good. <laughs> Don't we need to turn more? I feel like I'm. Yeah, let's actually bring the ball a little bit higher. Yeah, a little bit higher even. And then let's rotate your hands a little more. This like way. the, oh, the other way. Yeah, even more, even more, yeah. And then the ball like almost above you. I feel like I'm really bowling now. Yeah. <laughs> and then like look into the ball, like into the center of it. You can turn your chin around towards, yeah. Just like kind of, yeah, way. yep. Yeah, like that, perfect. Yeah, those are cool. Let's look through them real quick. I think we're losing a little bit of like the disco ball effect. They're mm -hmm. still really yeah. cool photos. That's the thing that having my hand on that side is exactly where. Oh, that's what does it. Yeah, it just flattens out. That looks cool on my neck though. Yeah, on the neck. The light beam yeah. really comes through. Oh, that's so cool. Oh yeah, they, they didn't trigger. That's kind of nice. <laughs> it's like so dark, but it's kind of cool. It'd be cool to have almost just like a like a really like a negative, right? Negative, but like a silhouette. Getting really good reflections on those though too. Yeah. A little bit too bright. Yeah, I didn't even realize they got a lot darker. One, oh, not like that. These are so cool. Yeah. The fog was working out great. Yeah, that's Those money. Ones. All right. Um, uh, would you mind opening a couple of the windows, Ted, like in the conference room and over here? Yeah, in the conference room back there. The windows open just to air it out a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> Defogger. Oh, yeah. Um, Cool. I feel like let's let's do let's do a few more and then then it'll be wrapped. We definitely got some cool yeah, shots already. So yeah, let's see what this light looks like here. Now, when you scroll through those, are they are they seeing as you scroll or no? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're seeing they're seeing everything we're doing. The all watching um, eye. Did we want. There's like seven thousand people in this did room we have with a us. Specific. Did we want my arms almost like like? Perpendicular to my body, kind of like upwards more. Or yeah, I think upwards more. Right. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I think so. I'm just gonna find this crack on the ball. That one, um, Ted, over here. These these windows all by the plants. Those all three will open pretty <laughs> easily. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Let's get the ball a little bit closer to you. There we go. And your right hand down a little bit more, like on the, yeah. Like out this way more though, or this way? Like down, it's just because your elbows are like the same. I'd, oh, okay. okay. I'd love it if one of your elbows bit, was higher okay. than the other, you know? So just like. Maybe this way more. Yeah, oh, yeah. because no, then my hand's gonna block it, so we'll do this way. All right. Oh yeah, that's better. And bring the ball, oh. Sorry, go back to how you were. Just bring the ball, like, angle it, like, pff, like closer to your head. Just go do oh, like this. Just move it all the way. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, that right there is beautiful. Rotate the ball just a little bit around. 
so we get different light patterns on your face. Yeah. Those are sick. That's beautiful. Stay right there if you don't mind. I'm going to pop this fog machine in one more time. If you can just freeze it. <laughs> Do you want the windows closed again? Or do you no, want we can leave them open. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, and let's get it right as the fog is hitting you there. All right. So I just changed my aperture here. Uh, I'm at f10 right now just so I can get like a more like silhouette type shots cool and then I'll change my aperture back to 3.5 which we were at before I'll turn the fogger off and then oh. <laughs> of course. cool turning the fog machine back off and then we'll shoot through it. All right, let's do it. This is our last right. run. Nice. Those are so, so nice. Rotate your chest towards me a little bit more. There we go. Let's drop the ball a little bit. There we go, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh man, those are so sick. Let's take a look at them. Cool. I think that's a wrap for this shot. What? Yeah, these are so, so cool. And we got some without the fog too, right? In the beginning? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I didn't think about the fog for a while. Cool. So what I did is. Uh, yeah, we'll let them load through. But um, what I did when the fog was like really turned up. Oh man, those are so cool. When the fog was like really turned up, we did. Um, okay, I'll get you scrolling through. Yeah. I did a few like silhouette type. Oh, that's cool with the fog coming out through your arms. Oh, yeah. few of these like silhouette type shots the just flying guys and YouTube <laughs> yeah didn't come out exactly like I wanted it to but still pretty cool yeah and these shots just being a little bit more subtle I think totally works which shot is uh, next I forget what you're saying it's um Good right. question. We just, there we go. Yeah, we nailed it, man. Ian, yeah. good job, man. I'm assuming uh, yeah. I have to change my hair because nobody has a polished look back hair while they're at war. <laughs> In the war? Yeah, so, what are, uh, Aaron, what yeah. shot are we doing next? Are we doing the. Yeah, well, Brad's not, really Brad's not here yet. Yeah, so basically. Okay. Um, cool. Set up. Set up for the shot. Yeah. Let's do our next shot in here, and then do the army one after that. Okay, yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I'll just talk to a, a talking camera. Okay. Cool. All right, guys. So we just finished up our second look. Uh, the shots just turned out absolutely awesome. Ian killed it. Job, bud. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to set up for our third shot now. Uh, and we're basically, we have a, one of the rooms in our studio has like a, a window uh, in it. And we're going to be putting Ian behind the window and spraying water on the glass. And then in the room, 
we're going to turn the fog machine on and turn some colored lights on in there as well. So I'm going to do some like red gels and some yellow gels. Uh, and then he's basically going to be like pressed up against the glass. So I'm going to be shooting through glass. He's going to be on the other side and it's just kind of look like a, a foggy orange room <laughs> that he's in, uh, which obviously sounds weird, but we're going for like a really cool like visual here. There's going to be a lot of like water on the glass and he's just going to kind of like be resting against the glass. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to set up this shot. Uh, it should take 15 minutes or so to actually get everything set up and then we're going to take a quick break for lunch and then we'll come back from lunch. Is that, that's like going to be at 12.30 we're coming back from lunch? Yes. Okay, cool. When we come back for lunch at 12.30 then we're going to resume shooting. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start getting everything set up. Thanks for watching guys. All right. We good to go? Um, so we're going to be in this room uh, for this shot. So probably some cameras outside of the room. Uh, sorry, the only person who's going to be in the room is Ian. Everyone else is going to be outside. So, uh, but you can definitely take the steady cam and you know yeah. go in and out, yeah. go in and out with that. Yeah, yeah. Yep. We'll go ahead and move these, and then um, perfect. All right. Cool. Could we get the fog machine in in that room? Perfect. Yeah, and then I think we might want to clean the glass too. <laughs> Try to find some glass cleaner. Yeah, you can cut me for now if you want.
we'll get a wide angle shot of this room because we're just going to start setting this up and probably get like a steady cam going in there too. You would want to see this. It's so epic. Oh, I can't contain myself. All right, cool. Which camera's live? I have a live right here. Okay, cool. It's just through the window. Yeah, it's perfect. No, it's perfect. Um, yeah, so what we're doing, guys, we're basically getting this room uh, set up here. We're good? Uh, we're getting a room set up here. Basically, the idea, uh, we're just going to be using like a spray bottle to get like water drops here uh, on on the glass. And uh, we, I just want to put like a couple colored lights in the room itself because it just seems like it will create like a really cool effect. So uh, we're just bringing, you know, some lights in here and pop some gels on them. We brought the, uh, the fog machine in the room as well. Um, and then I may be using a light outside of the room uh, to shine on Ian. I'm, I'm not sure what we're going to do there, but um, basically at this point it's just kind of like testing it out. So uh, I'm going to keep getting stuff in the room and you guys can kind of watch our progress. Alrighty. Cool. Alright. All right. Cool. And I'm thinking, um, I'm going to grab that box of gels. Yo. <laughs> it's just 100% conceptual. Okay. There's, there's no context really okay. to this shot. It's just like, Vi I want to create a visual, a something that's like visually interesting and yeah. what the room may be. Uh, it will be the spare office at the Flern studio. <laughs> that is, yeah, yeah, you're locked in to this hot, sweaty, foggy, <laughs> multicolored light room <laughs> and you're trying I'll to get out. Windows. Just sweat on the windows. Yeah, that's what the concept is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, would you mind grabbing the box of gels, please? Yeah, for sure. I think for this one, it'll yeah, it'll be a little bit messy. So um, I don't know if you remember, we did have like a, a like a reference uh, photo mm -hmm. for this. So um, yeah, we'll see. I, I think in this case, the light is coming from the front. So. Uh, yeah, you can mess yeah. your hair up or... No, I'll just mess it up and put it on the side. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Um, All right, so just so we know which side my hair is on, we'll on the left side, so right. I guess the same will right again. Maybe that right. Yeah, yeah, probably. And you'll, your hands will be like up against the glass there. Cool, would you mind, uh, let's put it in that room there and then maybe grab one of the red gels and, and tape it to one of these lights. Uh, there's tape for you coming right now. All right. Cool. So I'm going to be shooting this with a uh, 24 to 70 as well. Um, and the goal here, if we do place any of our lights outside of the room, which I, I think we're going to wind up doing, um, one of my goals is going to be uh, making sure we don't have any glare from the light. So um, basically my, my strategy for that is to use a, a light at like a pretty uh, strong angle. So not at the same angle as the camera direction basically. It's black? Yeah, it's just black. Uh, we could try unplugging it and plugging it back in. Yeah, sure. I'm going to go grab lunch. Oh, 
Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Uh, yeah, help her out if you wouldn't mind. Yeah. Ah, there we go. I did it. Cool. That did it. All right. Cool. Thank you. All right. Um, cool. Yeah, we can just use this. This will be our uh, front light. Boom it into position. <laughs> All right. So I put the link in the bio. Oh, nice. Stories, Thank you. Yeah, and the caption. I just posted on the photo of this that I posted. So. Perfect. Perfect. All right. And then. Yeah, would you mind uh, keeping track of the cord? I'll I'll take care of the I'll take care of this. Um, if you want to keep track of the cord, that'll be super helpful. And I'm actually gonna like lift it up here. <laughs> okay, cool. Should be okay here. Cool. So we're just setting this up. I, the reason I'm using the one that's on a boom is uh, we can just really move this easily, you know, from low or high, in and out, things like that. So and it'll kind of keep the light stand out of our shot. So um, I'm not sure whether we're going to use a front light uh, with this shot. Uh, I'm going to see what it looks like with just the back lights. But if we do wind up bringing in a front light, this is going to be just kind of like waiting for us here. Um, so sometimes it's nice to set up a couple lights just as like backups. Um, cool. So going into the room here, um, we've got our box of gels. And basically, you're just going to set this up, um, taping these gels on bare bulb. Um, there was some tape. Is the tape still in here? <laughs> yeah, this is the international <laughs> sign for tape. You, you don't know that sign? Um, yeah, so I was thinking like, awesome, thank you. I was thinking like, you know, kind of like red and orange um, lights in this like foggy room might be cool. But again, this is one of those things, especially working with gels is you really don't like, you don't really know what you're going to get until you start like actually shooting a lot of the time. So sometimes I'll, you know, plan on using like a orange or a red gel and then uh, take a couple pictures and be like, oh, we need to go like blue green with this or whatever it is. So it's uh, just one of those things. And there are all kinds of like gel holders and things like that that you can buy. But really, I just like to just tape them right onto the lights because it takes like two seconds to do. And you can, you know, you can do this on any type of light and, you know, softbox and things like that as well, so. There's no heat issue with the bare bulb? Uh, definitely, so the question was if there's a heat issue with bare, bare bulb, and the answer is as long as you don't have the modeling light on, then you're totally fine. If you have your modeling light on, it's totally going to melt your gel, but because, you know, these are flashes, the, the light only exists for a fraction of a second, and so the heat only exists for a fraction of the second. So you're really, you're really totally fine to use them just like right here. Um, I again, if if you're using continuous light or if your uh, if your modeling light is on, then you got to separate that from from the lighter. It's definitely gonna melt. Yeah, <laughs> I've experienced that firsthand. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I am not the only one. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like, what's that smell? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or if you set a, a flag on fire. Oh, man. Set a what on fire? Set a flag on fire. 
Really? You have set up? No, not really. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. Well, we had like 18 Ks up in the street one day, and, and they had like these big four by four flags next to them. Holy and crap! It, just, like, it wasn't even touching it. It was just so hot because it's 18,000 watts. So, like, <laughs> it just started to. Yeah, I've heard of uh, a big lights breaking windows too. The oh, heat? Yeah, well, yeah just the heat differential. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. But yeah, that's, that's movie lights for you. Yeah, right? I've never worked on like a big movie set. I would I would kill it's, the it's excessive electricity wise. Oh I can yeah, I can imagine. So I'm gonna let this kinda like build up in this room for hotbox. Yeah, just <laughs> hotbox the studio for a second. Um, just kinda like let the um, yeah. And yeah, I really, you know, I'm really not sure what this is gonna, what this is gonna look like at this point. But basically, just creating like a room of fog uh, with a couple lights in it. So, um, you know, at this point, it's just gonna be like take a couple pictures, see what they look like, and uh, make adjustments from there. All right. So as you guys can see, the the room is pretty much filling with fog. So I flash my lights here, and I I really want to fill it. I mean, it's if you can see from the pictures. Let me make sure to resume the tethered capture here. make sure that our tether is still coming on through. Oh. Looks like the tether has stopped, so I'm just going to restart the tether real quick. <coughs> All right. That happens sometimes with Lightroom. It's not a big deal. All right, there we go. All right, cool. And let's see, I think that'll come in here. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we're basically just filling this room with fog, and we've got our colored lights in here, and then you can kind of stop down, shoot like F11, so I, I really don't want the lights to be too big. And I was kind of hoping that these lights would be, uh, um, that the light sources won't be visible, so it looks like looks like I might want to like light it from below, because yeah, based on what we've got, uh, looks like our light sources are still going to wind up being visible in the actual in the room there, even though as you can see, it's like pretty dang foggy in there. All right, I'm going in. <laughs> are we on the study cam? Yep. All right. What? <laughs> All right. This is. This is getting real, guys. I know, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to take these down. You know what? I'm actually I'm going to take them off the light stands and put them on the floor. I'm really hoping like no fire alarms or whatever are going to go off here. But who knows? Yeah, right? It's like, yeah, it, it may happen. It may not. Um, yeah, I, I haven't set off any fire alarms yet, but you never know. I mean, it certainly like looks like it would. All right. Cool. So let's just close this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we've got in there. I guess why people don't like the residue. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that that's cool. So as these are coming in, you can just kind of see like a like a nice 
A's here. Um, I'm just going to take all these crates out of this room. We just kind of use this as like a storage room. Jeez. <laughs> I just thought Ian's going to actually be in this room for like <laughs> minutes at a time, so I got to... Do you want that low stand for one of these I, No, I think they're good just like on the floor. I mean, as long as... Yeah, I think we're good just on the floor here. I cannot see anything in this room. <laughs> All right. Cool. So let's just do another test shot in there. Yeah, so that's kind of what we're working with right now. Just like a nice light in that room. And uh, yeah, you know, honestly, I was kind of hoping to not, th you can still see some of the detail um, in, in the room. Like there's a trash can in there, <laughs> stuff like that, that you can totally see. So I, I think we're going to have to really, really fog this room up a lot in order to not see any of that detail. If there's still some detail like in the actual shot, I'm sure it's fine. We can always Photoshop out like little shelves or stuff like that, like a, a healing brush tool or a clone stamp tool. We'll definitely take care of that stuff, but I'm just gonna remove a couple of things like, thank you. Um, yeah, and it's already dissipated a lot. I think once we actually start start the shoot, um, then we'll probably do, uh, here we go. We'll probably just crank the fog machine all the way up. No, I was just looking at the oh, okay. <laughs> you haven't been in my fog room yet? <laughs> it's the newest thing, man. Yeah. All right. Is it my birthday? Yeah. Oh, it is in like uh, three days. <laughs> Someone's saying pretty close. People are like, birthday. Happy birthday, Aaron. Thanks, guys, for the happy birthday. Yeah. Uh, in a couple of days, it will be my birthday. I'm having a huge party at my house. Everyone on the internet's invited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I actually am having a big party at my house, but <laughs> I'm not disclosing the address yeah. to the entire internet. Yeah. All right. So this looks this looks cool. Um, is Ian in here? Oh, cool. Can we do a test shot with you? We we just got like a few minutes before. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna turn this fogger back on. Um, so we're gonna turn it back on and turn it on high. Um, so here's the deal. <laughs> in order for me to not see any detail in this room, yeah. it's got to be like really foggy in yeah, here. Exactly. So I'm going to lock in here, but it's water based. That's fine. I'll just, just hop in here. Yeah, okay. It's just like heavy vaping. Yeah, it's like heavy. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> it's cool. It's just like 10. Hot box, yeah. It's like 10 years of cigarette smoke in a day, you know? <laughs> no, it's just glycerin. No, it's not toxic. You're good. It's just glycerin and water. And yeah, and cocaine. But he's got the battery died. Yeah, um, and the chargers are on the floor over there by that pillar. Uh, they're really cool. So it looks cool as shit. Oh my God, what? Are you kidding me? I had no idea it was my birthday. Oh my God, thanks guys. <laughs> Come on out, Ian. Let's turn that fog machine off. Those, 
Yeah, they look they look sick already. Oh my god, it's so foggy in here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys. Yeah. All right. One, two. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much. I had no idea. Whoa. It's really great. <laughs> Let's eat cake. Let them eat cake. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, I think we're actually ready for, ready for our break right now. Um, so the folks who are at home watching, thank you so much. I hope you're enjoying today. We've done two awesome concepts already. We're loading up for our third. Um, can we do a picture in picture with the computer screen and the steady camera? Yeah. Um, so we're loading up for our third. We just did a couple shots of Ian in the room where we've completely filled it with fog. Now we're still gonna add water droplets to the room and he's gonna be pressed against it, but already these photos, I mean that, you know, just already that looks so, so cool. Your ear? Yeah, no, my earring, I guess it almost fell out and I'm sticking straight oh, out. Oh, sticking straight out. Um, so yeah, when, when we get back from lunch, which will be in about 30 minutes, um, we're gonna resume the shot. We'll probably set up one more light uh, in the front. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try some just with only lights in the room because I think it'll look cool. Uh, we'll spray some water on the, uh, water on the glass and uh, yeah, and resume the shoot after lunch, so. Lit more frontal or from the front, <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we're gonna do, I've got a light here in the front. I think we're gonna do one light in from the front, but, um, because it's glass. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't, I don't know it about reflections. Kind of dark, though, it, I mean, it, it looks cool. I, I think we can save a little detail, probably too close. Yeah, yeah. I want to see how good we can get it looking just backlit. Yeah. Um, and you know, if it, if it's, if it's money, then we'll just go with it. You know. Um, so, yeah, uh, we're gonna take a little lunch break, guys. You can uh, watch us eat lunch from the webcam if you want. Uh, <laughs> yay. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in about 30 minutes to resume our shot uh, with Ian. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, we, we've been recording this too, some of these shots, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we've cool. been recording okay. like segments. And cool. Between setups. Yeah, let's. Uh,
Yeah, we're back on. All right, I'll get in front of one of these cameras here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready to jump right in for sure. All right, you guys ready to start uh, start yes, shooting sir. again? Cool. I'll jump in front of one of these cameras and okay. intro people uh, again. Oh, we got the water bottle. Yeah. I need the water bottle for my hair. But that water bottle will be inside the this, entire time, right? Uh, yeah, we're gonna spend yeah do we put the glass? Right? Yeah, the, yeah, it should be, right? Yeah, I mean, it's steamy and wet inside. We do have a it's reference intense. photo. Could be both. Yeah, water on the inside, at least to start. Um, cool. Where's my talking camera? This, this one. one. I can just grab that on the floor and spritz my hair if I need it. Yeah. Do we want my face, like, on my body, too? A little wet? Wet? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All the wetness. Yeah, let's fill it up. Fill it up. All right, we good to go? Yep. All right, guys. Welcome back from our lunch break. It was a delicious mix of Panera bread and salad, LaCroix, <laughs> Chicago favorites. So we're jumping into our third concept now. So before the lunch break, we uh, basically like experimented filling this room. We have a room over here. We experimented filling it with fog, and then we've got a couple of lights in the room, and we went ahead and did a couple test shots. So um, basically now we're just gonna like take that a step further. So uh, Ian's gonna be like wetting his hair, you know, getting his body wet as well. And then we're gonna spray uh, liquid, just like spray with a, like a water bottle inside of the, of the glass as well. And then he's gonna be pressed up against that. So the idea is like, should look like it's like a hot, steamy, sauna-y type of thing. Um, and he's just kind of like gonna be peering through the glass uh, into, into the lens. So um, the room is pretty much dissipated. Luckily we have a giant fog machine. Uh, so <laughs> we should totally be fine there, uh, filling it back up again. And uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna jump right back into shooting. So we've got a little bit more set up here, but uh, we should, we're gonna start taking pictures within the next couple minutes. All right, cool, let's do it. Turn my camera back on, make sure. Sometimes the tethering software gets a little bit like uh, confused or whatever. So I'm not gonna probably use the mic, right? Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. Can we cut audio for? I think I've been cut. Oh, has Ian been cut, his audio? Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, cool. And then I guess that way I I'm gonna do a quick card swap. Yeah, for sure. Um, and let me know if you guys need to uh, dump your cards as well. We've got some card readers. 40 minutes left, okay, cool. Maybe we'll finish this shot and then dump uh, cards after. Cool. And then, uh, yeah, is this for the steady cam here? Yeah. Cool. Yep, you got it. All right. Looking good. So I'm going to start fogging up the room. We good to go on the broadcast? Yeah, there's a little bit of a sound delay we're working on. Yeah. There's a sound delay. Yeah. Yeah. Good to go. Good to go. All right. So we had a little issue with the um, with the audio, but hopefully it's fixed now. So we're going into our fog room. <laughs> um, so just to kind of like recap for you guys, uh, we do have a couple of these. Uh, uh, there's an alien bee and an Einstein here. We've just taped gels to these. So this is a like a red gel taped to this one and an orange gel taped to this it's like a, it's a closet. I mean, it could be an office if we cleaned it up a little bit. Oh, 
on and uh, it's going to start pushing out fog and this is going to be the start of the setup so Ian if you want to come and start spraying the glass and maybe do it from like far away at first yeah, yeah. Um, but we're going to kind of like cool that's perfect all right I'm going to shut the door It, we're all good now? Said it stopped in and out and now it's back in. Cool. <coughs> all right. Looking good. So we've got Ian kind of spraying the inside of the room there. I'm going to start, you know, taking pictures here just to see yeah, yeah. Just to kind of see what we're looking like. Cool, and make sure we're still good for our tether. Yep. Our tether looks good. All right. Cool. Yeah, that that's good on the glass, yeah. That's good on the glass. You can get yourself a little bit. Yeah, cool. So the idea here is basically just like fill this room with fog, put a couple like lights on it, uh, you know, in the background and and heavy and kind of pressed against the glass. Um, so we're going to start off after uh, he's done like rinsing himself off with water. Uh, we're going to start off with just the lights in the room and see what we can get like that. Uh, and once we get that to the place where we're like feel pretty good about it, then uh, then we can go ahead and move on and start adding lights in front. Um, generally with this sort of thing, if you get something that looks cool, yeah, I think we're good. If you get something that looks cool, um, I'll generally just like shoot as is. Uh, oftentimes in the past I've been like kind of anxious to like put a bunch of lights up. Yeah, yeah, get on there. But these days, I'm like, you know what? If we can avoid putting a bunch of lights in a setup, I'm okay with that. If we can get a great shot with as few lights as possible. Beautiful. Yeah, cool. All right, I'm just going to lower my tripod here a little bit. It looked fucking sick. Um, Can you, I'm trying to make sure Ian can actually see what's going on. Ian, can you see this at all? Can you see what's happening on the left side of the screen there? I'm just going to, yeah. I'm going to leave this on for you so you can try to see what's actually happening. Yeah, we can't see the water drops yet, so I might need to add a front light, but I'm going to try shooting it a little bit like this.
Hey guys, welcome back. We had some like audio sync issues, things like that that we were working through. So uh, we cut our broadcast for a second, but we're working through those things and hopefully we're all good to go. So our room is back uh, filled with fog. Ian is in there uh, spraying like a maniac and uh, we're ready to start shooting again. So we're gonna jump back into it. It's like, it's in ridiculous mode right now. I, I'm gonna turn the fog off. Are you gonna try to front light it yet or not yet? Yeah, well, not yet. Um, do you wanna come closer to the glass? Yeah. We'll photograph you a few times. All right. <laughs> it is insane in there. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod here for a minute. Yeah. That's cool. And just move all around, like all kinds of, yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, let's look like you're in like distress. Like, like you're distressed, like you're like, you know, like trying to get out almost, yeah. Nice. Nice. Maybe have your feet back a little more. Yeah, like that, yeah. Nice. 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 Oh yeah, those are sick. Let's put your feet back a little bit more even. Possibly. Yeah, I've got batteries. Uh, some double A's that are plugged in on the wall over there. Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. These look unreal. They look like pre-photoshopped. <laughs> Dope. That's better, yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, uh, can you mute, mute my audio real quick? Yeah, 
cool. Alright. Cool. These are looking unreal. Let me just full screen Lightroom real quick, so. Oh, yeah. Can we put your hands closer to your body a little bit? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. Dope, right? Yeah. They're asking how is the camera avoiding having a reflection? Oh, okay. That's a good question. So someone asked, uh, how is the camera avoiding a reflection? Well, as of right now, there's no light coming in from my side of the window. All the light is currently on the other side of the window. So it's like he's being backlit. Um, if we were to have a softbox or whatever on my side of the window, then that's when we would be really like worried about some kind of reflection coming through. Um, as you can, as you guys can see, this is like it's totally backlit at this point. So like, you know, we don't have a ton of detail on our subject. Uh, the next thing I'd like to do is add a light in the front so we can see a little bit more detail on our subject. I don't know how that's going to look. It might be like really cool. It might totally ruin the mood. Um, but once we do have a light on the front, then we're going to be introducing the problem of glare. So what we're going to be doing is shooting that from the side. And we've got a, yeah, we've got a light right here, just a regular reflector that's boomed up. And this is going to be coming in from the side. So as long as we don't match our angle, like for instance, if I'm, if I'm here shooting, maybe you can get behind me so I can kind of explain this a little bit yeah. easier here. Check. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Did that thing cut out? Yeah, All right. we have a wide shot that can help you with explain. I'll get this thing. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Okay, we're back on. Cool. Mike, can we switch back to the steady? Okay, we're, we're good to go? Okay, cool. Sorry about that. So uh, just kind of explaining how like light and reflection and angles work. So if I'm here photographing in this direction, if I've got a light that's kind of coming in the same direction, the light is going to hit my subject and the reflection is going to bounce back this way. But if we have a light coming in from another angle, then basically the reflection is going to reflect out that way. So really the key here is making sure that whatever light you're using to light your subject is at a far enough angle away from the camera. So the reflection bounces off in that direction, but the light of, you know, the light from the light itself will still hit your subject. So uh, that's what we're going to try right now. And I have really no idea what it's going to look like, but uh, that's kind of the whole part of photography is <laughs> try something out and see how it looks. All right. Cool. Uh, and the idea is hopefully this will light up the um, what's here on because he's spraying the inside of this glass with water right now. And right now we can't even see that at all in these photos. So hopefully this is going to light that up and we'll be able to actually see it. So let's see. No worries. Cool. All right, Ian, you ready? Cool. All right, come on forward to the glass whenever you're ready. Cool. We're going to use the front light now. We'll see how it looks. Yeah. So you guys can see it's totally like introduces another 
another feel to the image, which is really, it, it actually is nice. Um, would you mind grabbing an orange gel for us? Uh, and we'll tape it to this light up here. So on the light that's uh, right here, yeah. Yeah, on, on that one, yeah. Oh, and the gels are in there, yeah. <laughs> um, so as you guys can see, this, this is, it actually is really nice. I mean, we're getting a little bit more detail on our subject, a little bit of a different feel and the light itself is a little bit colder. Uh, it's a daylight balanced light. So what we're doing is we're gonna put an orange gel on that and that's gonna warm it up a little bit. So we should still have plenty of detail in the photos, but also the, the color should match a little bit better. Right now, the, the, his hands and everything like that, are, they're just too blue, uh, you know, to the point where it just kind of looks, uh, it looks weird, doesn't look very good. So I'm also gonna move this just a little bit closer to Ian. There we go. And as you can see, we're staying off to the side here, so that's uh, that's our plan for avoiding reflection. Yeah, much better for sure. And once we get a little bit more reflection, oh, uh, is it what the tape? Yes, yeah, so I put my hands on it. It like doesn't want to accumulate in those spots. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'll help you out. Let's go ahead and double it up. All right. Perfect. I'll grab that from you. Thank you. Now we're. This should be good. All right. Cool. Uh, so just adding a couple of gels. To that light, you good? Uh, we just did an orange light here on, or an orange gel on the light, and that should help us with our color balance a little bit because, as you guys can see from the photo, uh, there's like too much like blue in his in his hands, things like that. It doesn't kind of match. So, all right, let's shoot. Let's do it. So hopefully this uh, fixes that. Yeah, it definitely does. So we can see his hands now have a little bit more like of an orange color to them. So we, you know, just color balancing that a little bit more has definitely helped out. Um, I'd love to see a little bit more of a reflection. I'm gonna try bringing this uh, boom more in front a little bit and shoot from like the top down. All right. Because I, I would like the, um, the water droplets to show up a little bit more. So we'll see, uh, we'll see if that does it. Oh, and I turned off that uh, fog machine. Uh, uh, I turned the fog machine off. Yeah, I turned it back off. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because we, the foggier it is, it looks cooler. You know? Yeah, with the light now, it should be better with the fog. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Cool. <laughs> I feel like I'm torturing. <laughs> In that room. <laughs> strength of our front light there. Yeah. Let's go both hands a little lower. Yeah. I'm gonna get in I'm gonna get in close here. Yeah, you can, uh, you, yeah, okay, um, it, it 
it does look, it looks cool because you're, yeah. But I'll tell you, this, that doesn't really look cool. Yeah, softer, I think, would be cooler. All right, it's a little bright, so I'm just gonna stop down a little bit to F9. Cool. And let's do some like uh Yeah, let's do some shots where it's not just like this, like uh Yeah, you like you can do something like you know, against I think face off a little bit, but like you know, maybe your arms on it and Yeah, yeah. This is just it looks a little bit like Yeah, it looks like a frog a little bit, yeah. Um, cool. Yep, and grab the tape. So the light source in the front was just a little bit like it was a little bit too harsh. Um, all right. Would you mind helping me uh, tape this on? The light source in the front was just a little bit too harsh. Just like a uh, cool. Yeah, we'll tape this guy on and then. We'll get one more orange gel. Is a box of gel still in that room? Okay, cool. <laughs> you smoking in there? <laughs> what Yeti? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty amazing. All right. Cool. All right. Yeah. <laughs> can't see anything. All right, so the light from the front looked good, but it was just a little bit harsh. Yeah, looking down looks good. I agree. I agree. Cool. All right, that should be good. Um, 
and get this hooked up again. And then, you know, anytime you add like a big light source like this, it's going to diffuse your light. Um, make sure to increase the power of your light just a little bit because, you know, right now it's so direct, it's really shining, but this is going to add a lot of diffusion. Yeah. Is it okay now? I just pushed it in a little bit. But. Oh, okay. Well, that's really great. All right. Cool. So I'm just putting the soft back or the uh, sandbag back on the back on here. You can let go for a second. And then we'll just want to adjust it. So basically rebalance. Just have that right up there. All right, Ian. You back ready? Get back in your cage. Cool. All right, let's see how this looks. If it doesn't look exactly how we want it, we're just going to go back to backlighting because that was cool. All right. So, let you guys see our. Camera settings, so I'm shooting at one over two hundredth of a second right now um, at f9.0 at ISO 100, and we're just allowing the strobes to actually light our shot. So if I was shooting in just straight ambient, um, nothing would happen. Oh, you're you're disconnected here. Seth, can you take the red tape there and just tape that connection up? All right, ready, Ian? Cool. All right, so now we are starting to see some of the reflection from our softbox. So for those of you guys who were asking earlier, how do you avoid the reflection? Now that's a problem we actually have to tackle. So. Let's go about doing that. Basically, you just want to make sure you're uh, coming in at a pretty strong angle there. So I'm going to angle our softbox down and increase the power quite a bit. And there we go. And the idea is that if we go high enough with this, Hopefully, we won't see a reflection in the light. All right. Cool. Yeah, yeah that looks, looks good. good. It's just a little bit too close to our subject now. So we're just going to pull it away. All right. Cool. I'm 
to stop down a little bit? Is it a little bit bright? Maybe F10 now? Cool. Is that fog machine still on? No? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, more fog. More fog. Yeah. Cool. All right, hands a little bit lower for me. Hands a little bit lower. Cool, that looks good. I'm gonna raise this light just a little bit higher, even, just the reflection. Yeah, come on over here. When I say so, you crank this like crazy, okay? To the right, okay? Nice, very cool. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah we're, we're back. back. We're back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah we're, we're good. good. Let's let's let's, let's do, do it. it. Yeah. All kinds of different stuff. Feel free to like move around. Job again. Nice, good job. Nice. More fog. Maybe stand a little bit farther back from the window. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, hands on it, or you just, yeah. Let's do some stuff with hands off the window, too. We can try some stuff with the hands off the window. Yeah. I think it was better with the hands on. Here, I'll, I'll come inside. <laughs> Let me come into your fog room. Yo, I, I think it was better with the hands Oh, it's way more foggy. <laughs> I think it's better with the hands on. But definitely, like, yeah, having your feet, like, away from the glass a little bit okay. is nice. So, yeah, hands on the window. And you can try, like, you know, one hand or, you okay, know, right. whatever, stuff like that. All right, so no more escape type feel. Just soft. Yeah, soft, I think, soft. Um, Did you like any other books the up? The up, looking up was cool, too. Would you mind grabbing a towel? There should be one in that, uh, uh, in that room right there. Yeah, in the storage room back here. Yeah. Cool, and then we can spray a little bit more on the glass. And I wonder, let's try, would you mind grabbing, uh, I'm going to see the spray bottle for a second. I want to see what it looks like spraying the outside of the glass. Yeah. Maybe if I get that yeah. Cool. Let's try that. All right. Good deal. 
Good deal. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that's so nice. Nice, Ian. Can you get your body like farther? Yeah, if you can. Do you want to? Let's get you uh, an apple box. Would you mind grabbing an apple box, or should be one? Uh, the big one, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. These are cool. I'm gonna lower the power off of this guy. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I think, yeah, I think we're good. Um, Oh, yeah, I guess this did run out, but only recently. Yeah, the card came. Okay, cool, not a problem. I'm going to try to Wide still going? Uh, no, that, that's the one that ran out of card. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, much better. <laughs> Are we still broadcasting? Yeah. From the wider? Okay, cool. All right, guys. So we're resetting our video cameras for the feed, but we're still shooting for the stills. Yeah, these look sick, man. Yeah, they look really cool. Let's maybe do less, less hand press against the glass. Maybe just like, maybe off a little bit, but if we can get like, yeah, yeah. If we can maybe get like less skin actually against I know it's hard because you're like leaning against there <laughs> yeah it definitely like yeah 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 maybe a little tighter yeah yeah Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm gonna turn the overhead light off real quick.
Still disconnected. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. It still didn't work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It looks like it's connected. How much longer do we have on this shoot? On on this exact shoot. Well, we're we're not done, but are are we crippled with that camera not working, or are we still? It's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's let's keep shooting with this. Uh, we'll get our study cam back up and running, uh, and and we'll finish the shoot up. Then we'll figure out our technical. Okay, great. All right, guys. So we're back to shooting again. We just had some live uh, live feed issues, but yeah, we're good to go. Yeah, that looks cool, just do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. I turned this light off. I just think it kind of gives us a little bit more of an interesting mood. Cool. Let's keep shooting like this. Yeah. Nice, let's do some like <laughs> it's like an ab workout. Yo. I think it's actually physically impossible to have my feet out that far and not have an imprint. The imprint is totally fine when we're not lighting it from the front. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're good now. <laughs> I'm asking the impossible. Just do it. Yeah, a little bit wider, a little bit like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. Tap. Yeah. nice when your hands were like this, like, yeah, softer, yeah, like, it's nice, nice soft hands, yeah, yeah. All right, so I just opened up my aperture a little bit. I'm going to shoot at like 6.3, see how that looks. Cool. Gives us a little bit of a different look, but it's nice because we can see more. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, just keep keep moving around. Yeah. It's hard because there's so much pressure on my arms. Oh, okay. Should we bring the uh, uh, Apple box a little bit? <laughs> okay. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Let's uh, yeah, let's just bring the apple box in like another foot or so. Yeah, that that should make it a little bit easier. Cool. So what Ian is saying is, 
that he's like leaning so far into the glass that like he's having trouble like actually positioning himself and like posing. Um, so I'm out here asking him to pose and he's like, I can't do it. Um, so we're just gonna move the apple box a little bit further in. The, the big reason we were, you know, having him stand so far away from the glass was because in the photos, as you can see, the farther he stands away from the glass, the more fog gets between him and the window and that's what's creating this like light effect there. So it, it just gives the photos a little more depth. Okay, cool. Nice. Nice. Cool. So right now he's basically just posing and each time he moves I'll take a picture and he'll repose a little bit. It's a pretty common strategy between, you know, uh, models and photographers. Just take a picture, move a little bit, and if it's like really, really cool, then, you know, usually I'll say something like, freeze! And, you know, just have him kind of go. <laughs> Come on out for a minute. Yeah. Oh, these are super cool. Um, so I'm going to take a second and just kind of like look through the photos. Do you want to look through the photos? <laughs> take a little like break. <laughs> like, oh, did you want to breathe today? Oh, yeah, dude. Those are so cool. I think so too. Yeah. The light. From the front was nice because we could see. Yeah, yeah. especially the f just the fact of the imprint, dude, like the, the pressure. On yeah, it. yeah, it did. You're right. I thought like probably could have composited like just like my arm off of it if I wanted. That's pain in the ass though. Yeah, no, these are these are so cool. I think I mean some of these were like especially both arms are up like that. Yeah. Yeah, those are really nice. I mean they, oh yeah. Yeah. It's really nice. It's like it's really uh, sensual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what sensual photos yeah, you like take? The dark, yeah, the dark. And then even you can obviously make my body lighter on the bottom too, even so it's Yeah, for sure. Yeah, these are these are definitely really, really cool. Yeah, I I think I like the the arms up. Yeah, the arms up for sure. Um Yeah, both up because now you can't see mm -hmm, the imprint, so mm -hmm. you can't really see. Are you, are you gonna yeah, I mean you can always Photoshop water droplets on it. Right, yeah, I suppose I could do that. Yeah. Just, there's plenty of stock in the shore. There's glass. Yeah, or we could try to photograph them here, actually. You have your own ideas about it in some way. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, way better. Way right. better, yeah. Just so much more mood and mm -hmm. mystery. Yeah. Yeah, these are cool, too. Like, the close-up ones are cool, but I, I think we should go with the darker ones. Yeah, I think we're on a pretty good roll there for a minute mm -hmm. um, with those latest shots. So let's do a few more, like with your arms. I mean, like, like that shot right there. I mean, it's just so nice. Um, so let's see about doing just a few more of these, like with your arms up like that. Okay. So uh, both hands above the head. Yeah, yeah, both hands above the head there, and um, yeah, I think that's gonna that's gonna totally do it. And then. Yeah. After this is the army. Yeah, after this is going to be uh, army. So, and that'll be a composite photo. So, all right. Is that fog machine still on? Yeah, it's still on. Let's leave it on. More fog, the better, man. <laughs> Just I know, right? <laughs> I love uh, photography. This <laughs> 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 is like. Hey, go in that room where it's real foggy. I'll take pictures of you. <laughs> I always think about photography like if you didn't have cameras, like the weird things people do, like, you know, if there was no camera involved, it's just like, yeah. Yeah, let me just look at you in a foggy room. Yeah. Cool, and I'll spray some from the front too. 
Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> it's like... Would you mind refilling? Thank you so much. All right. Cool. Good to go? Yeah, let's do it. So we kind of went through, you know, the photos, Ian and I went through them together uh, and just kind of decided like, okay, cool, the ones where his arms were up, those, those really did just work out really nice with silhouette of his body. And so now we're just kind of like recreating some of those. So finding a pose that kind of works halfway through the shoot and just kind of like nailing that to death. Take a break. <laughs> oh, oh man, sorry. Yeah, if you want to bring the box closer, if you, if you want to bring the box closer, that's totally cool. Okay. Ian just informed me that his He's got bad shoulders fighting me, Max. So he's like, dude, you're killing me. Nice. Nice. Sexy photos. Dude. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. being in there is like it's like a torture chamber. Oh yeah, that looks ridiculous. Yeah. Ridiculous. My hand looks a little funky, but those ones are better. Man, these came out really, really cool. I just like that one, like that one, wait, like one of them, even like losing my, like the fingers, you can even see like a mm -hmm. falling off, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I actually like the gap on the head. The gap? Yeah, well not those, but. Yeah, go ahead, you can scroll. Actually, that one looks pretty good, though. That one looks really good. Maybe not. No, I guess that one. Cool. Let's do a few more of these where wow, instead of... Like dude, that's like, yeah, it's seriously. It's like perfect gap, centered, and even just the way I'm standing was like... Yeah. Yeah, let's do some of those. So instead of like your whole forearm on the glass, let's just do some with your hands. Both above. I think so. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of our winning, our winning Lean pose. Hard on the hands. Yeah, and it it won't even be a big because we're not front lighting it, so you yeah, can really press against. Black yeah, here. yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and then we'll wrap this shoot and get get prepped for our next one. Oh. <laughs> It's so foggy in there, it's nuts. I can't even see Ian. It's like one foot from the glass. <laughs> uh, sure, yeah.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> or or like this like this is okay. Yeah, like this is okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's cool. That's a nice picture. Yeah, those are so they're cool. They're cool. Okay. Oh yeah. You can pop your head in it. You want to tell him? You can pull your head farther away from the window and just sort of have your Cool. Yeah, those are sick too. Let's, Let's do, do some, some closer to the glass too. Yeah. And then some with like softer hands too. So still pressing against, but maybe just softer, like. It's like a horror film. Yeah. Right? It's a jump scare from the movie for sure. Right? Yeah. It's like a sexual horror film. That's what this looks like. <laughs> Sounds like something I would watch. Sexual horror. Cool. Do you want to come out for a minute? All right, we're almost done with this shot, guys. We've gotten a lot of really great photos. Yeah, yeah, come on out. Yeah. We've gotten a lot of really great. What's up? Yeah, come on out. Oh, no worries. Yeah, we just look through the photos. So I was just saying, we've, you know, we've got a lot of really good photos. Um, so we can just kind of like look through them again and, you know, see if there's any more we want to try to like get perfect. And if not, uh, I think we'll be ready to move on. Do you want to flip through them? Why don't you? So I'm going to hit, I'm going to have full screen. You can go left and right. Nice. These looked better when I was, if I was like peeking. So like peeking? Like yeah, if I was, if, if like I was looking through, peeking at something. Like that makes sense. Lower. Yeah. Like just the way I was leaning kind of felt like that. Yeah, like that. Yeah. But yeah, that was too much, I think, because it lit up like black and really hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's too much. I think. Yeah, this. Yeah, because I'm just standing out with my hands. Like yeah, solid it's like black. yeah, it's a little bit much. I agree. It's like hard paint all over this. My hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, those are nice too. <laughs> Boy, that was so weird from looking at the black outline. Yeah, to go on like full this, screen and like that. Blue around me. Oh yeah, right. If you look at this for a while. Yeah, like this, I can see. Oh. <laughs> square still. Those look awesome. Man, killed it. I think we're good, man. Yeah. I, I really like that. Oh, yeah. So many of these photos really did turn out. Hey, you're going to use more memory cards? Uh, yes, I will. I'll dump those memory cards awesome. um, in just a second. We do actually on the, on the wall over there, there's a hanging memory card holder that says SD cards. Okay. Uh, and there's, I don't know if there are 32 gigs in there, but there are a bunch in there for sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. Cool. I'm going to go turn off that fog machine. <laughs> Nailed it. Good job, Ian. There's, oh my god. <laughs> I literally, I can't see myself. <laughs> I have no idea where the fog machine is. All right. Turn the power off. Oh my god. I literally can't see anything. This is insane. Wow. <laughs> Dude. It's insane. Fire. Um, I think there's a fan in here as as well. Um, what's that? You like throw it in a window and just have it push the air on it. Yeah, there's a, yeah. Would you mind opening, a, let's open a few of these windows and then we can throw a fan in there. Um, with this, this one? Cool, yeah, let's okay. just pop back to the webcam view for a second. Cool, okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'll just let them know. Okay, guys, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we're going to dump memory cards and, uh, and switch over to this, and then we're going to be setting up for our next shot, which is going to be uh, a military-inspired <laughs> composite photo. I'm not sure, and I don't know where the memory cards are that I'm supposed to dump. Are these them?
Cool. Back. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull the strobes out of there. Um, yeah, suit up. So I just went by your measurements so we can tell them what the next step is. All right. Yeah. Okay, guys, we are good to go. Um, we're just finishing up with our, that was our third concept for the day. Uh, we had a little bit of technical issues with our like cameras and stuff like that, so that's why we cut the feed out. Um, but we should be good to go back live again. Are we, did you check the YouTube stream itself? Just to make sure that we are live? Yep, we're live. Okay, we are live. Um, yeah, so we just had, uh, what's up? Oh, it's going to be right here. So, yeah, uh, all cameras kind of pointing. Yep, all cameras setting up, uh, yeah, pointing in this direction. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and set up the wide, and then uh, we can switch the, uh, uh, switch the camera angle to the wide. Um, yeah, so we're setting up for our fourth look now. Uh, which is going to be like a military inspired photo shoot. Uh, we've got our subject is going to be wearing military clothing and uh, he's going to be composited into like Swiss Alps. So we've even got some snow that we got from outside uh, that we're going to be. Uh, thank you. <laughs> We've got some snow from the outside that we're going to be bringing into the studio as well. Uh, and that's going to give him something to stand on. So this is going to be for a composite photo. Um, so when you're shooting composites in the studio, that's one thing is uh, the end photos tend to be really, really cool. Uh, but oftentimes the actual like photos during the day of the shoot are not as exciting. So, uh, that's one of the things. So as you guys are watching it, just keep in mind that they are uh, that they are composite photos. Yeah. And we still have a ton of fog <laughs> in our studio. All right. Cool. Yeah. And I can go ahead and. Oh, outside of this office? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to move the... No, the telephoto is good where it is. Sorry, the webcam is good where it is. Okay, perfect. All right, cool. Maybe, uh, would you, can we back the wide up just oh, a bit absolutely. too? Yeah. Just a bit, so we can perfect. Kind of get an idea. All right, things are coming together, man. We're moving right along. Okay. So we're just, you know, spending, you know, twenty minutes or so between shots. So this is, you know. A relatively ambitious day of shooting, you know, six different concepts in in one day of shooting uh, is quite a bit. So, you know, if you guys are <laughs> first starting off, you know, like <laughs> trying to achieve <laughs> concepts and things like that, probably don't start off with six concepts in a day. Yeah. Um, not to say that, you know, I mean, if if you feel up to it, you know, go for it. There's definitely a lot of like, you know, a lot of people helping out. And a lot of pre-planning went into this as well. You know, we uh, we planned out these photos weeks in advance, and you know, been working on the styling and wardrobe and concepts and basically everything that's going into these uh, for the last few weeks. So, um, you know, a lot of folks are you know curious, like, okay, how do you do all that stuff in a day? Well. You spend weeks planning it, <laughs> and uh, that's you get a lot of really great people to help you out. <laughs> and that's basically you know how you can how you can get this much done in one day of shooting, uh, and it's really nice. You know, by the end of the day today, we'll have six different uh, you know conceptual photos, and 
it's just it's so nice to be able to have that much variety, you know, for your for your models, for your you know everyone involved in the team. It's, it's nice that they'd be able to get that much result out of one day of shooting. So for our next shot, um, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> On point. For our next shot, we've got um, like a military style shot where basically uh, Ian is going to be like here, basically like in full military get up, like holding a gun, and that's going to be composited into a, a background where he's going to be, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look like he's uh, in like the Swiss Alps or whatever. So uh, we're going to bring some snow into the studio here um, and basically because we're going to be putting him into like a colder landscape, uh, we wanted to take off the gels. So we, we actually had like orange gels on this light because we had a warmer shoot. Um, and now because we're going to be making this look like it's in like cold, snowy mountains, uh, we want to make sure that we take all the gels and all the coloring off of the light. So, you know, back to, back to daylight balance, which is totally fine. And if we need to, we can make it a little bit like colder in post-production. But um, this is basically going to be the main light setup. Um, I'm going to bring in uh, a one or two V-flats in the front just to reflect some of this light back on our subject. But um, he's going to be backlit. And we, uh, if you guys are going to do a composite photo, I highly suggest finding your background first. Um, so we've downloaded like, like a, a bunch of really cool stock photos, and I'm actually going to be combining these stock photos together uh, to fit into our background. So if you guys will see in just a minute, we're going to be pulling up our stock photos and seeing if we can match our lighting between what's going on here and what's going on. It's crazy, it doesn't seem like it's like getting less foggy in here. It seems like it's getting more foggy. Well, over there, yeah. All right, that room is there. Yeah, yeah. Just, just taking words in that room. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. So I'm just logging into our account here on stock website and then from here we can go ahead and pull our uh, pull our reference photos all right so this is going to be one of our rough reference photos here um, kind of a similar look that we're going to be putting our, our subject in. Um, we're going to try some backlit. I really want the shots to be backlit. And I, there are a few pictures of like snow mountains that are backlit, but I haven't found like the absolute perfect one just yet. Um, the end photo is going to be a, a composite between uh, a bunch of different still photos, uh, both of the mountains and of like a stormy sky in the background as well as uh, some snow in the front of the, sh in the foreground of the shot as well. So um, still haven't found exactly what I'm looking for, but um, enough to figure out like our lighting direction and things like that. So that's what we're gonna try to match. So we'll do a few different shots with a few different lighting directions. So that way we'll have a little bit more uh, flexibility when it comes time to composite these shots, composite the photos together. All right, cool. All right, so we are good to go. Oh, there is a, um, cool. Would you mind seeing if you can find some stuff to jam in that bag? I'll show you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, would you mind spreading this out on the floor, uh, like right, right here? This is just like a mattress cover, because uh, we do have some snow that we gathered outside, uh, and we're going to be putting the snow in the studio. All right. Yeah. So, because we're going to be compositing him into a uh, a snow backdrop, it just kind of makes sense to have uh, a little bit of snow in the studio. There we go. Um, 
let's come forward with that just a little bit more, guys. Cool. Right there is perfect. Replicas? All right, yeah, let's check them out. Let's, uh, would you mind bringing the replicas over here? So we have a, a few replica guns here for our military inspired photo shoot. Yeah. Right. We can make that darker for sure. Yeah, I think let's start off with this one here. Yeah. Safety's on. Nice. Yeah, this looks a hell of a lot. Did you see the, <laughs> the Halo gun that we, that we ordered? Yeah, yeah, this looks a hell of a lot. The Halo gun? Yeah, yeah we, we ordered, ordered a, uh, like a, a gun for this photo shoot. shoot. Um, you can't, can't ship replica guns, guns to Chicago, Chicago just because it's uh, Chicago. Uh, so, so we ordered, ordered like, like a Halo, Halo gun, gun, but then thankfully Brad came in and he had these replica, replica guns, guns, so uh, that yeah. really helps out make the shot look a lot more realistic, which is really nice. nice. All right, so just for uh, safety's sake, we'll, uh, you know, keep your hand off the trigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Safety's on. No, we're, we're good. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Face head, yeah. You know, let me grab the stuff. Yeah, so. Yeah, pin. No, I, I think pin them is a good idea. Um, yeah, so. This is going to be, again, like a backlit shot, um, so we'll be good there. Um, and I think we're going to be compositing you into like a snowy backdrop as well. So definitely, um, oh shit, with some gloves. I have, I have gloves in my, uh, in my jacket. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn that green more into like a blue and, yeah, like a white and gray type of color. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the many benefits of Photoshop. Oh, this hat, this will this will work. Yeah, let's just let's just okay, use this. Yeah. Just this okay. will be fine. Yeah. Great. Cool. Uh, let's try without okay. first. Uh, well, mug, you know? Yeah, why cover up that face? Uh, this is gonna have something on it, right? Uh, yeah, we definitely don't want it like. Poofing up like that. You you can take the tags and stuff off of that. Uh, here's some gloves for you as well. Um. All right. So the next step, uh, we have some snow. Would you mind helping me out with the snow real quick? Um. So it's in the freezer. Yeah, yeah, we. <laughs> it's, it's actual snow. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's solid. Alright.
knife. Yeah. Yeah. That's the reason. No, it's a replica. Huh? Replica. Oh, it's a replica. So it does, okay. I mean, it feels. It, no, it's, yeah, it's a hundred, no, it's a hundred percent. Very good. Wanna do some test shots? I 
I saw him in here, like, hey guys. <laughs> All right, Jared and his ultra strength. Yeah, so. I have another one in my car. <laughs> Bring the car up here. Uh, it's. Oh, here's that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's in the back of my car. So yeah, trunk. Thank you. Shake it off because it's Koa's. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. All right. Cool. The fog's pretty much dissipated here. All right. Cool. Yeah, we'll just start doing a couple of test shots here. I just have Netflix. <laughs> All right, everyone. I've got my murder list here. What does that say? What does that say about? Yeah, right. All right. Uh, uh, whoever wants to assist, we just need to break up all this snow and build like a little snow mound with it. Well, yeah. For now, you can just hang out there because I just need to do some like lighting tests. Yeah. Kind of like in the snow, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, if we can kind of crush all this, build a little pile, and you can kind of just like get in the little pile, I think that would be a little less. Still got a couple more lights I want to set up here. So I'm going to fire a light into the ceiling as well because we're basically trying to replicate like a, a stormy day here and we've got a few like lights, large soft boxes behind our subject. Those are going to be backlighting our subject uh, with the idea that there's like, like a storm with like a light back behind him. Here we go. And, oh, I got it right here, thank you. Um, but when I just took my uh, photo, it looked nice, but we still definitely have, like, uh, the foreground is still way too dark. So a nice way you can kind of combat that is to, like, just shine a light into the ceiling. And a lot of the time, you know, that, that'll be enough to kind of like fill your ambient because the only thing is the ceiling is uh, brown here, uh, meaning that the light is going to catch some of the color from the ceiling and uh, it's going to warm up the scene a little bit. But other than that, it's not, not a big deal. Um, Ian, would you mind crouching? <laughs>
right. Aaron, how are we doing on time? For this shot, we have an hour? All right, great. We're right on time. Hey, good job, everyone. We're on time. Yeah. Nice. So by doing this, you know, the idea is that the light on Ian and the light on the snow around him um, is the same light. And hopefully what that does is uh, makes it a lot easier to composite these photos together. Um, yeah, we're looking good. We still need a little bit more light. Uh, so we need, we need one more light in a soft box. Um, there's a folded up soft box over there. Good. Is there still snow on the ground? No. Not really. I, I doubt it. Yeah. Dirty snow? Yeah, it's not. Um, this will this will work. So this unfolds. Let me show you how. light in that light stand there and bring it on over here. Cool. You look good, man. It's like real. Yeah. I, mean, I guess we bought all that stuff at an army store, so yeah, I think it's the real stuff. Cool. Hey, yeah, we'll put it right about there. Just crazy, wasn't it? wasn't even that pricey. That like backpack was like $30. It's amazing how cheap it is. I guess they make like 10 million of them, you know? Again. Yeah, that looks cool. I'm going to bring this light around a little bit more. shots as they come in here. What's that? I don't, I don't want to. Yeah. Is that okay with you? Okay.
It's your military training camp. <laughs> so funny. The actual military is like so badass and hard. You were like playing military in like a photo studio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, so there's no snow outside, guys? There's no? There's dirty snow. There's dirty snow? Okay. Yeah, there's not there's not much is what we're saying. Okay, we're not gonna get that. I guess if we can break some of this back up, I mean for realism, I feel like some snow should be on your on you, you know? Like is it I wanted to make it look like it's Yeah. Yeah, we should definitely just do that. Yeah, <laughs> no competition. Yeah. Already in the mouth. Why did you do that? We're working with a guy who does badass miniatures soon. Um, yeah, we can have Jared. Would you mind being the um, snow wrangler? <laughs> I, I just want to know what you want. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just bump up the light. I mean, basically, like little pieces, like you know. Yeah, kind of just like this, kind of, you know, right. like. I've just been sitting here for an hour. Yeah. And like smaller, well, like it's snowing, you know, not like that. Not, <laughs> I know I'm asking for a lot here because it's like, I'm you not, know, yeah. but if the pieces are like. If it's chunks, yeah, I guess. If it's chunks, it's not going to look like real at all, right? Um, Oh yeah, do you want to wear gloves? Uh, Ian, I feel like you should have gloves on actually. I mean, if we're putting you in like a winter scene, doesn't it make sense that you would have gloves on? There we go. Those are actual Aaron Mace uh, originals. <laughs> They're just my gloves. Did you give me? No, those, my brother gave me those gloves, actually. Thanks, Trevor. <laughs> yeah. If I do this from up high, will you not do it like five on a ladder? Uh. No, you, you don't need to be, yeah, we can always capture like falling snow later. But you're actually doing a really good job, both of you. Yeah, so this is a composite photo. Um, yeah, you're doing great, Jer. Yeah, <laughs> all right, cool. I think we're good to start shooting. Yeah. Um, so the idea is like, what's up? Yeah, if you can be like on hand, we'll do it every couple minutes if you don't mind. Um, so I should probably talk into the camera. Yeah. Hey, guys. Oh, that one's on me as well. Okay, I'll talk into that steady cam. So what we're doing now, this is a composite photo. Uh, the idea was like a military inspired shoot with a guy like camping out in like the snowy mountains, you know, waiting for his mission, some sort of event to happen, like some like elite special forces thing. Uh, this is a composite photo. So we brought in some ice and snow. It actually snowed in Chicago a few days. So we, we shoveled some snow, we put it in the freezer and pulled it out today. And Ian is like gonna be sitting in the snow. And the nice thing about snow is it's all white. So compositing what's going on in here to an actual photograph won't be that hard because it's just white snow matching white snow. So if you are going to be doing composites, especially one where you're going to be able to see a person's feet or whatever, uh, it's a great idea to bring some of that substrate into the studio. So in this case, we've got snow. If you were doing a beach scene, it's a good idea to you know have sand on the ground or something like that. 
it just it makes the composite much easier. It makes everything look more realistic. So um, this again will be a composite photo. So we're going to be photographing in you know just like this, and you know he, he already looks really great. Uh, and then in post production, we're going to be pulling several different photos together uh, of like a mountain scene with like a stormy sky and things like that. And uh, that's where Ian's going to be basically at his post. So. Um, yeah, right here, it's, you know, the photos that we take today, we're not expecting these to be, like, spectacular because they're just one piece of a puzzle. So that's, you know, part of compo compositing is, like, during the day of the photo shoot, it's not usually, like, as exciting because you don't see the end result, but after time, you'll be able to see the, the end result and should be pretty special. So, all right, cool. Okay. Looking good. Okay, Jared, would you mind the uh, snow master? Yeah, it really it makes, makes a difference, though. So. All right, Ian, you're on. Nice. Can you rotate your body a little bit more towards that light over there? Yeah. No, you're, you're good, man. I did, we want it done right. It, it's going to make a big difference if, you know, if it looks like he's actually cold and in the, you know, in the shit. Can you rotate even more around? Yeah. Let's pull the backpack uh, on your back a little more. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's nice. What's that? Yeah, let's do both straps on, if you don't mind. And then, Jer, give him a, another good. Look back the other way, like, yeah, like even further, like something's behind you. Okay, cool. Backwards light again. Can you rotate, uh, kind of facing me a little bit more? All right, and then can you get like on the ice so I can see like your knee? Maybe just bring your knee in front of it. Like a little bit closer to me, the, your right knee. Yeah, like on that piece of ice there. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it doesn't hurt, does it? No, it's actually more Okay, good. Cool. Uh, Jared, would you mind a little more snow application, please?
Yeah, that's fine. We can put your knee down. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Uh, of what pile? What? Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Yeah. Nice, nice. Thanks, Chair. facing the other way and then I'm gonna have you look around back like okay, yep uh, do you want the different date yeah yep What's that? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. If you can rotate to face me a little bit more, like, yeah, yeah, yep, just like that. It's perfect. Yeah, perfect. And because we're going to composite this together with a bunch of different photos, I'm going to try a couple different light setups just so we have options. You're doing great. I mean, the shots we've taken are already wonderful shots. Yeah. You know. Not much we're do is like stay staring into yeah, pretty much. You're just staring into the distance, like I'm ready for action. Yeah, those are great right there. I'm going to switch this. Yeah, I'm going to take this light here and just put it on the other side. Look 
really cool. Can we get a little more snow, Jerry? Pretty good technique. So the light catches it. Cool. Keep your body where it is. Oh. Yeah, take your time, man. We got plenty of time, man. Do we have that spray bottle? Yeah, it's right next to the door. Cool. Maybe we can just do a little bit of spray from up above and I can catch it in the air. Is that okay? A little bit of water? Is that not a good idea? Is this just water in here? Yeah, it's just water. in a minute and I'll photograph that like separate yeah without it. Some kind of Photoshop loser? Well Oh yeah. Okay. Perfect. Can you rotate the gun a little more so it catches the light from that? 
Yeah, I guess, sorry, not as much, but maybe like, yeah, like that is perfect, yeah. Oh, yeah, smart. Yeah, not as much, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's give you a break. Let's take a look at the shots. I think. Do you want to come take a look? Oh, man. Do you want to sit down on like a stool? Okay. I think we can be done with the shot. Yeah. 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 yeah I mean, it's pretty. You have like, even if my body is one of my head, it's in my head. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just even that is just like. And, and you have the spread there. You can put that in the snow. It'll be fine. Yeah, we can definitely yeah, put that in the snow. It looks a little bit better than a halo gun that I was gonna paint black. <laughs> it's a tiny bit. <laughs> Can you grab the other gun? Okay. The Halo one? Just to show the, yeah. you know, to show the folks at home. <laughs> we are going to do that now because I bought a dart gun. You just shoot like that and have a Nerf gun in it. Yeah. Well, that's what it was going to be until, you know, Brad came through. There's nothing in there. Yeah. You got to load them in the side here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, let's do like a couple of shots like that, just to like as a joke. Yeah. <laughs> just see the contrast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it goes in the other side. Oh, it yep. just goes through. Yep, just goes right through. And then. Oh, the it's like that. Oh. oh, yeah. And then you pump it up. I'm a soldier, and when you pull the trigger, it'll fire. I could kill stuff. Yeah, enough pressure. Yeah. But these actually, no, they don't stick. Yeah, they won't stick, but they'll fire. Ooh, <laughs> that was, that was, that was like automated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should have bought more than one. Well, I know where I got them. First? Yeah, you can, you can fire all of them if you hold the trigger down. Yeah. Pointing at the camera? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it definitely just looks like a... That was in video games. So, lesson be known, if you're going to be photographing, uh, you know, doing a shoot, a military shoot, find a, find a firearms expert or someone who has some replicas, because uh, they make a real difference. We were going to just paint that thing black, but I'm glad that it didn't come to that. Like future, soldier. future soldier! In total modern day military, uh, in the future, the only thing we change is our guns. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, I think we're good, actually. 
yeah, I, I think we're good. Um, let's do a few. Uh, so you're good, Ian. You can go ahead and, and change out. Yeah. Er, you know what? I would actually, what I want to get done for our um, for our video is I want to do like a, a little interview with Ian just about the about the day. We hadn't planned on doing that later, but we've got some time. And if you were just like wearing that, like on the couch, it might be kind of interesting. Are you? Yeah, you can hang out, hang out with your halo gun on the couch. You can gather your coat. Someone sold your ammo. Yeah. Well, we reset for the next uh, for the next shot. Can we? Uh, we'll do like a twenty or so minute interview, uh, just like sitting over there on the couch. Okay. That work? <coughs> is that going to be live streamed or is that? Um, because we're uh, we're not going to be able to reach over there. Oh. That's if right. we're oh, staying tethered, we might yeah. want to do something over on this couch or something. Like okay, that. cool. Um, yeah, good question. Yeah. Uh, we're done with this shot. Yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah. Inter interesting to do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Okay, yeah, let's just do the interview. Uh, let's just do the interview here then.
Uh, also, Aaron Liston, do you have the Sonos pulled up? Do you want me to turn it down? Yeah, turn that volume down. And then, um, Mike? Um, let's go ahead and stop the, uh, stop the ISO that was recording and then start a new one with this just so we can make sure we do record this audio feed. I haven't even thought of what I'm going to ask you. <laughs> you don't have to hold that thing if you don't want to, unless you, you're into it. I'm kind of into it. Maybe, <laughs> I'll, maybe I'll put it down at some point. <laughs> this, this is our slate right here. Yeah. Good slate. I like that. <laughs> one. Yeah. yeah. All right. Are we good to go? Yep. We're cool. all set. We're rolling. All right. Where's my talking camera? Well, I thought we were, are we talking? Oh, we're, we're going to talk to each other. Well, I'll introduce the, I'll introduce the, the interview. All right. Cool. So we're about halfway through the day, guys. Uh, we've already knocked out, what, four concepts? Four to six, yeah. Yeah, which is freaking amazing. So we just did like a military-inspired shoot, thus uh, why Ian is dressed and ready to kill. <laughs> um, next up, we have a, a conceptual shot where we're uh, going to be making it look like Ian is actually like falling off of a building, like flying through the air. I'm like, extremely curious on how we're going to do this one. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to do it either. We're going to hang from the ceiling. And, like, I mean, we're going to have you jump. Okay. Probably. And then I'll probably light you from underneath and then in Photoshop rotate you around to make it look like you're falling. Like jumping and joy. Yes. Yeah. That the opposite fall. falling from, of course, you know, not enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we've got that shot, and then we've got another shot where we're going to be surrounding you in candles. Uh, I'm super. Yeah. I'm excited. My favorite one. Yeah, I'm excited for that concept. So, um, yeah, we've got a little bit of extra time, so just wanted to do like a little, you know, a little interview style thing. Uh, with the break. Yeah. Yeah. So, Especially with my knees after that. Yeah. So <laughs> Ian. Your background is in BMX? Uh, what background uh, don't I have at this point? Um, BMX was originally, when I was younger, probably about 17 to 21 range when I was around that age. And I mean, I still do it to this day. I started probably around 14, 15. Damn. But around that point, I took it more seriously. It was like full-time amateur type pro. And yeah, I mean, I gave that up about, let's say, five years ago. Okay. At this point, I only ride maybe once every two weeks. Okay. About that, but now it's full time. A million other occupations that I now occupy at this point. Yeah, for sure. Um, so you you actually were a retoucher for a while. I was. Um, retouching I've done freelance for years and as well as photography. But I did it professionally for a photography studio in New York City. Mm -hmm. um, handles Coach, Lord and Taylor, Toy Birch, Target, tons of huge brands, and I handled a lot of the online catalog. Nice. Um, I did that for about six months, and I just, I like to be a lot more creative, so the catalog side of things, it was a little bit boring, I must admit, but yeah. I gave it up, and around that time, I started modeling full time. Okay. So, it, you know, allowed me to take the time away from the retouching side of things, I modeled, it was fun, and I did a lot of cool things, and brought me here, I guess, today, which is awesome, and now I do vlogging full time. What's that like? A lot, a lot better than everything I've ever done. Really? Yeah. All right, vlogging for the win. I think it's, it's, it's actually put together all of the things I've done before, aside from the game. Okay. okay. I've done the retouching, which I now get to retouch my photos. I get to do product stuff for companies and the modeling side of things. I yeah. My own clothing, and it works out. I can just call the modeling side of things fashion vlogging. And then the retouching, I just basically call making my photos look easy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So it works out. I think it's awesome. And there's a lot of parts to it. I get to travel more, I think, and I get to enjoy time a little bit more. Like modeling? Yeah. You go, you work, you leave. Vlogging, there's companies that actually will put you in a scenario, a place, and you get to experience it, and they actually make tons of things around your day. Like they, they basically will schedule you things to do for fun. They handle all of it, and you just get to experience it and document it. It's great. That sounds pretty ideal. It's, it's, it's a great idea. <laughs> So, so as, as far, far as like making money as a vlogger, so I'm guessing a lot of people watching this are like, shit, I can make money as a vlogger? How does that work? Yeah, a lot of people don't know what vlogging is even at this point. Um, vlogging is, I guess, term wise when you're vlogging your own website, which technically, I, it's not really vlogging that I'm doing at this point because my website vlog is in the works. 
Okay. This is technically blogging on social media would be a social influencer, I guess you'd say. Okay. Okay. Right. Do you need the term? But that is what I am. Okay. So social You're influencer. a social influencer. Yeah. Um, and just to do that, you need a following on, you know, numbers wise to offer brands something that they can, you know, offer their products to or people and they can benefit from it. I mean, aside from not having a following, there's not much you can offer a brand. Right. Yeah, yeah, so they're, they're just, just looking for yeah. an, an audience. Which makes sense. Unless you're a content creator, which brands do you pay for? Yeah. Um, but again, being a content creator or blogger, you kind of get to charge different ways depending on your content, your quality of content. You get to charge for being a content creator. Okay. And then if you also push it on promotional, you know, things like Facebook, Instagram, then you get paid as well for that. The compensation. And building your audience, I mean, that's, that's something that, like, I imagine a lot of people watching are like, okay. okay. Yeah, uh, sure, if you have uh, 300,000 followers, 150,000 followers, yeah. uh, <laughs> duh, but how, do you have any how advice for people how to get, get there? Um, I kind of fell into it when I started. Okay. There definitely is things that I do to kind of do, like kind of maintain it and just kind of continue building it as far as followers. Um, when I started, it was modeling. That's what actually took it off. Like it took off when I was modeling and it started I was around a thousand followers, you know, which I would, I would say a little bit more than average. Yeah, um, yeah. Overall person. Um, I think at that point, that was because of the BMX. It was a lot of car posting. I'm heavily in car as well. And then from that point, I started to be modeling, and a lot of pages do the content. And okay. quality, you're getting quality content as a model, and they're reposting. Oh, okay. Um, it does help if you have a niche. And my niche clearly, I mean, I see many of them, some of the uniform right now, but <laughs> tattoos. Um, there's a lot of tattoo pages that were posting me as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And, I, and at one point, I did have a, a pretty large beard, beard pages, as corny as it sounds, posted to me. Um, and then from there, little brands would like start reaching out. And then from that point, you would probably work free most of the time. Maybe okay. product exchange and some of those pages would post. But getting posted by pages is definitely the easiest way to grow. Five pages, that's like, like other Instagram? Um, what is brands, for the most part, um, especially earlier on, if you don't have a large following, you're not going to be able to work with H&M, um, a huge brand. So right. they're not going to have big followings as a brand. So where you're going to work on getting posted by is just maybe blogging pages. Um, they're a little bit more limited for men, but women, there's a ton of them. Um, okay. They repost different blogging stuff, and you can also, let's see. I don't know, work, work with other bloggers. bloggers. Work with the bloggers that are in your following range. I mean, if you're in a thousand, you can't obviously expect a person with 200,000 to post you. It's not right. going to happen. Yeah, that makes sense. More, unfortunately, but, and then you just keep working away. You're okay. only gaining about 20 followers or so. Yeah. And then once you start getting more, you're really gaining that. Yeah. So that's, I would say that's the easiest way, to work with people in your realm and in your industry. That's brilliant. And then working with them, I mean, how does that look like? Do you have an example really that um, worked out well? It, the, the best way to come off organically and have your followers engage the most with it um, is if you actually can meet these people. You actually work and shoot together. It is a little bit more effort and it is tough. And depending on where you live, it might be physically impossible. True. Um, but if that's the case, you sadly, you're going to have to reach out to these people and you're going to get denied a lot. A lot of people don't feel comfortable with it. They don't know you. And sometimes there are people that will help you. Yeah. And you gotta explain to them that it's mutual, beneficial for both of you, and maybe maybe start off with a 12 hour post, a couple hour post, tell them they can delete it. And then from there, it'll okay. grow a little bit. You know, and then you can just you know, continue from there and keep going. Okay, yeah. That's the best way I'd say. Cool. Well, that's, that's a really good advice. I mean, that's kind of like where, you know, this whole photo shoot started because, you know, you, you'd been watching Florida for a while and had, you know, years. <laughs> and we, we got, got an email that was like, hey, I'm going to be in Chicago. Like, yeah. you know, you, would you guys ever want to do something together? And that, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and here you are. It coincided with the exact time when we were like, as a company and as a brand, we were like, you know what, the, the best thing we have, you know, the best thing we got is our audience or the, you know, the, the community of people who watch. And like, yeah. what we, you know, what we, are doing is like integrating those people in, and that was like, kind of like the first, you were like the first iteration of that. You know, it's like okay, we've got this like beautiful, wonderful community. It's time to like start working with those people. So. I mean, it's definitely 
with, with social, social media stuff bringing a lot of people together, I think it's great to embrace that and work together. I mean, there's plenty of work out there for a lot of people as far as bloggers, a lot of people ask me, like, are you kind of hesitant to work with other bloggers? Like, you get close, and then other brands will just choose them over you, but it depends on style. I mean, I look obviously completely different from most bloggers and stuff, so I'm not uh, exactly, I don't know, I'm afraid of just losing, like, work. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's more empowering to embrace together and, you know, showcase other people's styles and talents and everything else that's out there. That's great. No, I, I completely agree. I think having an ish and, like, you know, having a something that will identify you is, you know, it, it yeah. just makes it easier. Like, okay, you know, like, for instance, you know, we're a lot of the concept we did around today, you know, like, was around your specific look. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. not so much the military. I'm probably, probably the opposite, opposite of what I know. Yeah, I think so. I think so. The shots came out cool, so, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, as long as it looks, looks good. good. But, um, I, think I think it is definitely important to embrace and know your niche, niche yeah. Yeah. and focus on just refining that. Like, 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 like a successful person in social media, especially, you have to stick to what people see you as, sadly. Uh, it's not like lie to them or lie to yourself. Be yourself, definitely, 100%. Like, I am who I am. I never hide anything. Um, but I would just influence, like, who you are at, at the core. Definitely. I think that's important. People respect that. And the people, the strongest followers you have can relate to you, and they're going to be people who are similar to you. Yeah. And those are the people who are going to stick around and definitely embrace what you have to offer and, and relate to it the best. I think that works. Yeah, yeah, that, that's really good advice. Um, and the next thing I want to touch on is your Instagram. So, um, can we get can we get his Instagram feed like on the live stream? It's um, we can put the little thing. It's at Ian Elkins. Just my name. Yep, first name. I A N E L K I N S. Yep. Um, and we, we can, can put, put that like, like little thing, thing maybe, maybe like a, a snapshot of the web page itself or something. Is that? It's like. We'll just. Just, just the name is okay. okay. Um, yeah. One, One thing, thing that I noticed about your Instagram, Instagram stream and, and about your photos is you have a consistent look throughout throughout your pictures. I'm looking yeah. at them, I'm scrolling back for months and months, and, months and, and I'm like, all these look like they were taken by the same person. Yeah. And yeah. talking to you, you were like, oh, that was my buddy, this was someone else, that was someone else. And I'm like, <laughs> they all look so damn like it's your brand. And like, yeah, I definitely, it's a strange thing to, care so much about a feed but brands see it as something to market on and there are companies that doesn't fit and I do lose out of work on certain companies that aren't into the look but it's with anything you're going to um, and again like I said stick with yourself stick what you love and how you want to see your page and it's easier like to force yourself to post content that's something you're not interested in right it, it's it's never gonna work out for the long term Right. Um, I have changed my feed a few times actually. If you go back, oh really? Okay. If you go back like six months. Okay. Um, it actually used to be three dark photos, three light photos. They were all monochromatic. They were very minimalistic styling. And at that point, it's not so much I was into it very much, but it was very limited work-wise. There was a lot of companies it wasn't working for. It really limited to me, like like clothing stuff. If if something was colorful, I had to mutilate it basically at that point to get it to look like something it isn't and then it didn't come off relatable to somebody because they're like well, why is the food like black and white almost like it's why is right. it so desaturated or something and it wasn't working out and I do like the vibe it has now it I kept some of the I don't know just the feel of the emotion and stuff with the dark shadows I yeah, kind of that's brought cool. in some There's of that. There's a lot of shadows in your work. Yeah, I brought in a little bit more shadow work to kind of keep the feel a little bit more emotion. I don't know, I guess you could say, but I brought in color to kind of contrast a little bit. Of yeah. It. But colors, there aren't so many of them. They're still... In, in your stream. Yeah, yeah. In, my, in my stream, it's, it's still very cyans and warm tones. Okay. There's not really any reds, there's not many blues. I do It's, it's cool to hear like, like how intentional you are with like, like your, your, your yeah. stream. I mean, you know, we, we as a whole company are not even that intentional. Uh, a lot of people, <laughs> even other bloggers, I'm not gonna, like, there are people that definitely have very perceived 
is a beast, but I'd say I go well beyond a lot of people's efforts. I don't know why, just me, for myself. I just I enjoy putting enough work into it. And if I get an image from a photographer, of course, it complicates things sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, you do retouching though, so like you'll go in, yeah. if you get an image from a photographer, it's the complete opposite colors and this and that, it's not shadowy, yeah, I have to spend probably a good hour like, playing it into what might be encompasses. Yeah. It is sometimes challenging, and uh, sometimes I even find myself in a little complicated scenario with a photographer, I'm afraid to push things so far. Right. I have to kind of talk to them about it beforehand, listen, this is blog content, it's not for your portfolio, unfortunately, right. I will credit you. But I'm going to have to basically re edit this entire You want the final say on that section. Yeah. All right, so, so I, I should, should expect that from the shoot today. No, <laughs> see, the thing is, though, conceptual wise, like these, I don't know, maybe colors, like slightly. Yeah, yeah okay. But that's it. I'm okay. not going to mess with anything else, of course. Like these, these images are a little bit different content wise as well. They are, for sure. Modeling stuff, I don't try to touch. Right, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I like to leave that to photographer because blog content, I, I, I get involved sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of all, they're okay with just sending it to me, and that's great. Yeah. You know, they're, and, and if I'm, yeah, sometimes I do pay photographers. I'll have them put a little bit of extra effort in. Um, but if it's not paid, it's almost easier for them to just come along. You get free food, you go to an event with me, I'll give them some clothing, and they can just quick shoot them. And that's all I need. It's basically the okay. tripod at that point. And I just have them send them to me. Right, okay. And it's less effort. Okay. You know, so that works for them. Yeah, right on. So you have like the overall vision of what you want, and they're, you know, I, yeah, they're I definitely like, creative direct a lot of a lot of shoots and stuff. For sure, of mine. Like, I take a shot, I want to see it, and then mm, I have this concept, and then the angle. I'm definitely with location scouting and lighting scouting, for sure, with the shadows. There are times, and I'm finding light on you know, at specific day times, for sure. Mm -hmm. but, like yeah. today, I shot an image, it just worked out. I shot an image here. Breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> you put the right right in. Yeah, you like, used a little table over yeah, here, like put it in a little, little corner, and did, I mean, it, it worked. Really nice shot. Yeah, yeah. for some one shot. Unfortunately, no more camera right now, but some one shot. Well, we got, yeah. you know. <laughs> right, yeah. No, a couple of years. Tether, just for my record shot. shot. Yeah, yeah, right. It's a little much. Three yeah, hours set up, your light will be ruined by then. Yeah, probably. Cool. Um, well, do you have any advice for you know the folks out there who are like, I mean, you, you jumped careers a bunch of times, like BMX, retoucher, uh, model. Uh, advice, don't do that. Don't jump careers a bunch of times. Yeah, I mean, if you want to learn a bunch of things, that's great. Okay. Definitely being a well-rounded person, it will basically allow you to, like, like me, you know, I, I can combine a lot of things into one skill set, yeah. which is rare. There's a lot of jobs and stuff that you can do that. It's basically one skill set and master. But if it is something like blogging, you have to be able to learn how to use a camera and be yeah. on Flutter and things like that. That's definitely, I get messages all the time. Every day, almost. Like, where did you learn? Did you teach yourself? And I tell them, like, honestly, I learned. <laughs> I tell them all the time. Like, like, listen, if you want to learn Photoshop, you do this way, and you're going to be a blogger, you need to learn how to edit. And product shots and stuff, I don't care how well Focus on what your job is going to be as career-wise, the title, right. you know. If right. it is a blogger, then yes, you have to learn those skill sets. But if you're going to be a photographer, of course, be the best photographer and take in as much information and don't turn down opportunities. Yeah. If you hate or not, I would say it's super important to just say yes and, and do as much work as possible. Keep you motivated, um, keep you in the limelight and relevancy as far as social person. Yeah, relevancy is extremely important. Yeah. Booking and working for yourself, relevancy is, is top. I mean, as a blogger, as long as you are posting content and everyone's seeing this content, they, you keep in the queue. And they so you just have to keep posting. Like, that's, I mean, how often do you post? Probably less than you should. Um, but again, with my content and my cohesive blog, it, it is challenging for me to post that much because mm -hmm. I have to edit everything. A lot of bloggers are shooting and posting with cameras. Right, okay. I can't do that, unfortunately. But if you can post four times a day, post four times a day. All right. Um, unfortunately, Instagram growing organically is a lot tougher these days. Um, activity is way down, and the best way to stay relevant on Instagram is to be in the Mixer page. 
okay. Who invisible, invisible and when people are liking and stuff and staying, and staying active, active, that's the best thing. All right. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah that's definitely the best advice I can give. Cool. How, How important is writing? Writing. Um, with, with, with the whole, whole idea of like blogging and social influencing. See, on Instagram, not important at all. Okay. Um, I mean, if, if you're, you're working, working with brands, most of it is structured. You're going to get a passion almost. Um, you can change. You'll, let's, let's say, say if it's HMM, let's mm-hmm. say for instance, they're going to give you a couple of hashtags. You have to use those hashtags. Okay. You're going to have to tag your brand. And then you're going to have to, they're going to give you a, a basis, like a basic caption just form. Whatever they're, they're trying to sell. sell. Let's, let's say if it's holiday stuff. stuff. Is it holiday stuff? Yep. They're, they're going to say, we want you to wear the sweater, but explain or kind of give the vibe of holiday tradition to this and that. So you have to be able to actually write things, things that flow together, together. And it is challenging using hashtags. But I would say blogging, okay. website wise, is extremely important. To okay. Be able to, write. to be able to write. I haven't gotten there. All right. But but I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a little bit more challenging. Yeah, yeah. And, um, when I'm doing it now, but I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. All right. And I get to be more creative, and I think it'll be fun. Yeah, man, for sure. Well, well I want to take at least one question, question from the folks who are watching this live broadcast. Uh, there's a little bit of a delay, so if you guys can go ahead and post a question for Ian, that's on Instagram, at Ian Elkins. We'll put that on the bottom of the screen now. Uh, Check, Check it. They're going to post it on Instagram? Instagram? What's, What's that? that? They're going to be posting the question. No, they're going to post the question on, on the chat on YouTube oh, okay. right, right now. Right. And then Erin, uh, our producer, is going to choose uh, a question and she'll tell me and then I'll ask you. Tell Just wanted to make sure you guys get a little bit of, you know, I'm sure, you know, I hope you have some questions. <laughs> so, it, there, there is like a little bit of a delay, so you and I can just play like fiddle sticks and stuff. Is Fiddlesticks a real game? I think so. Yeah. I don't think anyone plays it anymore. Okay. But I think it is a real game. Back in the 20s! Yeah. <laughs> it's like pickup sticks. It's like pickup sticks. I'm not sure if it's the same game, but. Pickup pick sticks sound like a job. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it, did, it, it didn't catch on with the new generation. Yeah, I think, I think somebody, somebody must have just said, like, oh, this is a game, game. and they just want to work. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I feel so like that's where a lot of games started, uh, tricking uh, children into working. Uh, shovel, shovel dirt. Yeah. Who can shovel the most yeah, dirt? Yeah, right. Who can do it the fastest? <laughs> yeah. Beat your brother. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's why you need siblings. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. You can shovel the fastest. Yeah. No one wants to compete against their kids. Yeah. They're gonna win. Then they gotta keep doing it. <laughs> yeah. Get the kids to compete against each other. Sorry. People are really my nails. all about the nails. Why? Yeah, get them in close to the... They're actually all caught up. up. There's the rotting, rotting bikes and stuff. And yeah, yeah, that makes very little sense to me. Yeah, but he has totally so normal fingernails. We both have, like, yeah. 100% the most normal fingernails. Or even, like, kind of dirty right now. If it's an inside joke, okay. Yeah. That we're not yeah. getting. Yeah, I mean, I have stuff on my fingers. What's it a joke for? Do you mention managers in these tutorials? People, like, to, like, intend on seeing your nails. It's been nonstop. My nails? Yeah. They want to see both your nails. I have no. I have no. I have, no I have idea. like funny shaped nails, nails like super round, round, but I, 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 I have, have like very. I just I, I even bite, bite them with my teeth. teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's the inside tip. Okay. Don't bite your nails, guys. When did you realize blogging would be a career choice for you? Okay. That's a good question. So our question is, and we might need to bump Ian's mic up a little bit because it sounds like uh sounds like people are having a little trouble hearing Ian. Um. So, so the, the question, question coming from, from the internet, internet was, when, when did you realize blogging was going to be a career for you? So blogging, I've actually, I'm pretty new to it. Okay. Um, the modeling kind of fell off and stopped about a year ago. Okay. And there was an overlap, definitely, of course. But from, let's say, beginning of the year, I just kind of slowly started concentrating more on blogging. And I'd say six months ago. The second I started working with a lot more brands that were larger name brands and taking it more seriously, um, of course, pay increase as well. Uh, the following hasn't grown so much in the last think, three months, okay. but pay and brand reach has definitely tripled. Oh, okay. and, and I think that's just credibility work. Um, definitely put in the most work I could as far as attention to detail and people notice, fortunately. 
uh, and I think with the quality of rains, I just decided, okay, I mean, it's definitely growing to the point I want to, and I think the thing I need to work on most now is consistency. As a blogger, consistency is how you make the most money. Right. Uh, let's say you're getting X amount, if you do one thing a month, and you can be okay. But the thing is, you need to, I mean, if you could do it five times a week, you could be loaded. Better, yeah. yeah. I mean, really, really, really good. good. Loaded. I'm really saying loaded. Okay. okay. But well, not making a good thing. I know personal, personal friends of mine that make, uh, I would say, half a million dollars each year. year. That, I, would I would consider that loaded. And they're uh, <laughs> under like 25. <laughs> I wouldn't consider that doing it's, it's a lot of people living behind, behind, for sure. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't mind having that. Oh, well, yeah. that, that's, that's good to know. I, I had, had no idea. idea. Um, let's, let's take, take one, one more question. Uh, as, as long, long as, as it's fingernail based, based I suppose. Uh, people, people have been, been asking about our fingernails all day. I know. Yeah, it's weird. It's I don't understand it. Yeah, we can't pinpoint who it is, though. Maybe we should clarify whose finger it is. We both have 100% just. Normal asking questions about fingernails, take a picture of theirs and send them there. Yeah. See why they're so nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're the most beautiful fingernails I've ever seen. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
isn't very accurate, but. <laughs> and a halo, halo gun. gun. Yeah. <laughs> Have to do what you gotta deal with and act it out. Awesome. Well, we've got, we've got two, two more shoots, shoots coming up. up. I'm, I'm so excited. excited. We're, We're gonna go ahead and tear this down. Ian, thank, thank you so much, much for doing this. Thank you. Really appreciate you having you here. If you guys wanna check Ian's workout, uh, go to uh, Instagram at Ian Elkins and. Uh, Got, yeah, you'll find them. We've, we've got, got two more shoots, shoots. Uh, coming up. We've got a shoot we're going to make it look like Ian is falling off of a building. That one's next to the candle. And, and then, then we've got, got one where he's going to be surrounded by candles. So, awesome. yeah, yeah, let's, let's go, go ahead and get, get into it. Cool. cool. All, All right. right. <laughs> Good interview. All right. Oh, my knees are so weak from. My knees are weak. Sitting. Um,
Uh, it's turned on. Okay, are you hearing from this one now? Yeah? yeah? Okay. Unmute me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. We're coming in now. Yeah. So we're getting levels. Yeah, we're getting levels in Wirecast too. Seems so like it's like a little bit low, but minus six. Hello. 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 Hi, guys. Uh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Cool. The mic Sweet. just now is sounding great. Oh, just now the mic is sounding great. Okay. Perfect. Cool. I switched microphones. <laughs> yeah. This one might. Maybe I had to like push it in or something. I don't know. Yeah. No, I I can be on. It's fine. Yep. All right. Sounds good. Um. This other yeah. This is me. I'm gonna turn this other mic off. It's muted. Um, yeah, we shouldn't show the image. Yeah, I agree. Um, okay, cool. Well, let's start getting set up for the next shot. All right. 
So yeah, the next shot is a composite uh, photo. Yeah, okay. yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I think I'm good. I just need to find. So the the photo was actually uh, one of Ian's friends, who's a photographer. He took the picture, and we're just working on uh, uh, getting rights from him. But this is the this is the picture. Yeah. Um, oh, nice. Oh, I love that. Pretty cool, huh? So I want to make yeah. him like in the air right yeah. there and then like capture the shadow on the building yeah. as well so just like so it's gonna be like damn cool pretty cool huh yeah yeah it's like nothing like right. something yeah right <laughs> <laughs> looks like what looks like ISO. photos that i take <laughs> you take photos like this Crazy. yeah all right check out my instagram. i'd love to check out your instagram um yeah well let's uh, We'll write all you guys' information down because, I mean, working with you guys today has been great. So, I'd, I'd, you know, yeah. it'd be great to work with you guys again. Yeah, totally. um, okay. Yeah, no, I love your photos. These are all oh, sad. hey, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah, that was a fun shoot, man. That was like, we got there like three hours early to like get that parking spot, you know, <laughs> and like stick, like, you know, stuck it out and, um, you know, just basically sat there for like three hours waiting for the light to be like just right. Right. And, yeah, it's uh, kind of like still a little twilighty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I shot that, um, it was, I think like a 50 millimeter, 1.4. I shot it like really shallow, so like yeah. you know he's in focus background's out of focus. Yeah, but really in o in order to get yeah, I brighten these up in Photoshop the headlights there. Um, and in order to get like all of it in frame, because this was that was like the frame, mm -hmm. you yeah. know. Uh, so I I, um, I what's it called? Stitched them together like a oh. like a panorama, oh, wow. you know. So lo locked the focus and manual focus, and then like photographed yeah. up and out yeah, to give me like Brenizer? yeah the yeah, yeah the Brenizer uh, effect yeah. or, or whatever it's called, <laughs> yeah. 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 Large format for that, but I guess that makes sense if you basically made your image the same yeah. size. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, just, it matches the depth. Of Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. These are uh, the miniatures of the artist too. Oh no shit. You had the doll houses in the basement? Wow. Yeah. Luckily they have like good lighting in those miniatures. They're beautiful. Yeah, right. This is I mean it's it's just as they are. I just brought my fifty one point four and without a tripod it was just like you know, yeah. <laughs> sneaking pictures in. Yeah. I feel like lighting a small space like that would be super fun. Oh my god, Just yeah. Little sources become gigantic. Yeah, I, I had so much fun with that. And then, you know, when it came to matching the light, it was like, okay, now I need a softbox that's this big and yellow, you right. know, to like actually, because everything had to translate it in, you know, real size, so. Oh, wow. Um, the water one was like my first pro tutorial. Really? That's so awesome that <laughs> you've taken our pro tutorials. He's taking our tutorials. That's so fun. Um, Are the pro ones the, the long? Yeah, the pro or the more advanced ones. Um, yeah, where we do like basically all of these photos. I, I've taught people how to do like all of this stuff wow, with it. Cool. Yeah. I do the one with the long exposure sparks. That's the last one. Um, so that is actually a sparkler yeah. uh, in front of her face, and we had a leaf blower. <laughs> blowing back at her, yeah. um, and her eyes were closed during uh, during that part of it. So yeah. her eyes were closed like while the sparks were hitting her, and then I we stopped the leaf blower, and then I had her open her eyes and took a picture, and then composited her eyes wow. in from that. So 
Um, yeah, I was going to say, like, leaf blower with her eyes on Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never saw that one. That's so cool. Top left. The top left, yeah. I built, like, a huge rig and put, like, 20 people in the sand for that photo. And then... That's a prototype or no? Uh, we never made a tutorial out of that image. Um, and then it's all people all the way to the horizon. It's, like... Wow. It, yeah. The files, like... 20 gigabytes or something like that. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we should get back to shooting. People are like listening to this broadcast like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Sorry, guys. We have a bunch of our, my prints. Um, if you guys go to AaronNace.com, it's Aaron-Nace.com, uh, you can take a look at my photos. We were just looking at a bunch of the photos around the studio and talking about them, but for the folks at home, they're like, you guys suck. I can't even see what you're talking about. Maybe, we, yeah, maybe next time we can bring the study cam over or something. Yeah, right, right. Um, what's that? Oh, nice. Very cool. Yeah, there you go. Um, okay, so for this next shot, Ian, we're going to have you jump in the air and. Again, I'm. Uh, I think we're. I think we'll just shoot this bare bulb one light source because I'm looking at the shadows. So for the folks at home, we're going to be compositing Ian into a photo to make it look like he's jumping off a roof, um, and the shadows in the original image are pretty hard shadows. So I think we're going to just shoot this bare bulb one light source and have you just jump in the air and and then like flip you around. Um, and yeah, this is, um, it's going to be interesting because we can't show the, the image on the screen. We can't show the final image. Yeah, actually mess your hair up for sure. Yeah, yeah, actually mess your hair up. Ah, smart. I like that. I like that. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get our get our setup here. So I'm just going to shoot this bare bulb. Um, uh, I you're going to be. I don't know which way you're going to be facing. Yeah, you're going to be facing the wall. Yeah, you're going to be facing the wall. Yep. And then as far as light source goes, I guess we'll just do like, yeah, it'll take almost no time. I feel like this is going to be pretty boring for people at home because we can't even show the background photo because we haven't, we're still in our licensing agreement with it. So we don't, we don't technically, we, we haven't purchased the rights yet. The drawing. Oh yeah, we can show a drawing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, let me go to my messages all right did i slack you that message aaron let me do it right now all right Yeah, so we can't show this photo to any, anyone just yet, right? Well, we don't have the rights to it just yet. So, I'll, yeah, don't cut over just yet. Um, okay, cool. So you, you can cut over now. All right, cool. Let's get a let's get a, maybe one of these cameras on me so I can just talk to our. Cool. 
Um, and uh, Mike, can we go ahead and record an ISO again? Uh, did you check our last recordings to make sure my audio has been recording? OK, and we're all good? OK, cool. Just making sure. All right, so for this one, we'll do a picture in picture for you know the screen. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Cool. And uh, Mike, let me know when you're ready. Okay. Cool. All right, guys. Welcome back. <laughs> Our last quick. Our last shot was pretty quick. Uh, we basically had our subject, Ian. Uh, he was in like the snow here on the ground, which is going to be for a composite shot. Oftentimes with composite photos, they're a lot of fun because you get to take you know, photos in the studio and then composite on backgrounds. But uh, in the studio, sometimes it's you know, like you don't see the final photo during the photo shoot. So sometimes it's a little bit of like delayed gratification. So uh, it's going to be the same for our next photo. Um, so I think on the screen, are they able to see the my screen right now? OK, cool. So on the screen, you guys can see a sketch uh, of our next shot. So basically, we're, we're working with a photographer who took a picture in New York of, uh, of a bunch of buildings. And it, it, everything's in shadow. There's just like a column of light that's going through the street and then up through the building. Uh, I saw the photo actually on Ian's stream, and I was like, "Man, this is—it's so beautiful. I want to, you know, we're we're working with the photographer to get the rights for it. We're going to use that as a background, and we're going to be photographing Ian and making it look like he's like basically falling from the building. Uh, and you know, <laughs> sounds kind of macabre when I say it out loud, but." Uh, Basically, we're going to be compositing him to make it look like he's like floating in the air. Um, so we've got a little sketch on on the screen right now. And oftentimes, when I'm doing concepts or whatever, uh, I'll have a little sketch that that I do ahead of time just to like kind of get my thoughts together. Uh, it's you know obviously nothing that's too complex or whatever, but it it really does help to like figure out what we're actually doing. So um, being that the sun in the original photo. Uh, is like direct sunlight. It's a it's a hard light source. So we're going to be re replicating the same thing here in the studio using a hard light source, which is just going to be a bare bulb light. Um, and we're going to have Ian jump in the air, and then in Photoshop, I'm going to turn him upside down and get him to actually fit in the final photo. So uh, we've got the light on Ian, and then we'll also be capturing the shadow. Uh, hopefully, capturing the shadow on the background as well. So we can use that shadow in the final photo also. So basically, just again, it's another composite shot. So uh, right now, we're taking pieces of the final photo. And then uh, once our licensing deal can, you know, goes through with our photographer we're, work, we're working with, uh, then we'll have the final photo. And we'll, we'll be making a tutorial out of this you know, uh, as time goes on. So uh, this is just, you know, you guys get to be here for the actual process of making it, which is super fun. So we've got this shot, which is a composite. Again, it, it should go real quick, because again, it's just going to jump in the air. Uh, and we just got to get our lighting right. And then our next uh, shot is going to be really, really cool. That's going to be totally in studio. There's no compositing there. Uh, we've got uh, like 10 candles that we're going to be lighting and uh, completely surrounding Ian with candles as well. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope you guys stick around for it. OK. Cool. So we're going to jump in and uh, start working this shot for uh, Ian, who's going to be falling from a skyscraper. All right. Cool. So we can go ahead and turn these lights off. All right. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's really nice, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like to be able to completely control your lighting yeah. while using ambient light. Yeah. It's like what? Those don't even read. 
Yeah, it, it's really nice. It can be a little bit tough at times with strobes because you don't see what you're getting. So like, this is gonna look great. And you take a picture and it's like horrible. Uh, which mode? The tether, uh, just go to uh, uh, Lightroom or File and go to Tether. Then you go to Start Tethered Capture. Yeah, Tethered Capture. Oh yeah, yep, it's doing it. Just double click there. That's a picture I, I just took that. So, one of my best, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> How did you manage such an even black tone? <laughs> yeah, I'm artistic. Okay. Flash isn't firing for some reason. Big deal? Uh, yeah, I just did. I'll just use a different uh, setup. Let me test it on here. It could be the could be the cable. It's not good. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Let me test that in a second. All right, well, that's working. All right. All right. We get some music going on. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> I love being surprised. At times, yeah, because it doesn't like stick to the bass beat kind of deal, you know. Cool. <laughs> All right. Almost ready for it? What's that? All right. Yeah, we'll just well we'll we'll do some test shots. You can <laughs> yeah, it's New York. Nice. Everyone's got a big old New York. <laughs> Go back a little bit more. Yeah, try that. Um, did that? Did that flash? Did that time. Why is. Okay. All right, I'm just going to reset this tethered capture because I'm not. What in the heck? <laughs> He's crazy, everybody. <laughs> screen wasn't working for a second, but we're back to working again. All 
right, let's make sure we're good for our tether capture. Yeah, and this is actually going to be... Um... Cool, that looks good. I'm going to actually bring the light. <laughs> and we're done. Cool, and we've got a couple settings here on um, on these Einsteins. We have an action mode and a color mode. Um, action mode just shortens your flash duration. So when you're doing something like jumping, uh, it really helps out to have action mode turns on turned on um, because you you don't want any like camera movement and things like that um, when you're actually firing your strobe. So um, we've got our action mode turned on, and uh, ah, nice hair. <laughs> Ah. So of course I can also just stick it straight Hey. There we go. All right. Good deal. All right. So I'm going to just back up here a little bit. All right. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I'll just work on getting the uh like lighting and camera angles set up for a minute and then um once uh Once we're good there, um, we can go ahead and match that. I am going to shoot a couple of lights into the ceiling just to like give us a little bit more ambient. I feel like having no ambient is just like a little bit boring. Um, okay, Let's plug this guy in. Ready? <laughs> the falling look. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So, yeah, but you're going to be falling head first. Yeah. So, wouldn't the wind, like, Yeah, I think so. Oh, good. Google people jumping from buildings. Right, but if you're falling like super rapid, wouldn't the wind be like doing this? Right? Yeah. I can't imagine. A strong stomach to be special effects. Going what? Okay. Well, let's try it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Mm. What is it? Can I see the photo? Okay. So for those of you guys who are watching, we're just looking at reference photos and trying to get an idea of, uh, of what this would actually look like. Um, which is kind of gross, yeah, actually. Yeah, some of them are not nice, but I was more thinking of like looking at a film reference. Yeah, I want this to be like graceful and kind of beautiful and like how did you do that not like oh god <laughs> yeah what have you done what have you done um yeah i think we're looking good now this is the the other thing is normally when i would do this i would rough composite during the photo shoot, which I still think is a good idea. The only thing is because we haven't obtained the rights to the image yet. Okay. I feel like that's, is that shitty though? To, for me to rough composite, but the people at home can't see that. Yeah, cut you out from the photo and put you in there. So. I don't know. I'll just try to do it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's just shoot it like this. I we'll be good. I know some guy who knows Photoshop, so we'll be all right. All right, cool. So this is our composite for the uh, for the guy jumping off of the building, and um, for this shoot. So again, it's um, just as far as perspective. So we're gonna turn you upside down, and the camera in the original photo is. Uh, Yeah. Yes. So I'm gonna just sketch this out uh, roughly. Do we have a? Here's a pen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So we got you know just one of those cases where um, we have to figure out the angle and everything. So we've got like the beam of light that's kind of coming in through the building. And then you, I want you to be like this with your feet like, like that. And maybe you won't have your, maybe you won't have your uh, hands out. We'll try a few different things. And then the camera is actually not on the ground. The camera is like almost like yeah, eye height. High, yeah. yeah, it's pretty high. It's like looking at a, like a 10 story building. So, um, so that's like what we want the final photo to look like. Now, obviously, you're not going to be upside down, so I'm just going to like turn this upside down. Yeah, my feet will have to be behind me. Yeah, your or feet are behind, behind you. So basically, you're just going to be like jumping up like this and kind of doing a back bend, I think. Yeah, because my feet would have to be in front of me. I think when you reverse that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I think, and we'll try a few different things just to make sure, you know, we have the options, but I, I think like, yeah, I think kind of like jumping like this and almost doing like a back bend. Yeah. 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 I think that's probably the best option. And then we have leaf blowers too. Uh, I don't know if if that would be. Uh, yeah. Um, you'd have to shoot them, I guess. From above, right? Yeah. Leaf blowers from above. I don't. Um, yeah. Let's do that. Why not? People at home will like that anyway. Uh, okay, cool. Let's go. Let's get a ladder real quick. Um, we'll grab a couple leaf blowers. All right, cool. If 
you wouldn't mind grabbing this ladder, set it up just right next to, uh, there we go. All right. Nice electric leaf blower, like $20 a target or something. It's really nice to have these uh, for photo shoots actually, because uh, just like right next to like, yep, right, right here, it's perfect. It's really nice to have these for photo shoots because they're, they're inexpensive uh, and they don't, uh, they're electric, so they don't produce any like uh, fumes or gasoline or smells and things like that. Um, they're loud, but for a photo shoot, sound doesn't matter so much so it's a nice way to like replicate uh like wind and things like that in a photo all right cool oh yeah thank you yeah and there's a uh here you go this one right here is uh free now Cool, thank you. All right, actually. It's not super loud, yeah, okay. We'll give you a warning. Yeah, it's kind of brilliant, right? It, it's a little bit shitty. Like, oh, you guys didn't include a cord with your appliance? Um, but it, yeah, it, it's kind of brilliant. They're like, well, if you're buying one of these, you probably have an extension cord. All right, I'm gonna get on top here and then I'll give it a test run. You won't need to jump high at all. You can jump like, uh, yeah, just a couple inches. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on uh, once you,
Yeah. I mean, and you can always flip it and everything. But Good now. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah. So was the consensus the light should be on the other side? I mean, you could always flip it in Photoshop, but it right. no. Let's let's do it right. You know, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it right. I, yeah, I always prefer to get it right in camera if we can. Um, cool. Cool. Thank you for that. Yeah. Please, you know, chime in if you think, you know, something can be, be done better. That's the best. Okay. Oh, let's turn it back on. Uh, you want that one? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I can zoom out and get. Oh, you can see you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let me just. I'll put this on the desktop. You have an iPhone? I'll just put this on the desktop. I got seven minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I I did. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and cut. So we've, we've dumped two cards. Uh, we can keep the audio in. We're just uh, switching out some cards here. I'll text that to you in, in a minute if you don't mind. Yeah, when we finish this little one. Okay, we ready? Let's let's go ahead and finish up this shoot, and then we'll take a short break, and we'll set up and do our last shoot of the day. Yep. Uh, yeah, listen. Would you mind? Uh, like while I'm just jumping and shooting, um, maybe I kind of like. Yeah, just make sure you don't block that camera right there. Yeah. Once I start jumping and shooting, that's not what I was Do you like it vertical? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. We ready to do again? Yeah. We got our light switched to the other side. Thanks to Ted. And yeah, and let's do some uh, facing straight back, and then some to the left, and then some to the right. Yeah, because we moved our light source. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. All right, ready when you are. Okay, perfect. Ready whenever you are. Do some where you're like really reaching too. Right, like these yeah, were like they were like this okay. kind of. Let's do some where you're like, uh, like okay. like your whole body is like, Stiffened? yeah, like spread okay. out like crazy. Right, cool. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, and even some like, yeah. like that with your head back. <laughs> Oh, you saved it, okay. I yeah. Know you know. I do, but I, I thought you should. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh Cool. Let's look great. Let's <laughs> let's look through them. All right. So now what I'm going to try to do is we can rotate these around in Lightroom. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Just thought of that. <laughs> so we still have some coming in, but what we'll do is we'll just rotate them around in Lightroom, and then we can see like, okay, does this actually look like, um, you know, does this actually look like you're falling, or does it look like you're jumping straight up? All right. All right. Cool. So I'm just shift clicking on a bunch of images now. photos I should have said oh okay all right cool so now we can see the photos yeah I don't think she meant to <laughs> yeah I don't think you can tell it's a leaf blower so I wouldn't like the noise you know? oh yeah All right, so now we're just kind of flipping through him to see, like, okay, does it look like he's, uh, you know, falling? And the other thing, I guess, so I'm going to, I rotated these around, but I'm also going to just, um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to use the crop tool real quick and just, like, yeah. 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 Um, it's so hard to tell when you like the other objects are just making you kind of look the ladder especially right yeah so I'm just going to kind of crop it in to you a little bit and then I can um, sync this and what are like the, the soft ones look like um, one second so I'm just going to go to sync settings Check none, and then we're gonna go to crop. Oh man, Lightroom is the best. It's like I, I don't really deal with sets and stuff, so like I don't mind just doing everything in Photoshop usually. Like mm -hmm. <clears throat> I feel like it's really useful for sets. Yeah. Lightroom is good for like color and everything. Uh, mm. We're trying to go through and I think like Photoshop's like refining and compositing and Photoshop or Lightroom's like broader spectrum of editing. Cool. Taylor, with these cards here? Um, over on this desk, actually. Yeah. So I just think you can. I feel like I need to be like higher up, actually. Yeah. Right, the camera. Mm -hmm. So can folks at home see my screen? Okay, cool. Yeah, I think I need to be higher up, and that would make 
that would just push the perspective of your feet like back a little bit because like it it seems like your feet should be farther away from the camera than your head you know what i mean does that make sense yeah that's what i thought my feet have to be like in front of my chin but obviously i'm not gonna jump and land on my back so right yeah they now i get what you were saying yeah. okay i didn't fully follow you before I had to hop like this so that way when you turned me i was just like more laid out right so yeah because like yeah you do have to be more like that okay but if i get on a ladder yeah. It should do that, mm -hmm. right? Like it should make that effect. I can try to push my legs out too, just slightly. Okay. It might take me longer to jump each time. But. Okay, cool. Well, good. That that definitely helped out. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get on a ladder. Uh, yeah, perfect. Cool. Yeah, and then I'm going to just be cutting you out with a pen tool, and then I'll just replicate your shadow from your silhouette, make the shadow in Photoshop. Yeah, that won't be, that won't be tough. Okay, cool. Uh, let's do both, I guess, because I, I didn't even see the swinging arm ones. Will it replicate that if I go back? Like if I go to the swinging arm, will it split everything? Yeah, I think, I think it will. Just, yeah, try hitting the back button. Yeah, it won't do the crop and everything like that. Yeah, I like some of those too. Those are nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, let's try something like that. Yeah. That's Plus your arm, the wind's definitely gonna take if I was like stiff. My arm Oh yeah. I feel like it's gonna blow your arms all crazy. Yeah, you're right. I can't even dive off of like a diving board. <laughs> yeah, I was just in Puerto Rico and I was like, we were like diving off a dock and I like couldn't do it. I was like so embarrassed, yeah. No, it was like I would go to like go head first and like every time my body would just like curl up and I just like, you know, like I get right to the edge and like my feet wouldn't let like I went feet first every time. I was trying to go head first. But oh my, back dives? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, let's do it. And then also, if yeah, and then also, it, it is definitely going to be better if you're uh, like facing more to the side. So let's do some like facing. Yeah, yeah. It's from the side, yeah, yeah. Cool, even more a little bit to the side? Yeah, there we go. What's up? <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's no big deal at all. Yeah. Can you rotate the ladder if I push you first? What's that? Can you rotate the ladder 90 degrees? It might be easier for you. True. Oh, yeah. Oh, because, yeah, you'll be. Instead of reaching out across it. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Wow. I'll mention these won't be my way. Yeah. All right, cool. Brilliant minds.
<laughs> cool. All right, yeah. cool. We're looking good. All right, cool. Let's do it. Yeah, the tethered software takes a minute to like load up. Cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and flip flip one of those. Let this come in and we'll flip this upside down. Oh my god, it's not even five o'clock. It's like it dark out. Yo, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, man. Welcome to Chicago in the winter, right? Yeah, so I think I need to get at least one arm fully extended. Okay. Just by watching this, like one arm at least fully almost locked, and then the other one can be like this. Oh, yeah, okay. Like maybe even like that. All right, let's go ahead and we'll rotate all these. Standing on C stands. It's like a foot massage. All right, so I'm just taking these and kind of manually, you know, cropping and re um, changing the angle of orientation just to about what the reference photo is, just to see like, all right, <laughs> does this actually look good? All right, and then this, I think I need to flip this horizontally. Um, let's see, I don't know if you can do that in Lightroom. Flip horizontally? Oh yeah, you can, here we go. So, up there. Do you remember which direction you were jumping? Um, First. Yes. Left. And I switched right. That one. Okay. The majority on the left because I thought that was the way. The the, the second one was was. To the right. Well, no, I just flipped those. Oh, you. Never mind. You can probably tell. I don't know if you can tell with my hand tattoos or not. My rose is on my right hand. We have how many more minutes? Five, okay, cool. Awesome, thank you. All right. Uh, 
All right. So which way did you end? Turn right end. Started to the left. It ended probably to the left. Let me I just mean, transfer see, this. I could tell you by my face tattoo. I mean, if you if my neck is black, uh huh, that I was yeah. facing to the right. Uh, that's you know, convenient. If, if not, All right. Yeah, you're facing. Yeah, to the left. to the left. So that's that's what we want. You okay. we want you facing to the left. That's okay, going to so be the best. Left. Yeah. So all left. So we'll do some um, with your body like not super stretched out, and we'll do some more with your body stretched out. Um, okay. Yep. And I'm going to get a little bit further back and zoom in, and then I think we'll be good. I'm just going to move my shoot cart a little bit here. My Stuttgart, <laughs> yeah. All right. Ooh, what a live broadcast, huh? How's everyone doing at home? Yeah, you guys enjoying this? <laughs> What's that? Getting ready for bed? Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, they're like six hours ahead. I'm not staying awake for this. Just jumping in the air? What is this crap? <laughs> yeah. Flirtastic. Yeah. Wait, which way did we just say you were jumping? Yeah. Okay, I'm, a, I'm not an ambi turner. Yeah. <laughs> All right, perfect, let's do it. Yeah, just I can't shoot that fast because of the tethered capture. It's like takes a little time. Yeah, I feel like if you can get your arms back behind your head. Okay. I so didn't even like realize it, but I can just like turn my camera around. <laughs> Yeah, I was yeah, I was like, you know, changing the crop and rotating there in Lightroom to like, what does this look like upside down? I could just like turn my camera upside down and look to see if it's the right way. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, that's actually way easier. Brilliant. Yeah. If you if you can jump and like almost like reach back, like back bend a little bit, I, I think that'll yeah. And you can start with your hands like back and just jump with your feet, you know? Yeah. Okay, let's do a few like that. I think definitely like arching your back yeah, is. Okay, cool. All right, we're good to go. And yeah, facing the A, I think works out. Works out good.
take a look at these. All right. What's up? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, they... Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I can use the Puppet Warp in Photoshop to, like, bring your feet, like, you know? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I think we got it. Yeah. Yeah. I think we got it. Nice job. Whew. All right. <laughs> Oh, solid ground. Yes. Don't fall off the ladder. <laughs> Don't fall off the ground. <laughs> All right, cool. So that's our shot, guys. Uh, so we're going to be compositing this together with a background photo that we're going to be licensing from a photographer. And uh, look forward to that tutorial. Uh, it'll be coming soon. And we're going to be basically creating in the illusion that Ian is falling off of a building. Um, so that concludes our composite shots and uh the last shot of the day we've done five concepts already today That's a lot. it's pretty good um so the last shot of the day we're going to be doing uh lit completely by candlelight uh it's going to be really cool we've got uh it's going to be levitating candles surrounding ian so um we've got a bunch of candles i don't exactly know how we're going to make these things levitate just yet uh we may just like stab them on the bottom with like a light stand or something and then just photoshop out the light stand You, yeah, you're going to be like holding candles, yeah, and then they're going to be f candles floating all around you as well. So, yeah. Slight compositing. Yeah, a little bit of compositing, yeah, but like yeah, yeah, it should be, should be pretty fun. Um, okay, cool. So we can kind of tear this set down. We'll take a little bit of break. We can switch the feed back to the webcam, and uh, we'll get set up for our last shot of the day. And here's a little... Uh, sketch of the last shot just so everyone knows what we're going to be doing there yeah it's a incredibly good sketch by the way uh, i have a friend of mine a girl who's all the way in germany mm -hmm. and uh, she's not a photographer or anything she's just a like a social figure slash like a little slight blogger but uh she just read the text because oh my god oh my god what? <laughs> it was like a while back, or like That's just great. now watching. She was a while back, like three years ago. So what did you, you learn? She said uh, it was like making like, air. Like, like, oh, yeah, fairy like, dust. Like, yeah, yeah I, we were going to do something like that on today's shoot. That's funny. She said also intensifying colors without burn. Nice. It's pretty fun. It's so long ago. He's like my dad. <laughs> I'm, I'm her dad? <laughs> <laughs> wow, all right. Is she a model? Um, she's kind of just like a popular social figure type female. Yeah, okay. I guess. Um, just a popular.
dryer. Um, I think this will probably work. Just need to start rocking the center part again. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. So for the for the video cameras, um, is that should we just leave the house lights off the whole time and then you guys can adjust your ISO and whatnot to like that lighting or would it be yeah, better? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, okay. Cool. So what we're doing now? Uh, our next shot, we want to surround our uh, Ian in uh, in candles. So we've got a bunch of candles. Um, Tori, would you mind grabbing the screws? Yep. Perfect. Um, so we've got a bunch of candles, and I want to make them look like they're levitating around Ian. So just basically trying to figure out a way. I think if we go in, what do you think, from the bottom? Yeah. You think, yeah? Tying string to the screw nice. and then hanging them vertically. Uh, stand and yeah, you want to give it a shot know, with I that one? The candle's gonna tilt, isn't it? No, we're gonna um, we're gonna clamp it into a stand. Yeah, and okay, so each candle's gonna clamp. Yeah, well, what I want to do is I want to like I want some of them, the light from some of these candles to actually be like lighting the scene. Yeah, for sure, but. The final photo, uh, I think we can uh, composite some of the candles in too. Oh, yeah, sure. You know, so I, I think maybe we'll just get like a couple of candles, like four or five around you, enough. Yeah, enough to get the light. The ones that are not just Yeah, exactly. All right. See, yeah, that's what I wasn't sure of. I didn't know. If we were gonna... Just screwing candles, you know. Typical Wednesday. Typical Wednesday. What do you do Wednesday at 5:38 p.m.? You candle screwer. Broke it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's two in a row. Yeah. Well, this, you can still you can still shoot it from that side, maybe. Uh, yeah, that would work. Still. All right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. So what I think we can do is brilliant. Yeah, that's great. So let's do the, let's do these five kind of surrounding Ian. So Ian will be like in the in the center. And I w I want to have you hold two candles on your hand, lit yeah lit candles on your hand hands and hold them here, and then we'll have a few around your head and we'll just shoot that, and then you can get out of the shot and then. Yeah, and then the camera will stay on a tripod, we'll lock the focus, we'll lock everything down, and then literally just, you know, move the candle and be like, all right, take a picture here, mm -hmm. take a picture here, gotcha. and then we can pop those into the frame, yeah. Are you going to use your little technique with the LCD screen when you, like, outline where I am? I've seen you do that, like, a long time ago. Oh, I did do that, yeah. Outline nice. Outline where I am and individually move it exactly where you want over the image. Yeah, I, I like that idea. All right. 
Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. I, yeah, th for sure. So you'll be. W would you mind uh, standing in? Yeah. Um, We're gonna actually melt them if we can. If it, you know, are you okay with that? A little wax on your hands? All right. I okay. Cool. Well, if we can pull in, if we can get these other two going, well, let's go ahead and. Okay, get that in writing. <laughs> uh, and there is a fire hydrant uh, sh uh, extinguisher right there. Yeah, see? Is it okay? It's pretty hot. It's pretty hot? All right. Yeah, but if you just let that like sit for a second, then it'll just build up around it and it won't be... Yeah, because the thing is, the center of my palm is not, it doesn't really touch much. Unfortunately, it can't be melt, melted on my calluses, but I guess you only need it in the front of it anyway, right? Yeah. You just tell me if that's, like, no, that's cool too much. No, once it builds up, it, it's just the inside, like, right where you already went. Because right here, it should be pretty dead, too. That's right. I'm supposed to be getting my hands, my inside of my hands tattooed soon, so this will be like a... Oh, really? Yeah, a little warm-up. Yeah, it's gonna suck really bad. It's gonna be a commitment. Oh, uh, it's gonna it's gonna be small because I don't want it on the outside because it'll just wear down. I'm gonna have it right oh, where the okay. candle is. It lasts longer on the inside. Well, if you look at your hand, like all the extended, yeah. there's like a crevice in the center. Oh, okay, gotcha. Because if, if riding wise, if I get anything just on the outer edge, it'll just get blown out. I have a friend who's yeah, like right, right. And I'll just tilt it. Right. Yeah. Like a I guess we'll do a little bit of the back, so it's just not like Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Heat wise? Yeah, Alright. That's the only option. It's kind of adhering to your hand a little bit, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, it's starting to. You okay with your socks getting a little wax on them? Okay. You get that at the dollar sock store? <laughs> I don't know, like cotton socks. See? Especially for this specific application. Yeah. Should we get like some of my arm more? Oh yeah, if you don't mind. My arm's fine. The hands are a lot more sensitive. Actually, kind of feels kind of good. Yeah, I kind of like arms. Not enough. Cool. Let's do the other one. No worries. Uh, like this? Okay. Like 45, yeah, there we go. Okay. The first one is like the, the hardest because it goes under my hand in the center. The first cut is the deepest. Oh, one off the back side. Yeah. Yeah, where is it? Oh, it's, there it is. So we're just melting this wax now on Onion's hands, and he's being a <laughs> really good sport about it. Um, just kind of creates a little bit more like a. I'm trying to get it to fill that void right there on the right. Yeah, I'm going to tilt it this way. Yeah, sure. Tilt away. So I'm just following the same lines over and over. Yeah. Oh, that's a really good idea. Just one of those cracked it, ones. Just to fill some of it, yeah. We might, I might just melt this one again, and we'll, I'll get more like on my arm. See? A lot better than using a lighter, huh? <laughs> 20 bucks. And the nice thing is too, if you have a deep candle, you know, you can just like, you know, go all the way down in there. 
Yeah. Yeah, maybe melt them like a little bit. What I would do, like when you melt these ones, yeah. you hold it in one like one spot on the very edge to kind of make it bumpy. How do you mean? Eh, it might not work that well. I was just trying to get it. I was trying to get like a nice little edge on the edge, so it was like bumpy and small, small dry drops. Yeah, not that you can't Photoshop that, but. Oh yeah, like, like here and then like let it go. Uh, yeah, it's it's just not it's not it's not a concentrated like resource. Because normally a candle has like a thin outer crust mm -hmm. that like sticks right. up and it's bumpy, but it's yeah, that's just from it melting from the center. But maybe it'll do that eventually. Yeah, we're photographing it kind of straight on, so I don't, I'm not sure if it'll. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna melt, have you melt this one, I'm gonna get more on my arm, maybe. Here, yeah, just put your hand right under there. Get it, Wait, son. Get it. Yeah, that'll be like dotted though. Break it up a little bit. What do you think? Yeah, you I'm like just gonna it? have to get rid of these little dots, though. All right, let's do this yeah, one here. Like it's yeah, it's yeah, raining it wax. This one let me drip it. All right, yeah. cool. Let me do this one too. Do you want to do this one? I'll try to just do like no, a. No, I just gotta get it here and then let it like. That's all I gotta do. Cause I like the technique. It just wants to follow the same line yeah, every there time. You go. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's sick. Oh, perfect. Are we recording those ISOs? Yeah? Great. All right. Do you want to do the honors, Ted? And peel off that little bit of my pinky. Uh, this here? Just like that. Yeah, exactly. That little piece. Just because that wouldn't really be up there. Pretty cool. I'm about to crack that one. Maybe just get that one off my inner bend. My elbow bend. Here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because my arm is... Cool. All right. Cool. All right. Let, I'm going to uh, frame the photo. No, you're good. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll remove the whole light stand in okay. in post. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I'm I'm working on framing. I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to do. Yeah, I think just as far as like creating an interesting shot goes, I think. Um, If you want to kind of check out the frame here, yeah, I. Oh, we're not even seeing the one. Yeah. Over here, this low one. So I'm, I'm. Yeah. 
I feel like some of these ones in the foreground, let's get them like super close to the camera even. Um, and then, do we have scrap paper? Here, we can use. Yeah, I'll use these. Um, Ted, I'll let you know if I can see it. Come in a little bit closer to me. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then to the left there a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Yep, and then we'll just use this as, is that about under it? Cool. Yeah, that's cool. You okay? Yeah, let's take that one on the right then and bring that closer to the camera too. So you guys can kind of see we're, we're building the shot here, you know, as, as it, as it gets closer. <laughs> yeah, and there's still a lot of like fluorescent light in this photo, but once it's all candlelight, I think it's gonna be really, really sick. Um, yeah, and then hopefully we can put some like behind Ian, like a little bit farther behind, because, yeah. Would you mind doing this one too? Yeah. yeah. Season Pro. All right. Yeah. So the idea kind of is like get these um, as like our base lighting, and then we can add more as composites. Yeah. That's sick. Um, Let's raise that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you want to go same level or higher? Uh, let's go a little. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. I'll take a picture. So this is just obviously natural light. We're not going to use any strobes or anything here. Mm hmm yeah, perfect. Nice. Are you going to have any going actually like over top of it or? Over top, like over uh, your over head? Over top, but just like floating in front of like my rib or. Oh, yeah, we totally should, huh? Rib. Yeah, we totally should. In front of what? Just in, like some like the staggered. Like right in rib. front of. We have more candles. Let me. Oh, maybe those can yeah. be the ones that you just walk around. And yes, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Yeah. All right. So I'll go ahead and get that ready, and then. Probably do the ones on my stomach, saying that they'll just be over my ribs, which are just skin. Yeah. I I think let's. Let's have those be the ones that we Photoshop in. I think, think that's a good idea. It's tough. Yeah, it's harder than you'd think. All right, cool. If we can. Is this going to be an extra? Yeah, that'll be the one we'll just like walk around with. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. We could probably still put it on an on an arm or something though. Oh, you know what might be a good. Uh, let's do that on the skinny side of an arm and then just gaff tape it to the screw. That way it'll be uh, less difficult to remove. All right, how you doing, Ian? Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, so once, uh, once Ted's got that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut the house lights and, and start shooting. Um, yeah, we don't need to cut them all. I mean, we don't need to cut like the small stuff, but like the fluorescence and stuff, I think we should. Um, what's up? Yeah, are, are you ready for me to cut the lights? Okay, cool. Let's do it. Yeah, 
Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not going to get that dark in here, really. Yeah. This studio is actually beautiful at night. We have like all the soft boxes and stuff that light the space. Yeah. All right. This is going to be after you shoot it. Yeah. Cool. Let's move. OK, perfect. I'm going to move this in just a little bit. Yeah, that's the idea. What's that? Yeah, probably. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely need to kill those. Uh, it's actually they need to be unplugged. Yeah, so we've already started shooting. You can see they're they're coming in here. Definitely. Yep. ISO twenty thousand. All right, I'm switching up to ISO sixteen hundred on the. Let's get your candles in a little bit closer to your skin, like closer to your face, so you're almost like this. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, the front. Yeah, let's drop it down maybe in height. Uh, let's go uh, in just a tiny bit, if you don't mind. All right, let's see how that looks. And Ian, can you have your hands like more like, there we go. I think, actually, would you mind spreading your hands out a little bit more? I think, yeah. I feel like, yeah, spreading out is better for sure. All right, this is a test of endurance for you. Yeah, let's bring this front one, like, down and uh, out just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay, it's much too noisy, so I'm... I might shoot this. We have an 85 1.2. This might look really cool with that. Uh, give me just one second, and that'll let a lot of light in. <laughs> I had a wax. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what that is. It's paraffin wax. So nice. <laughs> wax gloves. All right. So for the folks at home. Uh, I'm switching to an 85 millimeter 1.2 uh, because I was having to really bump my ISO up in order to not use a super long shutter speed. So we were shooting, that was with a 70 to 200, 2.8. So a 2.8 to 1.2, you know, we're getting over two stops of light. So that's, uh, that's really nice. It means we'll be able to use twice as fast as the shutter speed. 
and still get the same amount of light in the lens. Oh yeah, it is kind of nice, huh? And it's so dark, I just put my thumb on the lens of my, on the uh, inner mirror of my camera. <laughs> I guess the mirror is not the worst. Yeah. The cool. Over. The stream is over. We're done, everybody. Go home. All right. So we're switching. Um, I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna try it out 1.2, and see how we're looking. It's looking good. There's a weird shadow. You know, it's this thing that's creating a shadow. Um, it's, uh, yeah. I'll get on here. Oh, and it's that little light, too. Yeah, that tiny one. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I was like, what is that shadow? Yeah, right. All right. So I'm going to drop my ISO down and also. Okay. All right, three, two, one. Cool. All right, so Ian, you're doing great. You just see these shots. They are definitely a little bit brighter on my LCD, so. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna make the exposure a tiny bit longer. Well, I'm going to increase my ISO because I don't want my shutter speed to go much slower than like a fifteenth of a second. All right, three, two, one. Look down for me. Like straight down, yeah. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Three, two, one. I feel like this would be a cool slider shot with like, you know, yeah. yeah, three, two, one. All right, three, two, one. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, can we shine a flashlight on Ian's face real quick, just so I can focus? Yeah. Okay, and good. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Cool. All right, we're looking great. I think we're ready to walk around with the uh, with the candle there, okay. Ted. If unless it's not a great time for you. No. Perfect. I I can help you like that. It's kind of tough to do it one-handed. Let's do it over top of the black. <laughs> over your laptop. <laughs> You don't want the special wax edition? <laughs> the MacBook wax. The way those things overheat too. Maybe you have a melted computer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just trying to get it to like look. Oh, it'd be cool if a 
just say hypothetically if one of those candles was an actual whatever one you're compositing in has uh -huh. to lay vertically over my body and dripped onto me somewhere. Like if you were to place that, just drip it like on my shoulder. Yeah. We can put we can put it on your shoulder. I'm okay uh, with that. Actually, then the candle's gonna be super big though, and then it's gonna light. You're not light on one. Yeah, never mind. <clears throat> but that would light up my ear like really bright if it was right in here. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we can try it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right. Cool. That's good, Ted. And we can loop around. Yeah, actually, let's get one more of these going on. Here we go. Yeah, for sure. So are you good to hold this one? All right. I think you can actually just hold it by, yeah, just like that's probably fine. All righty. Do you want to hold it? OK. Let's hold it over top of there. Cool. <laughs> it's like a Baskin Robbins blizzard. All right, cool. All right, so now we can mirror it. So if if Tori, you want to go on the other side of Ian, there we go, and then we can get. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, but I would like I would like like two candles like right kind of like here. Yeah, I was just thinking those could like lay your face. We good? All right. In three, two, one. Okay, three, two, one. Look down for me, just like straight down, even with your eyes. Yeah. Oh, let's get that out soon. Yeah, we don't need that one anymore. Oh, that was. <laughs> Here, I'll light you again. <laughs> yeah. When I bought it, do you want the ultra flammable or the regular? Mm. All right, cool. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, your arm is in front of it. OK, perfect. There we go. OK, cool. All right, you guys are good to just wander around the set. Um, yeah, Ian, you can probably well, stay there for just a minute, if you don't mind. Placement -wise. Yeah, placement-wise. Um, Yep, so I'm in manual focus right now. Um, so as I take pictures, you know, coming forward and backward, that's really the going to be the, the really cool. Yeah. yeah. And even some like right in front of his, his body would be cool too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and hold. And hold. And yeah. Uh, Ted, come down a little bit more. Let's like cover his elbow. Come down, down, down. Yeah. All right. And hold. Down a little bit more. Okay, and hold. All right.
cool. Yeah, right there's nice. Let's go on the other side and do that too, so we can match the rim light. Okay, head back up for me. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, and you can move around too, Tori, if you want. Yeah, you're just in. Go down a little bit with that. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Cool, let's do a few, like, just a little, like, a foot that way. Yeah, there we go. Set that plane, yeah. Cool. Nice. Good job. All right. Perfect. And now let's try some as close to the seamless as possible in the back. Yeah, kind of all around, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually really cool near near the seamless. All right. Yeah, kind of move them around back there. Tori, can you get closer to the background? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Tori, a little bit farther down. Like uh, like a two feet down. Like come down low. A little bit lower. There we go. Cool. And make it uh, straight up and down, the candle. Yeah, there we go. All right, come down a little bit more, Tori, actually. Yeah. It does sound like thunder. Yeah, and then that's actually a really nice rim light. Uh, on on his lower part, like can we mirror that on the other side? Yeah. Cool. I think we got it, guys. <laughs> Let me cut the lights back on. Good job, everybody. Good job. <laughs> uh what <laughs> yeah yeah it totally looks like a stigmata or something so we did wax fire fog water snow dab <laughs> Yeah, check it out. Ian, you didn't get to see any of these. They're sick, man. Especially, we have some like nice rim lights on your side and there's, you know, when we put those together. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then we've got on your other side too. And then we've got over your shoulders some, oh, that's cool too. <laughs> some rim lights like, uh, My ears look so much bigger. Yeah. Just like my hair back. Over your oh, shoulders yeah, yeah. there. You yeah, on that side now? Awesome. Nice. I like how you're actually picking up some red on the right oh, side yeah. of my. Yeah, from it's the, cool, from huh? The Red's great. Just from the little A. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Man, good job, guys. Good job. That that's such a cool shot. 
Yeah, that's such a cool shot. Ian, you mentioned that was one of your favorite yeah. ideas yeah. for this shoot. Did the I photo live up to your... I'm not gonna lie, the, I didn't even know we were doing the mirror thing. Well, the, mirror. the fog in the room? Yeah, until like, I got the email. Oh, yeah. I, that wasn't something I thought was gonna be. I mean, I like the concept because I do like, like shots in cafes and stuff when you can see the water drop. But that ended up being probably one Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was one of those ones where I was like describing it. I was like, he's gonna be in that room. There's gonna be a red light and an orange light and a fog and water. And everyone's like, whatever, Aaron, you sound crazy. You know, and I was like, it's, tr it's not gonna make any sense, but it will look really cool. It's like a, an alien abduction type thing. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, very much so, yeah. Very much so. It some sort of uh, testing chamber. Really yeah. <laughs> yeah, Independence Day. Yeah. Remember when it was like, had the thing around his neck oh, in the first yeah, one, yeah. and he was like being controlled by the guys. They did. It it was. <laughs> no, no, but uh, they did get uh, Jeff Goldblum. He came yeah. back <laughs> because yeah. I love Jeff Goldblum. Man. They were like, no Jeff, we'll pay you two million dollars. He's like, I'm in. Will, we'll pay you two million dollars. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Was Will Smith in Suicide Squad? Yeah, he was Jedi or Bullseye. Yeah. Yeah, I'll talk into the camera. Yeah, we're we're cut, we're in, we're done for the day. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a camera I can talk to? This, this guy here? All right, cool. Ian, you want to come on over? Yeah. We're going to do a little signing off. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, great, you finished your shot and ignore the online audience. <laughs> nice job. Good job, Aaron. All right. <laughs> still yeah, peeling still wax. Show the, show the wax on your hand. Can't is really still. not much left, but. I, I got him picking it off. Oh, you got him picking it off? Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right, guys. Well, guys. Thanks so much for watching. This has been so much fun. We did six different concepts today. We're totally on. We might even be early schedule wise. Yeah. Yeah. Cake. We have time for cake. We got time for cake. Happens to be my birthday in a couple days. So these guys were amazing enough to get us some cake. So we're going to go enjoy that. Um, everyone, thank you so much for watching. This has been an absolute blast. This is our first time we've ever broadcasted a photo shoot live. And, you know, for us as like a team, it's pushed us to try to do better and better, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. So um, we are going to be bringing you more live broadcasts. Uh, we don't have the next one planned, but <laughs> I'm sure it will be very soon because this is it's been an absolute blast for us, and it's something that we want to do more for you uh, to give back and get you guys uh, involved in what we're actually doing in the studio. So uh, Ian, thanks so much. Thank if you guys you. are uh, interested in following Ian, uh, go to uh, Instagram under at Ian Elkins. Uh, you can check out his photos. And uh, you know these photos that we did from this shoot will be online in about a month, like fully edited okay. and good awesome. to go. So some of these photos we'll be releasing for free. And then some of them will be including in an upcoming pro tutorial called Compositing 101 through 301. Sounds so, good. All right. I will be doing them myself, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to say to the wonderful folks at home, Ian? Um, not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. Sorry, guys. No worries. No worries. Cool. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone.